Why, hello there, everyone. Oops, I think I'm a little bit loud. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream today. <sighs> Can't wait to play more of this game. Raise dim hands for the chosen streamer in all the lands. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> the chosen streamer. That sounds so weird. Hello. Thank you so much for the seven months, Karzy fans. I really appreciate that. Oh, man. Yeah, Senna, you work out. But yeah, I recently put lands in Miyabi's outfit, and I was, like, really surprised at how he looked. I was like, oh. All right, well, I like this. I like lands in a dress. It's, uh, like, it, it, it do be kind of cute. Look at the bow in the back. Like, honestly, look at the back of lands, though. He be looking good. I would argue he's never looked better. Anyway, hi everybody, welcome. How's everyone feeling this morning? It's a Monday, which means a weekend happened. <laughs> a weekend happened, I have no idea what happened. I've been editing my butt off. Got three of these videos out. I almost finished editing my dancing video. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. I should run Chris, hi. Um, thank you so much, Wembley, for the 19 months. I appreciate it. Oh, I forgot I wanted to put the, um, the sub count back on the stream. I had to change around my scenes, and I never, and I lost some stuff, and then whenever I reapplied my old stuff, it, I, I, for, I forgot some stuff. I'll do it later. I know a weekend happened. You remember that? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what happened this weekend much. I just was like, a total, total work mode. Oh. Uh, but yeah. Lens, lens do be looking good. I think everybody should be wearing this dress. <gasps> I don't think I ever saw Noah in the dress. And Tion. We gotta do that. Was it removed? Nope. I haven't touched the emotes. Uh, show my playtime! You can't do that. Don't call me out. Huh? Hey, did you guys hear something? Let me just fix this. <laughs> no, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, so many comments on my last video, though. Should be time for dinner soon, right? There's a there's a, so many comments mm -hmm. on my on my last video on like uh people were heck yeah. How are you enjoying this game so far? Thank you so much for the six months, Broda. And I really, really, really love this game a lot. Seriously, it's a great game. Um, but anyway, there were so many comments on my last video uh saying that like they were surprised that my level was very on par with the bosses. And they were like, wow, she must not, not be doing side quests. Meanwhile, I have kept up with every single right. side quest that oh, has popped up after every stream. I have been keeping up with every single side quest. Y'all, I am nuts. I don't know why I'm actually not that overleveled from doing all of these side quests. I don't think they're actually dishing out that much experience. But I'm playing a heck ton off stream. Uh, huh? hmm. Hey, did you guys hear something? So if you wanna know, we ended stream with 81 hours, and I have 93. <laughs> um, 93. But. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, there's a lot to do, and I still haven't finished my list of side quests after that many hours, but you want to know what I did? Okay, like, okay, okay, okay. They usually originally appear. Yeah, and I've been doing the side quests like after I'm already past the level, so they're not they're not gonna be dishing me out that much at this point in time. But okay, so what was I gonna show you? I found this thing. I actually I can't take credit for it. My brother 
told me about this thing. You can select heroes and it tells you the condition for their ascension quest. I'm looking at Ethel and I'm like, what do you mean undergo ma mature, maturation, maturation process? Like what? What the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't even know this was a thing. You, they tell you how to ascend the, the and the, that was kind of cool. Oh, and then if you look at the bottom, it says, oh, you can also listen to voices. I walk my path with greater strength. I like it. But illustrations, though, I didn't actually get to look at any of these. But like, hot damn. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, heck yeah. 93 hour. Oh, my God. That's your Persona 4. This one, okay, I really want to do Riku and Bananas. Props to Terran Calendar. <laughs> Terran Calendar voicing an absolute Giga Chad. I love it. I love it. Let's see the illustration. Riku's face? Look at his face. Look at that face. I love it. Banana's also super cute. Ah! They're so cute. Friend need Riku for something? Leave to Banana. Riku get job done right. <laughs> Leave to Manana. Oh, Manana! Friend need Riku for something? Leave to Manana. Oh my God. Friend need Riku for something? I can't. Oh, the Chad. Anyway, so yes. Um, now that I have explored the menus a little bit off stream, um, I can now do all of these ascension quests. Look at Grey without a mask. Oh, oh wait, Grey! Wait, 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 I haven't seen the illustration for Grey. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hey. Ooh, that is, that is hot. She, whew, that, I love that. Okay, that's, that's, uh, that's attractive. Damn, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Me and these guns. We go way back. If you have to call me something, call me call Gray. gray. <laughs> if you have to call me something, call me Gray. Gurna can make a choice. I have to see where it leads. Oh, wait, that's actually a really sweet line. That's actually extremely sweet. Um, oh. And then here's him without the mask, too. I forgot to slip flip through. Oh, oh, I love it. I love Triton, too. Although I'm not sure why his is question marked out for his ascension quest. I guess we'll unlock it later. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I love him. See that? They just got Triton. I got some candy special moves I want to show off. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I love him. I I love him. Oh, that's really cool art. Holy shit, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Oh fuck yeah. Did they have a second one that I missed? No. Okay. So anyway, yes, I'm enjoying the game. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I'm having a great time, honestly. I'm having a fantastic time. Um, but yeah, so now that I know the hero roster exists and they tell you how to unlock Ascension Quest, we are going to be focusing on this a lot today because I can, I think I can do the Ascension Quest for nearly all heroes at this point, like actually. Um. I just have to figure out, I haven't quite figured out the ethyl maturation process. I'm assuming that's city related. Don't tell me, obviously, chat. 
But, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I have to, like, figure out. And also this Riku and Manana thing, because I obviously want to do this, but it says visit Condensia, complete culinary repertoire. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll do what that says and see what happens. But... Yeah, I've been doing... We've been doing some side quests. We've been doing some work. I'm gonna just quickly do this. I was in the middle of this before I had to stop, but I also wanted to show off Lance in his beautiful dress because Lance has never looked better, I think. Like, damn, he rocks this dress and I love it. I just love that they uh, they did not... Big responsibility. Change, like, the gen like, uh, like the dress. Like, the having a guy in a dress. Like, there's literally nothing better than this and I'm, I'm just really happy. Leave it to me. Shy Madison is a powerful name. You know, it kind of is. Kind of is. You thought he was dabbing. Oh, no. No, he's not dabbing. What the fuck? Oh, I got to defeat one of these fish. All right. Hey. 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 Ugh. Stupid fish. Hey. Hey. <laughs> fuck. Hey! 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 Notice me, senpai! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Fucking hell! Ah! Go! 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 There we go! Man, starting a quest, starting a fucking battle can be hard sometimes with flying enemies. I'm too OP. I'm too OP, clearly. Lance does deserve a cute dress. I think Lance looks great. I never want to give him the Monica outfit now. He looks great in a dress. You know what? I think all of my team members should actually be wearing a dress right now. Because why not? Everybody should be wearing a dress. All right, fuck this fish up. I'm having way too much fun in this game, honestly. The exploration is just like extremely, extremely fun. Just exploring the game, doing a bunch of side quests that are actually like I've been enjoying the side quests too. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. I'm the girl with the gall. Um, but yeah, I'm like genuinely having a lot of fun with these side quests. They just, I don't know, I feel like I'm actually helping and making a difference and they're not just like stupid ass side quests. Or at least I'm not finding that they feel really like filler. Everyone will be so like here's surprised. just more side quests so that we can have like a ton like more gameplay. Like it. Doesn't feel like that. What ascension quests have we done? Actually, just two. I've only done um, Uni and uh, Mio, and Mio was the main story. So, we have a lot to do, and that's why I want to focus on that today, because uh, I'm able to do almost all of them. Yeah, I mean, heck, I put 12 hours into the game over the weekend. Hey, Fifi, it looks like everyone's back now. Thanks, Hillykins. You've got a good eye. <laughs> oh my god. So now what? Who's gonna go first? Why don't we go just go together? I don't want to get stressed out. That's our turkey tallow. Turkin head. No turkin head this time. You're just full of these turkin related digs, aren't you? When they gave us a cue, Fifi? Okay, sure. Ready, everyone? Let's go. <laughs> Fiona's so cute. Whoa. Oh, right, right, right. I collected all of that. I can't believe everyone's gone fishing. Now that's a funny coincidence. Everyone loved fish so much, people have truly, pe truly people of go, go, go. This is exactly the kind of thing that it could lift everyone's spirits. Everyone had the same idea, amazing. I know, I can't believe it. A fish jamboree. We're having a jamboree? Huh? What's a jamboree? It's when everyone eats some tasty grub and gets uh, has a fun a ton of fun together. 
Irma taught us about it. She always have to take breaks and have us have have fun once in a while. Having a jamboree always makes everyone closer together. I simply love them. Throwing a party is fine and all, but don't you think we should, we should work on being a bit more organized than that? That's why I said we should decide who does that, who does what. But you are you'd already gone by then. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy them. Oh, no. Xenoblade is absolutely going to stay a Nintendo exclusive. It's not... I don't expect the series to ever go on PlayStation. Nope, nope, nope. It's Nintendo through and through. Well, you know you like... Well, you know you like to follow the beat of your own drum sometimes. You have to make little compromises to work together with everyone sometimes. Are you saying that it's my fault? That's not what I said. Yes, you did. You think you're so much better just because Fiona came to you for help. Hey, take it easy, you two. I think you better leave it there. Hey, dear. What's going on? I know. A colony of little children. I thought this colony was also, like, little children and female only for a long time whenever we started Fiona because we hadn't seen, like, a male in... at all. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, do males exist? But yeah, there's some. Such a weird colony. Nothing. I'm sorry, I, but I think I'm going to eat alone today. Hey, that wasn't like you, Talalu. Well, it's all part of the job. Looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Irma's left some pretty big shoes to fill. I can't leave them empty. Talalu? Don't worry, it won't happen next time. I'm sorry for worrying you. Talalu. Tal they got some nicknames in this colony. Is that lad going to be okay? And what did he mean by next time? Hmm. So that's the state of affairs. Okay, I just wanted to finish that side quest up first. Okay, um, let's just go in order, I think, of heroes. We're gonna go in order from... Uh, I guess we'll start at the top. Um, Valdi is first on the list. Alright, Valdi, come along! We're doing your ascension quest, buddy boy! Just gotta go back to your colony and it should show up. Yeah, there he is. Alright, Valdi, let's go! Ascension quest time! I haven't done any of these. This is gonna be a fun stream. I'm actually like legitimately excited to do all these ascension quests because I love most of the heroes and they put so much time and like good story behind all of these hero quests too. Not to mention that they're all voiced, so it's super fun. Mm-hmm. Something smells tasty. So that's the state of affairs. All right, this should be the Valdi Ascension quest. I'm assuming that's what this is. You said, what happened? We're standing one minute and then flop onto ground. What? You're overreacting, don't you think? I'm just exhausted. That's all. You've been pushing yourself too hard. Workload's pretty intense right now. I've got to do my part to keep the colony running. Is it really that bad? We used to get support based on how well the Levna squadrons performed in battle. The yeah, these types of quests are really great, and I'm so glad so they're voiced. I'm like so glad these are voiced. Make up the shortfall. Why didn't you tell me? Didn't think I needed to. I thought I could manage well enough by myself. Now that stink of untruth. You said working hard for Valdi. Did not want sympathy vote. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you said want to act dependable to get on good side of Valdi. Tried hard not to show weakness. Is that true? What does it matter? Fact is, I can't be lying down on the job. Look, we get that you're under a lot of pressure. What is it that needs doing, anyhow? Dispatching of Levnesses to Colony Lambda. To Lambda? So you're lending out Kavesi Levnesses to Agnes? That's right. Even after they've served their purpose in battle, the Levnesses themselves can still function. Hmm. I wanted to get as much use out of them as I could. So he say, 
But now look at Sorry's state of him. Where Papa also been showing you that ropes as little side project. Oh. oh, you were teaching me. Let me help. I'd love to. Come on, give me a job to do. Huh? Uh, well, if you're asking, how about handling the Levener shipment I was talking about? Once you get them there, it's just a matter of delivering them to the commander. Sure thing. I can do that. Hello, I'm Bobby. What need does Commander Izzard have with Kavesi Levenesses? I'm not 100% on the details, but he wants them for some kind of survey. Levenesses to scout something out. I wonder what's going on at Lambda. No point speculating when we can just check it out ourselves. Right? Right. Be thorough, yeah? Oh, but, uh, don't push it too hard. Oh, we'll be fine. You just take a lie down and make sure you're all rested up. Mm. So then, off to Colony Lambda we go. All right, call it. We did it. We got the hero quest. Yay! Unlocking There's these. There's been changes to Colony relations. I should have done these a long time ago, I think, but it's okay. Better late than never. Oh, you don't like Junior? I was gonna say that, uh... I was gonna be like, wow, that's shallow. Not caring about, like, the character and just looking at the stats and what they bring. But then, again, like, I would be a complete hypocrite because I play Fire Emblem like that, too. Sometimes, not all the time. Where I'm like, I just, like... <laughs> I get salty over a character. I don't care how great their personality is or their character writing is, but, like, if their stats suck, I'm like, mm, you can get out of my life. <laughs> Hi, Commander Izzard! Commander Izzard, right? We're here with the Levenus, as you ordered. I appreciate how readily you accepted our request. Thank you. But I must say, I hadn't expected you to deliver them in person, Commander. Okay, can I just ask a question? Is it not- I just want to make sure I'm not alone, but if I am, that's totally fine. Having, like, the random-ass American accent sometimes, like, really throw me off sometimes. Commander Izzard always throws me off every time I talk to him. And even, like, Senna, because she's the only one in our group that's just... No accent. It's just weird. Because, like, it's very rare. I just... It kind of throws me off. <laughs> I'm not talking about Xenoblade 2, I'm talking about this game though, it's really awkward because like almost every character we come across has accent and then there's only like a handful of characters that have these American accents. So it's weird. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying it throws me off every time I like hear Izzard or like hear Senna. Because it's like it stands out. And I, I, it really yeah, does stand so out. You had to improvise. Oh, you know how to operate. Yeah, them, right? I don't know how much I. How guys normally do the piloting? I don't We've know. Like pilots for that very reason, though so we wouldn't mind. I don't know if I pointers. actually like Izzard's voice oh, to begin with. Great. Actually, now that Our I think about it. I'm wanting to chat with you too. Anything you need to know, just ask. Glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. Commander Izzard. So kind I of thrown off. Yeah. For some sort of survey. Care to divulge? Yes, uh, about that. I, I just had to get it off my We've chest. We've observed recently that our water sources around the colony are being rapidly depleted. So you're using them to investigate? No. In fact, the survey branch has already identified the cause. It's the Ansels living at the top of the Great Falls. Ansels? But their natural habitat should be the Urian Mountains. Indeed. And their presence here has been affecting the flora. We're particularly concerned about their laying waste to the cure grass we use to treat our troops. That's an issue, all right? So you want to take those overgrown feather brains out of the picture? That it? You never realize Which it had a different accent? That's a good thing. Analysis. Glad to hear that. You're looking a bit worse for wear there, Izzy. You been running yourself ragged too? Too? My lieutenant's also been burning himself out. Oh. No oh. Noah? <laughs> We'll help you out, too. 
I appreciate the offer. But Noah I sounded think... so unenthusiastic with that delivery, like, we'll help you too, uh, I guess. <laughs> Better to share the load, no? It'll make life Don't easier. sound so enthusiastic there, Bobby's buddy. Bobby's really worried about him. Could be a nice little excursion. No one's gonna complain. All right, then. If it's no trouble. We'll have this issue sorted in no time flat with you on board. Easy peasy. Just let us have him. Oh, wait, that's a tough question. Uh, okay, who your favorite character is, both Ouroboros and Heroes? Okay, like, I'm not even lying in the slightest whenever I say that Riku is my favorite character in this game. Like, legitimately, Riku is my favorite character in this game. I love him to death. I would crave every single line that he has. I love him. I love him. Okay? Riku's my favorite. But you're asking about Ouroboros and Heroes specifically? If we're talking about Ouroboros, it's Tyon. Tyon's my favorite. He's the best. <laughs> I love Tyon. Hero? Ugh. Hero. That's that's a good question. I don't know which which is faster here. Hero. Uh If it's based off of level of horny, it's gray. <laughs> oh, that's true! Wait, I totally forgot Riku is a hero! Oh my god, wait, I totally forgot! <laughs> Never mind, Riku! I didn't realize, I totally forgot! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! <laughs> Oops. Oh, sorry, Taeon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta call him that so people can get pissed off. Oh, look, look. I believe in Taeon. He'll turn around, and he will give. He'll give Lance his high five. That's right. There are ski I believe. Here as well. We should take care. By the end of the game, Taeon will give Lance the high five. Those are the things that Izzard wants defeated. Is this who's been giving Izzard so much trouble? Here we go, Lance. But okay, okay, wait. Let's get back to the hero question because I I wanna I wanna continue my thought process before I realize like oh you guys reminded me that Riku is a hero. Fuck, I forgot about that. But um okay, based off of horny, I love Gray. Sorry, like. Grace, my type. What can I explain? I can't. I can't explain that any other way. Like I love Gray. Um, legitimately, though, his story does and uh, I intrigue me a lot. That looks like them all. They won't be tearing up the Cure Grass any longer. I hope that now. Story-wise, Fiona has actually grown on me and Triton also. Their fighting days are I find super over. fun. There's so many Please heroes I like. I can't. Pretty, pretty flowers. Oh, wow. But it's such a tiny patch of them. Oh. Huh. You think those ants all got them or something? No, those flowers are from the Urian Mountains. And they don't normally grow in this region. Well, how then? Maybe it's just as Uni said. Maybe the Ansels carried the seeds and they ended up here. That's nuts. They probably had the seeds stuck in their feathers. And they just happened to land here. Still, of all the places they could have bloomed. It's just random chance, Uni. Not like they grew here on purpose. Only questions whether they make it. I love lands in this dress. They did choose. They chose to bloom up here. They never gave up. They're just like me. Oh. I don't know if I'll finish all the hero quests before the ending. This we'll see how much we accomplish today. It lives and breathes. Just we're gonna, like me. We're gonna play it by ear. Happy revelation? Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, Valdi's so cute. I never thought we'd be able to find a serious anemone here. You look pretty pleased, Tyon. 
Make us a cover then. <laughs> oh, oh, I just realized like Tyon's ascension quest, I really hope has something to do with his uh oh god, the 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 the, the flower. Oh, I just realized I want more of that story too. The trees. That bloom that he's looking I for. I see it went well. We've already received your report. About the Ansel's impact on the environment. It's all good. Our survey branch will be monitoring the situation carefully. Then how about we leave the Levnesses here? Could you give us an update if you happen to find out anything new? You feeling okay there, Valdi? Mm -hmm. You sound like you're interested in something that's not a Levness. Oh, come on. <laughs> They're adapting to their environment by themselves. It's such an amazing phenomenon. How could I possibly pass it up? Oh. Yeah. How indeed. The most feared mechanic in Kevis. So wide-eyed and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Up until we met in person, I pictured you as a cold, ruthless commander who would stop at nothing to achieve victory. That's the Colony 30 console's fault. Yeah. Valdi himself. Imagine got thinking that about Valdi. This innocent child. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Well, perhaps you're right. Yeah, he's I've been right. Been sending Levnesses to their destruction. But you're only looking at one aspect of the whole. Aren't you furthering a large-scale project for a new model? I hear it's a type of Levness designed for a wholly different purpose. Huh? How'd you hear about that? The survey branch has eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, look at me and the fancy spy network I used to work for. <laughs> You're talking about Dom. He's my friend. When he's finished, you've got to come visit. I believe I will. <laughs> I look forward to building a lasting friendship with Colony 30. I'd be happy to accept your assistance in the future. Great. I can't wait. Good news all around, huh? <laughs> I love the two of them so much. You said has so got to hear about this. You know you like someone when you tease them all the time. Just saying. It's a sign. I need to hire my lighting a little bit. There we go. Lands is wearing a dress! Thank you for noticing. He's gorgeous. I love him. I've already got food on the brain. I need to order food. Don't mind if I do. Do I have this dish? Eh. Actually, you know what? Who Shut needs it? We don't we go. don't need this shit. What happened? I just did a ton of side quests off stream. I did a fuck ton of side questing. I also went to the base of uh, the foresty area. Smells tasty. And I found like a really <laughs> scary cave that had like level 90 spiders in it. And that was, yep, that was scary. I noped the fuck out of that one. I'm back. <laughs> hey, you taking it easy now? Yeah. You were gone for some time. It wasn't just a quick there and back. Yeah, one thing led to another. Sorry to butt in. Use it. They're not bothering a real tizzy. Won't stop moaning about the lack of Levnite. Oh, they finally gone and used it up. Is it important? Yes, that's what ascension means. It's an all use for Levinous maintenance. Tune them up with it and they're gliding like they're on ice. We're already negotiating with Colony 4 to get us some of theirs. I, uh... Don't suppose you could try to smooth things over with the crew, just for the time being. Oof. Well, I'll see what I can do. You, Zed, you know that transmission we received earlier? Well, there's a problem. <gasps> a problem? How much is this guy juggling? 
There's not much point in him trying to recuperate here when he keeps getting pestered like this. What? What do you mean? You can't erase the shipment. Ah, oh, I wasn't privy to the details. All Dude I know never is stops that working. Solon from Colony Four told us to tell you. Hey, Noah. I know what you're thinking. Let's take this to Colony Four. Let's. Oh. Hey, the Colony Relations What's Chamber. What's going on in Colony Four exactly? Let's go to Solon and the supply team. I love this. I love this. I love that the colonies are helping each other out and interacting. God, it's awesome. Hey, spiders in real life can kill you. So like something smells tasty. It ain't JRPG logic. That is directly relevant to real life. Like, you can die from a spider. So yeah, some spiders do deserve to be level 90. They deserve to be level higher level than you are. That makes perfect sense. Hmm. These are not good tidings. Especially when we're so swamped. Excuse me, are you Solo? Huh? Oh, yes. How may I help you? I'm here about the Levnite shipment to Colony 30. I was told that you couldn't send it, and I was hoping to find out why. Did you run into an issue? Well, we sent some of our compeers to Dana Desert, but we haven't heard from them since. Uh-oh, not the desert! I can't exactly leave my post, so I was deliberating as to how we should proceed. You said the desert, right? Anywhere in particular? The richest Levnite veins can be found by a landmark known as Glamrock. So you might try there. Glamrock? What? That seems like enough to go on, right? We'll head out there to look for them. You... you do this. We can't just ignore someone in need. Oh. And besides, we need to get our hands on that Levnite. Well then, thank you very much. I hope to hear good news from you. I love this. And the other thing, like, yeah, there's so much so colony interaction. That sounds kind of worrying. Oop, I don't want to cut that off. So their friends didn't return? That sounds kind of worrying. <laughs> We'd better go find them quick. Ha! For example, something smells tasty. Um, the uh. I'm stopped. Let's grab some. The, the the words words are hard um colony iota i believe alexandria's uh i forget what it's called colony iota yeah um how they have this storehouse that is over here if you know what i'm talking about they, they have like a reserve and they've been dishing it out to a lot of different colonies and that was really really cool to see alexandria do that and the colony itself. There's a lot, there's a lot of little things like that. I just I really like that. So much good shit. It's the the hero quests are all voiced, yeah. Wait, container. Wait, ah, never mind. It's fine. There they are. We'll have this sorted out in a jiffy. In a Let's jiffy. Push them down. Fine by me. Oh god, I should have done the, these hero ascension quests a lot sooner. It's fine, honestly. It's whatever. That was so fast. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, thank you. You saved our skins. Never seen monsters like that before. They really caught us off guard. 
Weren't they just like flies? Yeah, it's weird that those monsters were there. The skeeter. One would usually expect them to reside in their natural habitat, above the Great Cot Falls. So they decide to move house? This isn't walking distance we're talking here. They'd have had to have migrated from their old territory. After what happened to those mountains, the Ansels must have tried to take shelter beneath the Great Falls. I'll bet that's what pushed these guys out. And then they moseyed on over here to the desert. Our squad leader just gave us an update. You're here to pick up the Levni. If you want, we can just give it to you here. Saves you a trip back to Colony 4, right? You sure? Well, thanks. This will at least take one thing off you, Zet's plate. One thing. Just one thing of 5,000 things. Welp, we gotta See? work on the rest. I can get things done when I put my mind to it. We're done with the Levnite issue too. Back to Colony 30 then? Back to Colony 30. Overleveled already? I was constantly going back to the old colonies and keeping up with the side quests as they would appear for me. Even then, you're still overleveled, even when I did it whenever it was relevant. Hold up. That Levnitz. Hey, Commander. Good to see you back. Hey, Zuza. If this little buddy's the Levnitz we lend Izzard, isn't it? Doesn't he want it anymore? To thank us for your offer of cooperation with Colony Lambda, they've sent us a fair bit of supplies and food. Wow! All this? I'll need to thank him a bunch. Ah, Commander, there you are. Guess what? Colony 4 just approached us with a deal to receive regular shipments of Levnite from them. What? 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 <laughs> that was so and cute! Everyone. And just like that, it would appear that the bond between our respective colonies has been restored. Nice one. Huh? He hasn't even realized, has he? <laughs> Come on, man! Baldi. You brought everyone together, Valdi. I... I did? It's really quite amazing. Even though you're all doing different things, you help each other out in all sorts of different ways. That's right. And when there's something missing, it always has a knock-on impact somewhere else. Sometimes you don't notice something's awry until after that effect has manifested itself. Ah... Oh, you know, the world's kind of like a levis, isn't it? It's like a mesh of so many different parts, all interconnected. And because it's made up of all these different things and people, it moves. It's alive. So then, Baldi and Manana are also belong to parts of the world? Not just us. My buddies here are too. Not just some tools to be used, eh? Right, they're not. I'm just reaching for ideas right now. But hey, I'm a mechanic. And if the world's like a Levness, then I sure a spark should be able to fix it. I'll make a new tomorrow, where we can all live in harmony. Ambitious goal for Grease Monkey. Grease? But willing to keep on radar, with much giving of side eye. I'll take that as a compliment. What, a Grease Monkey? not a compliment. <laughs> well, I believe in you, mate. Your Kevis is number one mechanic, after all. You can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> Shucks. Okay, then. Let's report him to use that, shall we? Rico! Hey, the colony relations changed. <laughs> oh, my God, Riku. Why? <laughs> Damn, dude. Riku just packing the punches. Hey. <laughs> that was good though. That was that was pretty good. You that? Shouldn't you be lying down? Nah, I'm feeling way better. I'm not just putting on a brave face for you guys, okay? I'm not. Uh huh. All right, if you say so. Thanks for always getting us out of trouble, Yuzet. What? 
Where'd this come from? Turns out this guy's actually more thoughtful than you give him credit for. <laughs> thoughtful? From now on, I'm helping you with your chores. So let's both do the best we can, and make some of the finest levenesses the world has ever seen. Sure, count on it. Uh, as if, over my dead body. Huh? If I trust you with anything, things are gonna get way out of hand. You just casually go and extend the leases on Levness rentals. You plain give away the materials that we cracked down on after we caught those guys illegally hoarding. Every time you give a report, my blood runs cold. Think about how I feel trying to manage this stuff. Ah, uh, right. Um, sorry. Still, I'm glad to see you're feeling well enough to give me a telling off like that. Glad, but I'm seething with rage here. <laughs> yeah, I can see. He's that. laughing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, none of you're mad. Yuzet's workload problem, did it? Yeah, I guess not. Hmm. But maybe this is a good way for them to mesh in the end. Maybe it is. Remember what Issa told us? That you can't just look at one aspect of the whole. I think that's how it is with Colony 30. Oh, I don't want it to be over. No. No. That's dumb. Uh oh, what is this? Different from being honest. We always knew Gotta continue gone. with the plan. Let's just keep plugging away at it, shall we? Oh boy. We keep on board on account of very handy skill. Dora currently proceeded on track for phase six. What are we giving them? All right, well, time to proceed, I suppose. What's wrong? Dork not work? Ether supply finish! Why it happened at time like now? What's going on? Repepa need huge amount of ether to build Doric. Oh my god, finally a use for ether? Please, give me something to do with this fucking ether. I have so much! What the fuck? <laughs> Everything's dying. Hey, use it. What's up? I thought Valdi wouldn't really cut it out as a commander. The consul just decided to appoint him one day, just like that, on a total whim. Having said that, somewhere along the way, he did start to project a bit of leadership. Aww. How long is it going to be until we solve the ether shortage? We're gonna solve this right now. Use it said the shortage would likely continue for a foreseeable future, so... You're joking. Snuff my life. And now we know things. Yep, well now we know to give them all of the ether in the world. <laughs> You can't always give a hundred percent. Oh, I forgot to have some stuff. Gondor's grumblings. Okay. Well, we're not at Gondor. Group chat first, right? We're gonna be doing Gondor's later. We're doing them in order, okay? How's Colony 30 been since last time? You're still short on ether? Yeah, use it and the others are really feeling it. I wish there was a way I could help. Whoa, am I hearing things? Never thought I'd see the day. Knowing you, I thought you'd only care because you can't, couldn't build Levnesses. Rapapa said the same thing. But, you know, 
I had a talk with Izzard about sharing some of his ether, so I'm gonna go pick it up. You talk to the commander. I wonder if I can get a little bit more out of the other colonies. If I do that, we could get back to work on Doric. How much do you need? Rapapa mentioned we need 2,500 ether cylinders. I could probably get that much, honestly. Oof, I think that's something that we can't really help out with. Oh, we totally could. How, uh, then how about Colony 30 earning, earns the ether from other uh, colonies in exchange for some kind of service? Like when they lent Colony Lambda Levnesses. Good idea. Maybe we could send Colony 30 mechanics out on jobs. Their mechanics are highly rated. High enough to field a Levness unit that can beat Silver Colonies. Oh, cool! I'd love to go meet Levnesses from other colonies. You're gonna go, Valdi? No way Yuzit will let that happen. What? Don't you have, like, whole fleets of no ponds sitting about with, doing, with nothing to do? Oh, that's right. I thought I can, they can help out. But who should I pick? I could ask Rapapa. You got a bunch who owe you a pretty huge favor. Dinky Dinky, Widge Wed, Widge Widge, and Pooly Pooly. Nice. Let's go give him the good news. There's no ether! I have all of it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess we didn't finish the news on these ones. I'm not in a rush. All right, everyone. All right, we're not going to do this. We're going to go do our next hero quest. That's a side quest for off stream. So next we are going to do Xeon. You need my help at your service. So it's cool. Now we can see like how the colonies are helping each other out. Colony Iota helping out everything. City. It's really cool. Okay, back to our home of Colony 9. Should be there. Ah, there it is. Xeon Ascension Quest time! We're just going through them like candy, except that would be bad because that'd be a lot of candy consumption. But, I mean, the hero quests are that good, so you might as well compare the taste of the hero quests to the taste of candy. <laughs> this smell. Yeah, that makes sense. Time to eat then, no? Hey, don't you dare eat those potatoes. Whoa, dude, no need to yell at us. Nobody's gonna steal your spuds. Now you're making it sound like I'm being stingy. I'm just worried because a lot of folks are getting Ill, Ill eating stuff that's not in the manual. You think those potatoes are the issue? Probably. I've taken to calling them emitators. You know, like, emetic. Ugh, it's less funny when I explain. Anyway, I've been warning everyone, so I thought it best to give you a heads up, too. Well, that's pretty unpleasant. There are other problems besides those. You're better off talking to the others directly. Sorry, I wish we would have better news for you if we can at least learn how to cultivate the fields properly. It wasn't voiced, but it is a hero quest. Maybe it'll be voiced later. Sounds pretty grim. They've been worn down mentally and physically. We have to. Poor snuffers that ate them, imitators. But on the other hand, think about its potential as a weapon. If Agnes were ever to raid us for food. Oh, this is not one, but whatever. When we went salvaging with Elias, she met up with a Nopon caravan. They told her that a p place called Hope's Rest had fertile soil for growing plants, but it seems pretty far away, to be honest. News of Elias. Hey, man. I just wanted to say, uh, you're doing a pretty good job. Where for you to be cheering me up makes it all the more precious. Oh, that was so cute, Lands and Zion. He's like, yo, homie, you're doing a good job. <laughs> oh, that was cute. So much for Zion's little experiment. What got hold of him thinking that we could grow our own food? 
Wouldn't we have all been growing our own food ages ago if it really was that simple? Yeah, why aren't you just, just grow your own food? It's easy. You know, one day we're gonna live in an apocalypse, I bet. In our lifetime. Shit's just gonna hit the fan. And, you know, the people that are gonna survive are the people with their own gardens. We'll be able to e easily harvest our own food. It's not gonna go- it's not going so great right now. We're gonna be in trouble if it carries on like this. Oof. Big oof. Alright, now we gotta discuss. Who are this? Hey, rolled! The Kevis troop from our colony see us as enemies now. Kite was good enough to bring me up to speed about that. So there's nowhere for us to run right now, but we aren't the only colony to have broken ties with the castle, are we? Maybe if we joined forces with them, we'd have a chance? We can't just go down without a fight. Yeah. Do you think the game should have more tanks? Um, I think that the game should have more tanks spread out. Because they throw Ashira and Monica at you a little bit too late. Time to eat then, huh? Yeah, you can't always give a hundred percent. I'll take this. Mmm, so tasty. That was delicious. But yeah, Thanks. the beginning of the game really struggles until you get Monica and Ashira as tanks because you only get Xeon for so long. So the balance is really weird for a long time. But I think after that it feels fine, or at least it does to me. Let's catch up on stuff. I've been wondering. How's the Colony 9 farming initiative going along now? Well, we've been tilling the fields and planting seeds, but they just won't grow. Even when it looks promising, the batch fails. Even with glitter radishes? Those were in the manual. No luck whatsoever. I wish I could simply ask those radishes what the problem is. Our man's got to be pretty desperate if he wants to talk to vegetables. Well, if you don't get an answer from them, why don't we ask Juniper about it? Colony Tao's got plenty of veggies growing in the area. True, Tao has constantly proven their self-reliance, even without getting support from the castle. They may be able to impart some know-how. Colony Tao? Juniper's a good friend of ours. I'm sure that they'll be able to help us. Understood. Uh, then I'd like to inquire without delay. Could I ask you to accompany me? We're coming with you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Ain't that what friends are for? Thank you, Uni. Ah, uh, but before we depart... You want to stop by Kite's place, right? I was thinking it'd be a good idea to iron, iron things out with him first, too. Well then, we have the same agenda. You're not gonna keep us all in the loop here, come on, guys. We're taking some of these toxic potatoes with us. Perhaps Juniper will be able to advise us on the matter. Well, just say so next time! You're making a mountain out of a re-kill land. Stop pouting. Shut up! Who's pouting? I'm pouting! You're pouting! I'm pouting. No, it's you. I can't tell if oh, I've got I some sleepiness in me because I thought y'all were talking about literal tanks for a hot sec. Oh my. I uh, no. <laughs> exactly. We're thinking of discussing the issue with the fields in person. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I'd get, I'll get Fox and the others to hold the fort while we're, we're away. You guys go on ahead. What, you're coming on as well now, too? I did say I'd work with you, didn't I? Everyone will be so relieved if we can get some good news out of this. All right, then I'll see you there. Oh, I'd like to bring along one of those potatoes if you don't mind. Take as many as you like. Just take care you don't get mixed up and end up with a stomach ache. Right then, I'll see you at Colony Tao. I hope everyone's getting along. All right, to Colony Tao we go! To the potato section. Oh, I really want to watch um, Gundam eventually. Dom and I really want to watch it. It's just so verdant here. Very different from back home. 
Both places have their merits. I like Colony 9, too, of course. Hi, Rain. <sighs> this smell. So I'm hearing there's some monster in the forest that doesn't belong. I have to say, I'm curious. You're familiar with all the monsters that inhabit this area, then? Naturally, hunting is how we live, after all. True. The fields are over there. I'm always a god at the splendor of these fields. This field, how ample its furrows. Hey, Grays and Indiana. Honor and brought some Onopon to colony the, to the colony with her, and they've got an appetite. I'm a little afraid of them. They're not quite little like normal Nopon. I'm not. I'm sure it's fine though. The world's a big place full of weird and wonderful things. The Nopon are here. That sounds terrifying. Don't underestimate a bit of good intel. The Nopon have arrived. Caressia makes absolutely dreamy accessories. You know, she's so good with her hands. It's enough to make you jealous. Um. Wording, wording, wording. That smell, I'm guessing, serious and anemone? Ah, yes, I have a personal stash of it. I'd like to keep some on hand to make herbal tea with. Oh, wow, didn't you take you for a tea guy? Well then, I've got a tip for you, so listen up. Try making tea from Mallow, Mallow O oh, the Marsh, and it's a fungus, quite pungent, but great for your health. It builds strength, apparently. Understood, thank you. I'll be sure to make note of it. Herbal tea quest. Oh gosh. You have an you have an elevator here, but you don't use it? As I understand it, it's been locked ever since the Turkins invaded us a few decades ago. We just leave it as is. Getting it back online would mean going down to the lower levels, you see. They seem to be growing nicely. Finally, we got some voices. Yes. They should be ready for harvest soon. It's best to pick them just as soon as they start to wilt. You let them wilt? Even after nurturing them so carefully? You get a larger yield this way. Incredible. So, they're not actually dying, but rather making way for new life. Much like us. Now that you mention it, yes. All life is built upon some kind of sacrifice. I really like the concept Indeed. of Juniper. Life I'm looking forward to thing. that Ascension quest as now well. Now we're free of our flame clock. I am all the more Very aware cool of this character. Fact. And I love the non-binary rep. I don't believe we've been acquainted yet. Zeon, commander of Colony 9. I do apologize for this sudden visit. Juniper, I also act in the capacity of commander for Colony Tau. We're here today to ask for your advice. Oh, do tell. <laughs> hmm. Cutting. In the natural world, some plants contain toxic elements, usually to fend off predators. I'd guess that these belong to that category. I was afraid of this. It must have been frustrating. Yes, for the whole colony. I don't mind the toil myself. Such was my decision. But as for my friends, I'd rather they simply enjoy the result. I understand. I know that feeling. I'd like to suggest a different crop, drawing from our experience here. Would you wait here a moment, please? Phew! Finally caught up! You took your sweet time. Sorry. I lost my bearings. So, uh, did you figure out the issue? Oh, sorry to keep you. Look here. These will grow even in the harshest. Oh. What? Oh my and god, Kite! Uh, Kite! A lieutenant from uh, Connolly 9. He teleported. Hello, Kite. I'm Juniper. It's a pleasure to meet you. Kite is a what the? dead man. Is oh my, my god. Um. Uh, just ignore me. I'm fine. <laughs> Are those He's down my bad. Amateurs? Oh yeah. They Holy do look moly! Similar. They're not, right? No, they're toxic. I knew it. This is one of Agnes's kite. It's true. When considering root vegetables, poisonous tubers are relatively common. However, these spongy buds are... Huh? 
That's sweet. Already more than edible. You mean it's safe? Look at Junipers. Really? Please. Yes. I think I'd bake him first myself. Silence, Lance. These buds, they're the pride so and joy of our colony. I'm so glad you like them. Really. I don't. Where do you find this trust? These were our enemies. Yes, but not now. Kai. I get that. My I goodness. know that. But still, if only you weren't Agni. Oh my god. Sheesh, buddy. I'm sorry we put you through that. It's perfectly fine. I think you should talk to your soldier in private, though. Let me be clear. We do not bear any ill will toward Colony Town, nor do we... I didn't mean as a commander. More as one person to another. Your friends. Didn't you want them to be happy? Rather than toiling and struggling in vain. Uh. And one more thing. The pivotal factor is the soil. Soil? Check to make sure that there's earth wormwood growing in your fields. I'll forward the steps you'll need to take to your iris for reference. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Did I say something funny? No. I'm just pleasantly surprised at how earnest you are. Aww. I'll take a look as soon as we're back at the colony. Oh, and if you've any problems on your end, would you allow us to lend our support? Problems? It wouldn't feel right if the goodwill only went one way. Am I right? I understand. Let me consider. I'm glad we could talk. Aww. We'll make some wonderful fields yet. I look forward to that day. These oh, interactions the between the colony now. commanders are so precious. Them, no? They're so cute. Hey, the colony relations changed. It's so cute. We're not doing much plot today, no worries. We might later, but the focus is doing all the hero ascension quests that I have not done. So we were, we're going to be doing a lot of these. I can do most of them. So we're going to be doing as many as I can possibly do before this touching plot today. Hey, you know what happens if you pull out earthworm? It's roots wriggle around and stuff like they're alive. Gives me the creeps. Is that why they're called wormwood? Stop because they're like worm worms. Your way out of this. The roots. According to Juniper's trying to worm your way out of this. Of <laughs> it improves the soil's drainage. In other words, it makes for earth that is best suited for potato growing. All right, already. I guess we just get on with it, yeah? <laughs> Lives in this dress is so great. <laughs> I can't find a single one of them. I guess it's not the best soil. I knew it was just some kind of trick. There was no way it was going to be that easy. Look here, you. Enough, Lance. Kind. I know you're worried about the fields. Come over here and let's talk. No need. I don't have anything to say to you. Right. Um... We probably want to check out some other sites, I guess. Right. There should be some untended land not far from the colony. Let's do a sweep. We'll update you if we find anything. I want to see... Actually, I have yet to see the other characters in the dress, so I want to do that. Kate, what is wrong with you? I hope everyone's getting along. All right, let's take a look at everybody in this dress. Oh. It's because they have outfits on. Damn it.
fine. I guess we'll get rid of the Monica thing for now. Damn, Noah. Dang, buddy, looking good in that dress. Work it. Oh yeah, uni. Okay, let's see tie on in this dress. Oh! Yes! Okay. Okay, I can, I, can, I can get behind this. Okay. I like it, I like it. Everybody is rocking the dress, honestly. Oops, Joy-Con's going a little bit crazy. Everybody rocking it. Absolutely. I'm your guy. My wife, <laughs> Taeyon. I love Taeyon. Race you to that open plot there. You think I can't hold my own? <laughs> All right, interact. Not here. Ah, piece of shit. Dress like that, making you herbal tea. Oh my god! There we go. Earth ultimate, wood. ultimate waifu. Ugh. Don't worry, it's not gonna bite. I'm not worried about it biting. Looks like we found our spot. I'll inform Kite. You think he'll actually help us? Don't worry. He's a bit delicate in some areas, but when he starts something, he will see it through. Hmm? What is it? I've lost contact. What a joke. Uh -oh. Now he won't take your calls. Whoa, now. We should probably hear his side of the story, yeah? Let's stop stirring the pot. Lands is one to talk. I've already talked to him, but it didn't prove very effective. He's taken this personally, so it'll probably take some time. Both of you have been too quick to judge. Don't be so hasty. Hasty? Me. It's like Juniper said. You need to speak to him man to man, not soldier to soldier. Like how you talk to Lance. Oh, yeah. Why are you and Lance always fighting anyway? He just gets on my nerves. Sorry, what? No. <laughs> right back at you, pal. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't think that counts as fighting, Senna. Yeah, they're just having some banter. That's how you should be with Kite, too. You're always talking on a commander lieutenant level. I hadn't realized. So I've been issuing him orders instead of talking to him on an equal footing. Talk to him again. I think it'll go better this time. Yes. Perhaps it will. I'll try. I didn't realize I had Noah in Mio's outfit until now. Cute. Wearing each other's clothes. That's cute. <clears throat> Who's your ultimate Xenoblade 3 waifu? <laughs> Tyon. Hey, Kite. What do you want? We've good news. We found a plot that would be perfect for farming. Really? That's great! Uh, I mean, well, that's just great in the eye-rolling sense. So you won't help us out? Well, I never said that. Talk to us, boss. You're gonna get your hands muddy or not? Yes. All right? I'll do it. 
I'll do my snuffing job. Yeah, you better. Okay, so, what are we planting? The spongy spuds. Juniper's already told us how to grow them. Oh, here we go again. Don't grumble. That potato was truly delicious. Fine. Whatever. Just give me the spuds. <laughs> what? Of course. We still need potatoes to plant. You didn't get them ready? Uh... We were so focused on looking for earthworm wood... <sighs> it happens. <laughs> this isn't like you, Commander. Did you eat something funky? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Even the most scrupulous perfectionist is liable to err... ...on occasion. All right. Just hurry up and get some. <laughs> Spongy <laughs> spuds, right? <laughs> Let's start with about ten of those. We'll gather them as fast as we can. Shall we meet again in the fields? Sure thing. Just send me the location by Iris. <laughs> so that's the state of affairs. <sighs> Actually, I'm curious at what it says right now. Um, the affinity chart. Oh, that's cute. Finds Juniper interesting. Feel, feels guilty. Interesting. Easy for you. What are these Turkins doing here? What? Mutual love between these Turkins. Okay. What? I like this, like, Xeon finding Juniper interesting. It's so cute. The Turk, just random Turkin. All right, looks like we gotta go there. Easy peasy. I'm just doing hero quests, basically, all stream. I don't know how long this will take me, so... It, heck, if we do all of the things and I still have time, then heck yeah, I'll do plot, but... I have a feeling uh, these hero quests are gonna take probably the whole stream into next stream, too. But that ain't a bad thing, because these are really great stories, and I'm in no rush to go through Chapter 7. I should have finished these a long time ago, too. The Turkins are in love. Cool! Yeah, great for them! Great for those Turkins. What's <sighs> that? All right, where's more? I, we need more. Well, looks like we can go on from here. I don't want to go up, I just want more of the thing we need. Ah! Alright, got him. The side quests are fun, but too much? Too much! Oh, I haven't thought that the side quests were too much. I find them so immersive, like, um, seeing the changes in the affinity chart, the more you complete side quests, seeing the colony relations change, like, the story built around everything and how everything is super incorporated is really nice. Like, I've been enjoying almost every single side quest. Heck, I did 12 hours of side quests over the weekend. No, that step comes last. First, we need to till the soil so that the seed potatoes can take root more easily. So what's that actually mean? Till? I think I'm a bit lost. You toss the soil to trap the air in it, it seems. According to Juniper, there are three main layers of soil. 
Yeah, yeah, so we just rough it up a bit. I get you. Lance, the crudeness of your summaries never ceases to amaze me. There's not much point mm -hmm. to it all, though, is there? Come on now. Don't be like that. Let's just do what we can. This music is way too heroic, yeah. Ticks. You and your ticks, man. It's not about speed. We need precision here, folks. Just follow the procedure I sent to your irises. Ask me if there's anything you're unclear on. Okay then, guys. They're a death step up in previous this. games. Oh, for sure. I love them. I love doing side quests. Can't say that about ever every game. Actually, can't say that about most games. Riku, you're definitely uh, doing great work there. Yeah, Riku. Damn, Riku and Banana going at kite there. This is looking good. That was pretty fun, hey, Mimi? And now we water them. Ugh, I wish I was the one being watered. A stink of dirt. <laughs> Should we wait for the rain? In this instance. Yeah. I think it's best if we let nature take care of the rest. I get the feeling we should interfere as little as possible. But rainfall isn't always guaranteed. If you rely too much on the weather, it may come back to bite you. Then, what if you control soil humidity as you wait for the rain? And if ever the rain doesn't come for a while, then you can water your crops yourself. That sounds smart. Let's wait a while and see how things unfold. All right. You just leave that to us. Oh, what? Zeon and the others aren't going to stick around here forever. Who else is there? Well, besides, it'll only take two You finish all the side quests today? Holy Kite. shit. Can I trust you to handle it? How? Yeah, go on then. Come back and have a look after the rain, though, would you? Right, we'll do that. Oh, I remember the if field skills in too. Rain, once again, I'm powerless. Indeed, that's definitely where the problem lies. What is this? Question mark. Ha! 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 What? Splish splash? What the fuck you doing? Rain, it's name it named for type of weather that extreme damp and mood of splish splash. It also generally tend toward dampness. Casting for vote of sympathy, but no one liked. Meh? Splish Splash smells scent of moisture on Breeze. Should Splish Splash cast clouds for friends word? It's gonna cost you. I have literally nothing to spend my money on. Many thankings should help add a few more dish side dishes to the me next meal. Splish Splash will take it from here. Please take my money. We have some new names registered. They were just not fun. I agree. I did like the idea of it and it was cool, uh, but I think it took too long for my liking. So by the end of the game, it just felt. And the requirements to get them, the, it just felt a little so, bit much uh, by the end of the game. I was like super tired of it. Budding? The seed potatoes are rotting. Perhaps we gave them too much water. Oh, no. Does the soil not drain properly? Or was it something else? It's my fault. I was giving them extra water from time to time because I didn't want them drying out. Fox! I thought I was being careful. Never considered that I might be overdoing it. <sighs> well, we'll just have to try this again. Let's wait for the next rainy spell. Sorry, guys. Don't blame it on yourself. Yeah, but if I hadn't done this, we wouldn't have to... <laughs> oh, if only! What's done is done, man. You can't change the past. So let's just recoup our losses and do even better next time round. All right. Huh. That's a good attitude, Kite. I like it. I'm good either way, to be honest. Huh. Classic Eastman. Guess I'll stick it out for a while longer. Thanks, Kite. Credit where it's due, that was actually pretty good. That was? His words came from the heart. I think that's why it that resonated with them. Kite's always been annoyed at being second best. 
He knows the frustration of not living up to his own standards. And that really struck a chord. Complimenting others' weak points has always been a talent of his. It's something I could never do. Aww. Hey! I think we'll go ahead and till the soil again. Take out the rotted spuds. So, if you don't mind... Got it. We'll grab a new batch for you. Really Character sorry, development. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen. We'll to get ten more seed potatoes then. Don't worry. We'll pick a really good selection this time. Just you wait. Dang. That's good. That's good. We have to do it all again. And you know what? I don't think I care that much. This quest is awesome. And all I'm doing is growing fucking potatoes. But I love it. It's like you're struggling. The feeling of struggle. And meanwhile, it brings a group of people closer together because you're all having the similar struggle. Like when you have people that you share the struggle with, it brings you closer together. So like the feeling is great. It's weird. This is weird. But like, I like this. Even just in growing fucking potatoes. Don't feel tedious if you got nice writing? Yeah, exactly. True that. Hmm? What's that? Check it. Oh, looks like we can go on from here. potato show we can call the past 15 minutes the potato show sure or how long have we been doing potatoes now for like 30 minutes 30 minutes of potatoes <laughs> yeah Our luck's changing. All right, take two of making potatoes happen. Now, now I want a rain. potato. Come on, buds, start your budding already. I've got a good feeling about this one. <sighs> Do you like chunky mashed potatoes or smooth mashed potatoes? If you Ask me, ask me that question, like, growing up. Growing up, I liked them completely smooth. But now that uh, I am an adult, I like when there's a little bit of, like, chunks in my mashed potatoes. I don't mind tasting the chunks. I actually prefer it. Not completely mashed. It's a good way to go. Potatoes are the best card. They are the best. I always hesitate to call potatoes vegetables. But they are the best. <laughs> we did it. They're budding. Talk about suspenseful. Manana excited for yummy harvest. Hope they grow up big and strong. Yeah. We need to take good care of them. Looks like it's going well. Indeed. Now we can breathe a sigh of relief. We'll want to take care of the fertilizer now, right? How do we distribute it? Actually, I have just the person for that. Earl's a dab hand at gardening. I'm sure he'll be able to help us out if we explain our situation. I'd appreciate that. Incidentally, where did Kite go? Stormed off after saying he'd done his field tending duty. Guess he's still not over it. I suppose it's time for us to pack up. We can't just leave that guy alone. He's always been there for us, through thick and thin. I know. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure my lieutenant gets the care he deserves. 
Will do. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Earl will explain it for you, but you know the fertilizer? Seems you make it by crushing up seeds, bones, and plants and mixing it all together. Oh, and he also said that having a few helix conches on you would save him some trouble. Helix conches? You'll get that done in ten ticks. Or else. <laughs> that might be a little tight for us, but we can certainly try. Aww. So that's the state of affairs. Can you use it? Yeah, oh, same. I think that's, that's a, a one. feel like that's common for most people. Like whenever you're a kid, texture is more of a thing. When you're an adult, you care less. That's true. Hey, Pollux. Aw, he's going to do the very best for his commander. It's all coming together. Commander Zeon, long time no see. I'll take any materials you have for the fertilizer off your hands, okay? What are picking here? Forty. The helix conch. I should have started with that. That didn't take long at all. Noah's like, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this done in time. Two seconds later. Oh, we got it. Whoa, they got so big. Fills the bursting with lively. Applying fertilizer ought to further foster their growth. So we just sprinkle the stuff on top and then we're done. Wrong. They need to be able to absorb Wrong. the nutrition easily. So first, we combine the fertilizer with some soil. Then you spread the mixture around the roots. So specific. <laughs> I've more or less memorized Juniper's info now. Let me know if there's anything. I've more sure or less of. memorized Juniper's uh, info mission right by now. Yes. I suspect he might have actually been born with it. He's just the meticulous type. <laughs> that's about all we can ask for. He keeps teasing him. <laughs> I'll let him know. All right. Guess it's back to the grindstone. Now to wait for more rainfall. Oh, I'm shaking with excitement. Are you really? He wears them just to do oh, that. You yeah. think he doesn't need we the glasses? For this. It's true, though. You tell him, love. Let's see what the coming rain brings. We yeah. are creations that have specialized irises, so yeah, why wouldn't we have 20-20 vision? Like, our vision should be perfect. He wears them just to be a nerd. You are absolutely right. People already making these emotes? I seen an emote already? Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. I'll pay you 10,000 just to make the rain come, Mr. Depressed Nopon. Oh, okay, that was weird. All right, this may be the end of our potato struggles. These little guys have come a long way. They in springtime of youth, growing up into fine young potatoes. potatoes. Nothing gets Manana excited like the prospect of a full belly. Can you blame her? Resounding no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, there's one. Why have they changed color? Huh? Oh no, they're withering. Why though? It can't be time to harvest them yet, surely. I dread to think so. But it could be one of the diseases mentioned in the reference materials. The damage seems to spread from the lesions here, on the root. They bear resemblance to the black rot. Oh, they better not be. That's supposed to cause rapid decay. Spreads easily too. Oh my god. Let's check the others for similar symptoms. On the double. The Potato Let Chronicles continue! 
Oh, I thought I thought for sure we had it this time. No. We're too late to save these ones. No notable issues. This one looks like it got issues. Oh my god. These potato chronicles are like so intense. First it's too much water and now they're getting diseases. Oh my god, the struggle buzz. Oh, I have patience for this quest. I'm just surprised. Surprised. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. Okay, let's discuss the spongy spud woes. I just wanted to confirm. Judging by the state of the stems, I think we're on the mark. It's the black rot, no question. But they were looking so healthy until just a little while ago. Can't we help them somehow? There's only one solution, and that's to dispose all of the infected stems before the others all go bad. That's what Juniper Data said, it, said anyhow. That's less helping and more harm reduction, though. Can't we just pluck the bad leaves? Leave the rest there? No, we have to pull out the whole stem. We do? You realize what you're saying after all the hard work we put in? I wish we could save them all. I really do. But the rot is spreading fast. Pull out the bad ones and that's the end of it. That's... There's not much point in trying to find alternatives because at this rate... A fierce debate you're having there. What are you so laid back about, Chief? This is Colony Nine's future on the line here. You're absolutely right, and I'm not being laid back. We simply have to pull out the afflicted stems and avoid losing everything. There's no other way. Weed out the bad to save the rest. It's something quite profound. You may not think it, but I often lack the backbone needed of a, uh, needed of a commander. Even this far into my terms, I often faltered and facilitated questioning my actions. That is, until you taught me about the importance of failing and starting anew. It was an invaluable lesson to learn. Had to really hammer it into that hard head, hard head of yours before it stuck, though. I'll take that as a compliment. If Zeon's not gonna give up, then neither am I. We'll do what we can, and we'll do it right. That's right, and we better start now. Time waits for no spud. Right, time to pull out the bad stems. My friends, thank you. Gotta pull out the bad potatoes. Wait, I wanna learn about herbal tea. It's best we talk this through. Let's learn about herbal tea. Hey, Tyon, have you heard... I've heard that you make herbal tea sometimes, is that true? Hmm? Uh, ah, yes. It's something of a hobby. Would you like a cup as well? You putting the brew on, tea on? Tea on? <laughs> Tay on? Tie on? Whatever. Sweet, I'll have a cup of serious anemone, please. Thanks. I doubt you would be able to appreciate the subtle flavors. <laughs> Why don't I make a mallow the marsh and you, you can drink that instead? Mallow the... Wait, isn't that a mushroom? You drink it to get stronger. Appreciate it, will you? Oh, you should have said. All right, then. I'll take 10 cups of your finest fungus water. Cheers. Fungus water. <laughs> I'll take a lot of that shit. Let's go. Let's bounce. Tea on, tay on, get it, tea on. Yeah, yeah, I did that on purpose. I swear I'll save you. Don't fail me now. Oh. Got dirt in my eye. <laughs> did did they have different dialogue for Yes, you All right, the let, bus. Let's try uni. Bad stems have got to go. Yeah, that looks about right. I'll do my best. Mio's turn. I think we have to pull these ones out. Phew, that's it. Eh, 
eh. I'll take point. There we go. Let's pull up the stems here. That should do. They all have different dialogue. That's so cute. That looks to be all of them. We'll have to monitor them for a short while. Take note of the state of the stems, not just the color of the leaves. We should fix up the soil too, right? Think so. It's supposed to be bad if the underground bits are exposed to light. Might as well pull up the weeds while we're at it too, huh? Don't pull the potatoes themselves out. Mate, I can tell the difference. Can you? And then we hope for rain. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll spend That's another right. 10,000 on rain. Yeah. I was just thinking how times change. It wasn't so long ago that my soul thoughts were about keeping the flame clock topped up. Now here I am, worrying about soil and potatoes. We've Looking come a long way. I could never From killing people in such to potatoes. True. Who'd have thought you'd chomp on a raw potato or admit to lacking a spine? <laughs> Please, don't remind me. I feel flushed just thinking about it. But I think we've grown a lot closer as a result. I feel like I know you better. Sometimes you don't really get to know someone until you've clashed first and then sorted out your differences. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? It's so cute. Anyway, I think we've done what we can here. Let's report back into Juniper. We fixed the potatoes. Now we have to tell Juniper about our successes. Juniper, Juniper, look what I did. I grew some potatoes. You should be so proud of me. <laughs> this story is way more wholesome than I thought it was going to be. All right, Juniper. Whoa, got a rare dude right here. Ooh, what you guys growing? The black rot, you say? Did you deal it with a deal with it accordingly? We pulled out the stems that had discoloration, but we're not sure if that's going to be enough to stop the spread. We were wondering if you could take a look for us if it's not a bad time for you. From what you're telling me, that might be the best course of action. Yes, you're really having some bad luck. By the way, do you have anyone keeping watch over the fields? Keeping watch? You mean like a patrol? It's not just Colony 9 that are strapped for food, remember? You never know who or what could be lying in wait. Yeah, you're right. We'll get someone on it right away. Thank you. Anyway, I'll start getting ready for this trip to Colony 9. Yay! Getting Juniper to Colony 9. Well, I can't say this is the best Ascension quest. I haven't done the others yet. Like, this is my fourth one. You can't tell me it all goes downhill from here. I'm sure they only get better. Sounds a little rowdy over there. Uh-oh. Uh, is that? It came from over there. Let's hurry. For the fields! For the fields! Ah! Oh, look at these bitches. Oh. <gasps> you are not getting through me! I won't let their efforts go to waste! Kite! You lot! Talk later. Let's teach those creatures never to set foot upon this land again. We will defend this place with our lives. Show them there is strength in unity. Damn, strength and unity over potatoes. I mean, that's what survival does to you. Level 49, oh my god. I was supposed to do this like ages ago. Things are building up. 
Wait, Neo died? How the fuck are you dying, girl? Wait, Yuni died? What's going on? Oh, I'm the healers. Oh, oh, Lands and Cena are the only healers, and I'm in interlink. Oh. That's why we're dying. There's like zero heals happening. It's okay, we didn't need them. Oops, that was not my smartest move I've ever done. Good thing I'm like severely over leveled for this. Ha 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 ha. We saved the potatoes! This kind of makes me want poutine, we? honestly. We're fine, at least. They really tore up the place, huh? Sorry. I couldn't stop them. It's not your fault, Kite. Besides, you were the first to come running here. Don't feel bad. You were tending the fields, weren't you? Trying to keep them safe. The whole time. Oh. I couldn't just sit back. But... It was hardly any point. You shouldn't put yourself down. Oh. <gasps> oh no. You? What are you? If I could just... <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> Guess I don't know my own strength. Thank you very much. Are those? I'm afraid I failed to mention something. Spongy buds are quite special. They actually use the field itself as a means of storage. That's why you recommended growing them. Astounding. That's huge. Sorry, I doubted you. The reason I didn't trust you before, it wasn't because you were Agnian. No, it's because I was weak. Now, I don't expect you to forgive me or anything like that. But I know I caused hurt. I'm so sorry. Now, come on, raise your head. You refused to give in. You struggled to change things for the better. The way I see it, that's not weakness. Not from what I hear, anyway. Oh my don't... god! No, you... You don't even know me. Making a change, kind. It takes guts. You're a good man. We didn't admit it. But then again, neither did you. You know what? No one's ever told me that. I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh! I think from now on, I'll make an effort to remind you. Kite, you're an asset to us all. Commander, could I... Could you perhaps help me with a problem? If your offer of support still stands, that is? Sure. Ask us anything. Would it be possible to permit me to visit Colony 9 more frequently? Hmm? That's no issue for me. I'm not directly asking for help with a specific problem, but I'd like it if we could build friendly relations between us. Oh, if that's all right. This is so cute. Yes. Feel free to visit anytime. <laughs> Same here. Oh, uh, very happy to have you. Thank you very much, Kite. What's all this, then? Kite's acting weird. What I'm more worried about is what will happen to the tending of the fields. I'll be sure to ask them, but maybe not right now. Just look. They're having so much fun. <laughs> that potato quest was so worth it. That took like a full hour, dude.
but you know what? Worth it. 10 out of 10. Would absolutely grow potatoes to bond with my teammates again. I enjoy seeing them grow. It's really quite magical. Damn. Damn. So that's the state of affairs. Carrie, now the potatoes are growing, we've gotten Colony 9 back on even keel, I think. Some of the other colonies are cooperating with each other right now, right? I wonder if we can get it on that too. There's been changes to colony relations. I've always thought that Xeon was well suited to being a commander. It seems like the bad vibes between him and Kite have gone away too. That's bound to make him more approachable. I think a lot of that is thanks to Kite's influence too. Yeah, all in all, I think they made a pretty good team. Why is this funny here? I can't even call this practice. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Death to bunnies. I can't even call this practice. I'm ready. Let's do it. Kill the bunnies. You look happy. I guess all that all this is setting your mind at ease. Yeah, plants always give back if you take proper care of them. They've shown me that I need to look forward, not back. That maybe that maybe I can keep living into the future. They've even helped me face up to my role as an offseer too. You give me a you gave me a lot of advice when I was having those worries. I can't thank you enough. Aww. Why is this game so good? What the heck? What the heck? But why is it so good? Kite, I'm proud of you! These spongy spuds need a lot of t care and attention, right? Maybe that's why I'm feeling like this. I just get such a warm, fuzzy feeling seeing the little spuds all harvested. Like I want to talk to them or something. You're talking to the potatoes. Atomic Poncho, thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Not literally, you doofus. I'm saying I feel so happy that I could. So, uh, thanks, I guess, for helping us out with all this. Good, Kite. Good. Proud of you, Kite. Time to eat them, huh? Spongy spuds are so good. I could eat them by the sack load. I know, I can always make space in my belly for them. I feel like I have a potato stomach. Like, we all have a separate stomach for potatoes in particular. Those spongy spud things, they're delish. So much so that I wonder if it's almost lunchtime at all the time now. Oh, I always wonder the same thing. Can't underestimate a bit of good intel. Oop, joy con Would you have a minute? I'd like to discuss agronomy. All right. We can discuss this on our next break over some herbal tea. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this. <laughs> the herbal tea. Everyone in the colony's been chowing down on spongy spuds from the fields, myself included. It's been so long since I got to eat till I was full. Can't even remember when the last time was. Camilla went nuts for them. You should have seen the smile on her face. When I think about living this kind of life into the future, well, it makes me so happy I could weep. Aww. Everything is so wholesome. All right, that's it with Colony 9. Oh my goodness. Well, that's it for now, I should say. Let's see what the affinity chart looks like now with... Oh, look at the trust. Oh, leave the colony to me. Strong and kind commander. Oh, and the trust. Look, valued friends. <gasps> look at that. Valued friends. Cute and wholesome. What the heck? You only eat fries? You don't eat like baked potatoes, mashed potatoes. There are so many ways, home fries, like hash browns. There are so many forms of potato. So many forms not that are just not fries, you know? All right, next hero. I'm interested though. So whenever we finish, what does the hero roster say? So we did Valdi and Zeon. Complete. Okay, so it just says complete when you're done. Okay, uh, we're gonna go through. Whoa, where's all my stuff? I changed classes and all my stuff just like gone. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of, yeah, we can stick. Okay. Um, anyway, so next hero. So we did Valdi, we did Zeon, now we go to Teach. I am ever your ally. No, we're gonna do them, I'm doing the them in order, so it'll be a bit before we get to Gray, unfortunately. So Teach! Ah! My drift. Teach would be over here. Yeah, okay, there you are. Hi, Teach. Oh, you didn't like mashed potatoes? You gotta add butter to them. Buttered mashed potatoes. I've gathered some feedback from the new recruits. Training seems to be progressing satisfactorily. Right. We've really been trying to do our best. Didn't realize how hard it was to hammer things into folk, though. It's gratifying to see you acknowledge how much work I put into it, sir. You're just a big bag of lectures, aren't you? Either that or snide remarks. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a lively bunch. I can see why you're so popular. Um, leaving that aside for a moment. Oh, cheese. Yeah, continue? cheese and the mashed potatoes. Ah, uh, yes, about that. I do believe that the time to apply the finishing touches is approaching. Finishing touches? You mean? Yes. We're going to perform large-scale maneuvers that encapsulate everything we've done so far. Yeah? Large-scale maneuvers? Now we're talking. Do you think they'll be up to scratch when we've completed these maneuvers, Teach? I'd say so. Especially if all of you are prepared to participate as well. Of course. So when do we start? Right now. Huh? Right now. Actually, to be honest with you, the preparations for the maneuvers are already complete. All we need to do now is to get everyone over to the designated location, in fact. You've got everything squared away ahead of time. Ah, oh, that's so crafty. You see, I anticipated that you'd reach the end of the exercises at around this point in time. Teach can be a touch pushy sometimes. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I just have so much faith and confidence in your abilities. Well, where should we go to get started? Do you know Everblight Plain? Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. We've even been in a dust up there, as I remember. The new recruits have already departed for the target location. They're probably there already. I'll share the full details of the maneuvers once we've rendezvoused with the rest of the forces. Shadow of Enmidia. Let me think. The place you're talking about is... Huh. It's Everblight Plain. Well then, shall we set out? We're gonna set out. Time to go. Back to the beginning of the game. Oh, that's Noah's ass. Oh, that's not Noah's ass. That's Tyon's ass in Noah's outfit. My bad. Everyone present and correct. Then I'll proceed with the mission briefing. Before we start, Please turn your attention upward for a moment. Upward? Up. Oh! A number of containers arranged by me for the purpose of this maneuver have just this moment made landfall. Foots, Zakir, and Kyrie. Your squads will get to the containers and recover the contents. Quick as you can. What about us? You're going to be acting as an enemy. You'll do whatever you can to prevent the recruits what? from performing the recovery. Oh! Huh? We'll be fighting against Neil's crew. But we'll get pumped. Oh, please. No need to make quite such a fuss about it. This is simply a training exercise. No, I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, I mean... 
The big boys aren't gonna go full tilt at us newbies, surely. Little did they know. You three, listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. Whatever opponent you may face, I forbid you to belittle or think ill of them. From the moment you raise your blade against theirs, you must project every ounce of your power when you fight. In that way, you do an honor to your opponent. Honor? If you do not offer that honor to your opponent, then all that remains is the shadow of enmity. If pure power is the only prize of battle, then surely this war will never end. For the most sacred duty of every soldier is this, to stamp out evil at its source. Busting out the big For a training regimen, this music is going so hard. <laughs> That's our teach for you. Mio and companions, do not hold back. Bring your full strength to bear on your juniors. All right. We'll do our level best to assume the role of enemy. Very well. Squads, to your positions. Wait for the designated start time. Iris communication is forbidden from this point. That is all. Disperse. Oh, no. Okay. It's time. We should commence with our battle plans as well. Huh? Uh-oh. Teach? What is it? Uh, I just had the feeling I was being watched. Uh, a trick Ooh, of the mind, perhaps. Ooh, being watched. Come on, Never a good let's sign. get out there and grab these containers, yeah? The rookies are gonna beat us to it. Yes, indeed. We elders need to demonstrate a bit of spirit. Roger. Starting mission. If they're crossing all of the colonies, maybe this is like a colony person. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's somebody from Kevis. Welp, okay, here we go. Time to beat up some people for some training. Oh, see, they're training by themselves. They don't need us. Oh, I'm dead right away. There, Teach is the only healer right now. I think he'll be fine. Teach can carry the healing. Oh boy. Oh, did I win? Um, thanks for helping us out there, I guess. I guess. Yeah, uh, no worries. Considering we're meant to be your enemy, I'm not sure help is the right word. Yeah, this is weird. Even so, we couldn't just leave them to get mown down there, could we? Ha. <laughs> Chaos reigns supreme on the field of battle. Let this be a lesson to you. Hmm. Huh? Aren't you guys in Kyrie squad? Yeah, that's right. So, where's Kyrie? Well, she's not here. I guess she's gotten lost, as usual. What's going on? Uh, life's compass is never set on a single course. Huh? So she wandered off again. That's our Kyrie. What should we do, Teach? Do you want us to look for her? No. Let's leave it to them. This too is a part of the training. Roger that. I'll track her down then. Though, to be honest, I don't fancy my chances. Somebody's gone missing. Oh, Zuno! Namaki! Kyrie. Anyone? Is anyone there? Oh, I picked a great time to get lost, didn't I? 
Wouldn't you just follow so like the now? red smoke signal that's coming out of the no, chest anyway? No, I can't just anyway? stay here. It's getting worse. The supply I drop. I need to step up to the plate. Be more like Mio. Aww. That's from the training regimen. <sighs> Who art thou? I hope Kyrie's all right. Kyrie. Kyrie's a stout-hearted soldier. Have faith in her. Kyrie will be fine. She's, you know, grown trained soldier. She'll be fine. And plus, nobody dies in this game. So Kyrie is absolutely going to be fine. Nobody really dies. They just come back to life anyway. It's fine. Music too intense. All right, time to fight these guys. Yes, here we well, go. We've been found. Here we go, man. Oh, oh, right, right, right away. Getting lost when they have iris. Yeah, they do have GPSs in their irises. Look, don't question it. Even with the iris, some people get lost. It's just like you know, think of it in IRL context. Even if somebody has a GPS, you know, you're driving with your GPS on, people will still get lost with the GPS on if they just make a wrong turn. People still fuck up. We killed them. Or the GPS Crap. fucks up. Yeah, it happens. Nothing else for it. Happens to. All units, retreat, double quick. Considering the state of play, they picked a good moment to withdraw. Indeed. Zakir's going to be a solid addition to the force, thanks to your instruction. I can't take all the credit. It's down to their superb teamwork. Oh, I like that the yeah, the teaching side quests are coming container. into play here. We spent time Can't with each of them. Got. Shouldn't give the others a chance to regroup. Let's just swipe it and skedaddle. <laughs> it seems you're relishing your roles as the bad guys. Good casting by me. <laughs> okay, T. <sighs> Tyon's so done. It is crazy to think that we start the game here. Like just putting things into perspective of how like truly how far we have come in this game is crazy. Absolutely crazy to think about. We should be able to use some of this. Uh oh. Where is the squad entirely? The squad's just not here. What? There's no one here. Are we the first? Oh, we're gonna get ambushed! Huh? That sucks! What an anti -climax. They're gonna ambush us. Oh well. Let's recover the container. Not so fast. Who? Oh, what? Where? Nice. But we're surrounded. So it seems. You thought us rookies were gonna be a pushover, didn't you? Well. Joke's on you now. All right, all right. Fork it over. We've got a full head of steam over here. 
And you're gonna get all of it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just how I like it. Come at us, mudders. Nothing like a chump with a death wish. <laughs> that was cute. Dude, your name is Foots. Yep. Imagine having a name of having a name of Foots. Unnecessarily tense and epic music. It's very epic. They keep the same name when they're reborn, so it, it probably is information that goes in their iris, no doubt. Too bad you still suck, foots. Snuff it. I think we stuffed here. We're snuffed. You really handed it to us. We're gonna have to call it quits. Hey, don't think of it like that. You drew a pretty sharp line in the sand there. Right. And I'd say that means you've still got room to grow. So don't let up now. That means a lot. Well, guess we'll be yoinking the container then. Unless you rookies got another round in you. No, I know when I'm beat. <laughs> you sure about that? I thought you liked a bit of hard sparring, Woo! even more than strength training. You still bitter about that, Senna? She's still bitter about it. That teaching quest. Dang. It all comes Excellent. back together. That's Your so cute. Your duty is fulfilled and admirably at that. Let's return to the original rendezvous point. Kyrie is still missing, by the way. Oh, that's weird. I thought it was round here. Oh, did I go off in the wrong direction again? <laughs> She's really bad at navigation. Oh. Kyrie oh, is no. having like a I, time. I Everything's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Who is this guy? Ah! Good messy soldier! What, what am I gonna do? You're gonna beat him up. Ah! Ah! Girl! Beat him up! Okay, maybe don't do that. Maybe you can be friends, but like... You're fine, you're fine. Keep calm. Well, guess it's right. Well, you know, if Kyrie dies, it'll be sad, but. No, it'll, it'll be sad. It'll be sad. We tried, Mio had a training session with her to try to teach her Everyone? how to be a leader. Thank you for your perseverance. That'd be sad if it was all in put to waste. In these maneuvers, you showed quality, doggedness, and grit in the pursuit of excellence. But we've got to face it. We got trashed. Hey, don't be down on yourself. You proved you got the right stuff, yeah? For the amount of pressure and problems you gave us, I'd say that's pretty promising for new recruits. While the leader of each squad is present, there's something I'd like to announce. Uh, Kyrie. I guess I'll have to stand in for Kyrie. We haven't found her yet. What? I guess we'll need to mount a proper search for her. Sheesh. She's a real test of patience, that one. Yes. Nothing of teach value speaking. would be lost. Oh, I'm not that cruel. So, you're calling yourself Teach now. Interesting. Ooh! What? Who? 
But that's not all that's interesting. For example... Oh, God. What became of that soldier of yours? The one blindly wandering around the battlefield back there. Where is she now? You... What have you done with Kyrie? You'd better not have hurt her. It's all down to you now, Teach. You better start the search for her. Seek help from your comrades, then. Bring your reinforcements. It makes no difference to me. But hear this. I won't let you escape. Woo! Forgive me, but I cannot follow your meaning. You aren't making a shred of sense. A clue. Remember Kai. <gasps> Kai? Think Not of Chi? Me as a ghost from your past. Oh. Teach? What just happened? Is something up with Kyrie? It appears that Kyrie has been abducted by a mysterious party. Abducted? But who would. I don't know yet. I sense a Kavesi hand in this, or perhaps. Well, we'd better get out there and help her. No. Kyrie is my responsibility. Please Rat lead row. the troops back to the colony. Hey, come on. Um, Commander, don't worry about us. We'll be okay. We may be a bunch of rookies, but I think we can get ourselves back to the colony in one piece. Commander, sir! Zuno, Foots, but... Commander, I also think that might be the best course of action. We just slow you down. But if you take Noah and the others, you've got a much better chance of finding Kyrie. Spot, guys. Understood. You're right. Take yourselves back to the colony. We went with long hair Mio. It wasn't my decision. Twitch chat Everyone, actually decided listen that. Up. I'm going to have to ask you to assist in the search for Kyrie. I gave everyone we the power to start, decide. Commander. Let's find Kyrie. That means we're going to have to find a way to search this vast expanse. It'll be tough. Perhaps it won't be so tough. I've already formed a broad concept of Kyrie's current location. Huh? Really? Rotswo Battle Scar is the site of an ancient battlefield in the west of Everblight Plain. I surmise that Kyrie is deep within that zone. Hmm. How come you're so certain, Teach? Time is short. I'll explain on the way. Commander, please bring Kyrie back safely. On my honor, I swear it. And you must promise to be vigilant until you've safely returned home. We have to get to Rotswo Battlescar. I must find Kyrie. Kyrie, please be okay. <laughs> I would have made the decision personally for Mio's hair, but I'm gonna be real. I really like had zero preference. It's like, on one hand, you could go back to the old Mio look, but on the other hand, I feel like, you know, if you don't go the long hair, you're, it's like a slap in the face to M's life and everything that she fought for and suffered for. Oh, so, like, you want to remember her, but at the same time, you want to see your old, like, your same old Mio. So, like, I, I couldn't choose. I could not choose. There's something I need to tell you about before we proceed. Is I'm a bad person. To do with why you knew where Kyrie was. That's right. You see, I have an idea that our mysterious opponent's true target is myself. So then, he only snatched Kyrie to get to you? Exactly. He took her as nothing more than a hostage to lure me out. Considering this angle, the pieces start to fit together. Commander. Does this mean that you know the identity of our opponent here? Oh, Not you for didn't certain, like it. But I have Aww. a hypothesis. And if that hypothesis is correct, then Kyrie should be just You up didn't ahead. like the long hair. I'm glad it grew so, on you, though. What is it then? Cause and effect. What? Something you did in the past? A colossal struggle took place on this battlefield a long time ago. Kevis and Agnes lost countless lives in that battle. In the end, both sides were annihilated. Afterwards, it was said that the ones that let loose the dogs of war were Colony Kai, 
that this slaughter was their doing. Remember Kai, they said. Of course. I've read the tales of that battle too. But what does that have to do with all this? We'll need to save Kyrie if we're to truly untangle the whole of this intrigue. Well, whatever the truth of the matter, one thing doesn't change. We need to save her. But if I'm right, I need to put an end to this for good. Stamp out evil at its source. Or I didn't even notice the hair thing was a pun. Oh my god. That completely went over my head. Kyrie, please be safe. Oh god. To think I would return here of all places. Teach? Teach is fine. Peach is just going to go through some trauma in a bit, but he'll be okay. Something so valuable here. Uh-oh, there they are. Found them. Kyrie. Commander Teach. Are you all right? Are you injured? I, I can't stand. I'm sorry. You're in one piece, at least. Something to be thankful for. Yes. It looks like we've narrowly avoided the very worst outcome. But... It's not over yet. The guy's just standing there. You've not avoided shit. The way shit. you talk. The way you act. It's as if you're a different person. Yep. Or do my eyes deceive me? No. You knew the meaning of this place. It must be you. Are you alone? Do you have allies? <laughs> Look at that, Feronis. The last bit of life burning within its flame clock is mine. This is where my friends died, slaughtered to the last by the hand of Colony Kai's commander, the man dubbed the All Slayer. You? You're a survivor of that battle. That's right. Just like him. Woo! I can understand well what it is you want, but why act in this way? Luring you in with this little nobody, you mean? Little nobody! <laughs> if I hadn't taken such measures, you would have gotten away from okay. me. Okay! Just that you'd given me the slip by changing your identity, running from the past. I know that I can never escape my past, not ever. But I chose a different path. I chose to live with the past as a burden I must bear. A wonderfully convenient use of logic. Do you suppose it will persuade the dry and dusty bones of the dead? Enough of your sophistry and lies! <sighs> this is the purpose I lived for. Why I endured the pain of being the final survivor of my people. Well, it's all about to come to an end. I will kill you as an offering to my friends. It seems you're bent on fighting me. What if there were another way? Oh, please, enough. You dare to despise me, to look down upon me That's as a That's mean. Just because his friends are reborn doesn't mean anything if they don't have the memories. At least I don't throw away my friends What's it like mean anything trash? if they're just going to come back and not remember you? I'll kill you. I'll kill you all. Memories are what make us oh, human. Teach, be careful. That's no regular Kavesi soldier. Your death is long overdue, Oleg. Oleg. Avenger! So, fight to the bitter end then. What? Just what? I can't hold them up. I like that you see the flame clock there. I wonder, we could have noticed that. I mean, I did explore this area at one point on my own time. 
I could have noticed that flame clock is still active. That's a cool little detail. I need you, Mio. Uh. Oh, hi on. Evaded. Invincible. Wait, what? What's going on? Huh? Uh, um. What the heck? Okay. What's the matter, Oleg? Is this all the strength you can muster? Your hope, your desire is to kill me. That being so, there is no meaning in our fighting. Just do what you will now. You mean to insult me even now? Fighting a weakling like me isn't worth the effort, is that it? No, you're wrong. You don't understand at all. Then fight! Fight like you fought my allies, like you crushed the life from their bodies! Show me your true nature, your fangs! Kill me, Oleg! Crush me! <sighs> Step on me! Coward! Sorry. I won't stop, not until I bring the red mist down upon you. If it takes laying down this rookie's corpse to get a rise out of you, I'll do it. Hey, I'm no rookie! What? Yeah, Kyrie, huh? let's go. Kyrie? Huh? Hey, when'd she get back up? Kyrie, if you're back on your feet, escape while you can! No, I won't run away. I'll fight by your side with all of you. The voice acting fall. generally in this game is really good. I'm, I'm not. I haven't I'll had do many what complaints. The commander told us to do. Do honor to your opponent. Fight them with every ounce of your strength. Kyrie, you're. Th that's why. I, why we fight. Me, you, me, oh, commander, all of us. I am a warrior of Colony Gamma. <sighs> She's right. I forgot the very thing I told my students to guard in their hearts. It was me that lacked maturity, that hadn't grasped the basic truth. Certainly your technique, it's amazing. It's only natural. You've applied yourself to discipline which forces you to stare death in the face. Since you've borne that burden, I ought to fight you with my whole strength and spirit. To meet your passion, I will unbind my darkest arts. Ooh. Kyrie, please, lend me your The powers. dark arts. Roger that, Commander. I'll give it everything. We whipping out the big guns now. As you wish. More kindling for the carnival of carnage. You don't like the script in the early game? Oh, I loved it. I loved every me second of it. Of arts, Oleg. Teach me what you mean. It's a script in the other games that I definitely didn't vibe with. Teaches all Slayer art has been unlocked. It can nullify the Avengers' complete defense from critical vengeance. Oh. I'll draw them. Perfect. Kyrie, cover me. Let me give you a taste. You won't get away! What? Behold my darkest of arts. The darkest of arts. You won't get away! I'll throw them. Alright, don't fuck up, Teach. It's all up to you. I didn't launch! You won't get away! I tried to launch after the topple! No. No, 
Oh, you just find the script slow. I didn't mind it. I think it's important for the world building and especially the character building, so I didn't mind it. Teach, I need you to do your thing. Thank you. But that's not the first time I've heard that either. Like, uh, I had a friend who's playing through this game as well and thought that the beginning was also kind of slow. I can understand how it wouldn't vibe with some people, the pacing of it. Nice burst. It's about time we finish this. Ready whenever. You won't get away. Time to unite. But, but yeah, I totally, I totally get it. No, you're not the one I should be attacking. Just watch. Come on now. Fire you. Time to lay out the big run. Sit in that white hole flash. Give it up. Chain attack now. I'll do the chain attack after this. We are extra long to fuck you. Counting on your unit. Cool, I'll give it a win. Eight six. Withstand this. No escape. My top. Ah, that's a good question. I forget which shop I got it from. It's uh, Korean street fashion. And if that helps narrow it down, the shops. Because I've been getting into like a Japanese and Korean street fashion. So that's where this is from. I just don't remember which site specifically I got it from. It might be Lionox. I have to look real quick. I can still do this. I'll draw them. Jeez, you're a dead. Here. Nothing going. Give it up. I I think it's Lionox. Uh L I A N O X. You like that? I'll show you. Wait, I want bonus experience. Unnecessary chain attack! Let's go! Everyone get ready! I forget what I haven't had teach in the party in a long time. Huh. The first move goes to me. I can follow that up! Oh man, the overkill on the first one. Gotta go for the experience bonus. Heals 7% of damage dealt with HP up to 200% healing powder. Powder? Uh, yeah, no, power. We don't need healing power though. Nuthal's outfit, Neo's long hair. I find that it kind of works with like most things. Lionox, yeah, that's. Just, I think. I think that's where I got this top from. I could be wrong. You. 
Look at how fabulous Lan's looks in this dress, though, fighting in it. Like, damn, buddy. Damn, buddy. You be looking good. Oh, the chain attack song is stuck in your head. It's a good song. One that I am still not tired of, even at this point in the game. Where that came from? One more for the road. I'm going full set. Damn, look at those thighs on Senna. Senna or a Boris form got thighs. Flame clock is now out. That's sad. Is this it then? Is this the end for me? Your past will always haunt you. I want you to live. Live on in my pain. Mere death is not your fate. I will remember these words forever, until my dying day. You there, Agnian. M me I said you were a rookie. A nobody. I take it all back. <gasps> You're strong. Much stronger than... than I could ever... I... I... Oh. Mio. I need to ask you a favor. You want me to see him off, don't you? That's right. Thank you. Time for the doo doo doo. Oh, we didn't get the full doot -do doot song. Thank you. Perhaps now his soul will find some respite. Yeah. I hope so too. Please, allow me to thank you once again. If you hadn't backed me up today, who knows what could have happened. Teach, don't mention it. We did exactly what we had to. Kyrie. You acquitted yourself very well in battle. You've made true progress. R really I I was really useful to you. Yeah. I'm seeing you in a whole new light now, Kyrie. You're a credit to the Agnian forces. Wow. I'm so happy to hear you say that, Mio. Feeling a little dizzy now. Oh. <laughs> Teach. I need to ask just who are you exactly? Damn! Damn with the question. The important the one. The soldier was calling you Oleg. That was a name that used to ring out in Agnes too. A commander whose martial prowess was nigh unmatched. According to the official records, Oleg fell in battle many years ago. If what that soldier said was true, then you're... Tyon, it's wise of you to press me on this matter. But you must forgive me. I'm afraid. Why are you not sending you people off the whole that game? Name. That's free affinity for colonies. We it ends up. Trust. 
And you get to hear the no, pretty doo doo doo. It isn't that. It's something else. I am bound to a promise, an oath. An oath? And it gives you like to human points. To those who will succeed us, to teach them of strength and the tenets of battle. That this humble wish should spark, we pledged never to divulge the secrets of the past. Hmm. That's the oath that I took with Consul G. Consul G? The same Consul G that we took down? By way of that oath, Consul G gave me a new name and a new role as an educator. But Interesting. why would you be forbidden from talking about the past? Because you see, I have no right to do so. However many words I expend talking about the past, they would be nothing more than a collection of empty excuses. I'd merely be setting down the burden of the past in the hope of being forgiven. So, the Consul strictly forbade it. I must preserve my oath as long as I draw breath. I see. But this must be a huge weight for you to carry. I mean, you can't share your worries or your troubles with anyone. Hmm. Teach. About the past. Are you also against us trying to find out about it? No. Of course, you are not bound by oath. Just as I have no right to divulge the past, I have no right to obstruct those seeking the truth either. If you want to uncover the past, that is a matter for you and you alone. Hey, sorry mate. I kind of lost the thread a bit there. Perhaps we can revisit that another time. It's getting on. The others must really be stewing in their juices about Kyrie. You're right. Let's get back and let them know she's safe. Roger that, Mule. Please, go ahead without me. I'll catch you up. I understand. Cool little story at the end. Hmm. The other thing I was going to say is like, you know, sending off people out in the field it also gives me gives you human points because then you feel like a you know you're doing something good all right we did it we did teach oh and we got a new topic so available oh me oh my it never ends about time we got some food eh? all right this game it's the gift that keeps on giving all right, next hero. It's taken us two and a half hours to do three. Holy moly. And we have more to go. So technically on our list, Riku and Manana are next. But honestly, I feel like I got to save the best for last. Because like, that's going to be the best one. Sure, I can lend you a hand. All right, Gray, I do love you. Let's see. I think I need to enter the city with him. I don't know if it's actually ready, though. Oh, it's OK. I'm assuming that might be it. OK. That might be it. 6.2 is tomorrow. I am not going to be streaming the story for 6.2 for like uh, I'm, I'm going to do it next week. This week, I'm not going to be doing it. I still have not done the Tataru or the Hildebrand quests that are new from the last patch either. So I'll be doing those all in one stream next week, but not doing 6.2 tomorrow. I, I want to, I would like to keep playing this game. Wait, fuck. Why did I start that? I need to take a small break. I need. Hey, dearest. Got a minute for me? Oh, dearest. So cute. OK, I'll be right back. I'm going to take like a two minute break, go to the bathroom and grab some snacks. And then we're coming back and doing great. Give me a minute.
All right, I am back, y'all, with the roaches. Oh my god. Sheesh. Oh, I did play ads. Yep, I just there. The ads are now done. I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at playing ads whenever I'm away. So like there's improvement, hopefully, for people that complain about ads all the time. I'm, I'm hoping that this makes it better. All right, I have acquired watermelon, and I am so ready for gray. Let's go! Okay, okay, it's, it's gray time. Sure. What's going on? You remember what we talked about? Um. So help me, gray. You mind sparing us the scowl? <laughs> You're making them nervous. I highly doubt that. No, uh, actually you are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you have it. There's no helping this guy. Stubborn as they come, he is. Oh yeah. You were, uh, married, weren't you? Oh, I didn't know you knew each other. This lady, she's Grey's partner, right? Yes, that's right. What about babies? You guys got any babies? You guys got any babies? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it seems that even the unflinching Grey can be caught unawares. You know what I love most about this is like the concept of babies and like this whole life aspect is so new to all of these characters. So like they don't realize that asking someone that question is like something you don't do. <laughs> I don't, it's just like, it's, it's awkward when you just like ask somebody that, you know, but they don't know this. <laughs> Can we be done with the tomfoolery? Just tell me what you wanted and quick. It's about the investigation. It was still ongoing until recently, but. Wait, someone could overhear us if we do this here. I'll prepare a secure location. We can talk in more detail then. What are we even talking about? Nothing that concerns you. Actually, I'm thinking of asking for their help. What? They've been very cooperative in matters like this one. I think you'll find their assistance beneficial. But I will, will I? Well, all right. Right then. Rosanna, you can fill them in. Sure thing. Thanks, Monica. Yes! Wait, what? Why is the quest named Payback for Treason? That makes me nervous. Right. Nobody should bother us here. Now let's hear it. Okay. Well, we've been investigating for a while, and we discovered some suspicious activity from some of our own city folk. What suspicious activity? My husband here initially asked me if I could do something about the Hardliners' aggressive policies. We knew those guys were up to no good, so we were trying to take precautions. Well, listen to this. Apparently, the Hardliners might be using city technology to nefarious ends. It sounds like something was stolen from R&D. And we expect that that something will be abused to further their goals. Now, we can't say what those are exactly. What could have driven them to this? You have to understand, this place isn't as monolithic as it might seem. Some folks take a really inflexible stance towards issues they might have, no matter how small. That's the long and short of it. Yes, it's just that this time, the problems have come to a head somewhat. We like to avoid unrest within the city as much as is reasonably possible. So I asked my husband for guidance. And additionally, I figured that you might lend your assistance as well. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on here. Yes, of course we'll help. Although you know you could have come to us with this in the first place, right, Gray? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about my husband. You know, he's not the most communicative type. <laughs> Understatement of the year. <laughs> I love him. Huh. It just struck me. Gray's all wrinkly but you're not oh 
Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'm a lot younger than he is, so that's certainly part of it. Oh my god, right, Lance, you just can't ask someone why they are more wrinkly Come than on, another person! Communication. You must have heard of it, at least. Oh my god. <laughs> they keep asking these questions and just not understanding how rude they are sounding. <laughs> I love it. I love this so much. I know he looks like a right grump. He's a Why good are you more wrinkly me. than your wife? That What's going on? Comes with age too, I'm sure. Do I have to endure this much longer? <laughs> now I get it. I did wonder how a guy like Grey could cope in a place like this. You keep him on the straight and narrow. Oh dear. You really think so? <sighs> in any case, those things you collected also seem to have gone for a walk. So in short, you want us to take them back by force? There you go again. Just asking for trouble. No need. I'm sure we can resolve this amicably. What I wanted to ask you is if you could collect some more. Some more of what, exactly? Oh, do you mean those things Grey was gathering? Yes, that's right. We've got an approximate location, so let me give you that first. Right! We can handle this. That's no how we problem. met Grey. Looks like we're doing this, G-Dog. Time to saddle up. G-Dog. Yes. I'll do some looking myself as well, I reckon. G-Dog. Don't throw your back out. That should be my line. You're always so reckless. I know. I know. Oh my god. So Gray's what passes for a good bloke round here, huh? I told you not to maunder on. I'm going to date Lyle. <laughs> I am going to love this quest. Wait, what? Wait, are you at? Are you asking me to go on the giant island? Um, I do not want to. Maybe I don't need to go inside. Here's Let's go to this part right here. to go to where there's giant things everywhere i'd rather not i'm hoping this is on the inside i mean sorry i'm hoping this is on the outside not on the inside oh boy let's cross our fingers where's my fucking ship why are you on this side this was a nice find. yeah i'm going we're going to jurassic park but like Hopefully, I didn't fully explore the island on the outside, so maybe we're maybe we'll get lucky here. I'm gonna go to the short. Oh wait, no, it's not this side. This side's closed off. Oh fuck me! Are you kidding me? Fuck! They really want me to go inside, huh? Maybe the game's trolling. Oh wait, 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 wait! There's a wall climbing thing here. Wait, 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 there is. Wait, we might get lucky. I didn't, oh wait, okay, okay, okay. There actually is a wall climb thing. I don't want to go inside. <laughs> Everything is scary. Now to ascend. All right, gaming. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. Yo, this looks like we're about to get lucky though. Might as well claim this. Oh, joy card. Oh god. Wait. Oh no. Oh. Fuck. Maybe there's this little sliver has something. Maybe. 
let's let you know what maybe we don't have to go inside <laughs> i am trying so hard to Shall avoid go going it? inside because it's genuinely terrifying <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> maybe maybe there's a sliver of hope let's see let's see All right, let's go over here. Wait, did I, I have to turn back, right? Oh, I can only land here anyway, okay. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, I don't wanna go into the death area. It's scary in there. I didn't explore it much because I was afraid to move anywhere. I'm at least in a little bit of a better situation because I'm level, what, 60 at this point? And they're like level 70 giants in there? I mean, I, I would still die. I would still absolutely die though. Like 70, yeah, like this is death. This is fucking death. Ugh. I don't see anything over here. Don't turn around, you stupid ass bug. Just stay right there, please. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, just. It's not looking good. It's not looking good right now. I'll get this container and then I'll cry. We have to go inside. All right. It's oh okay. boy. Okay. Well, I only went inside and then I left. I don't even know how this spot happened. How did th this is this has got to be a bug? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I haven't left anywhere. Like, <laughs> I just have a random dot. Oh boy. Wish me luck. We're gonna need it. We're going into Jurassic Park. Oh boy. Hold tight. I'm not ready. Here we go. Oh boy. way wait oh that's above me okay okay I'm not scared I don't get scared that's gonna be a <gasps> Time it like that. Oh great! Don't come! Don't come! Don't! Don't come toward me! I swear to fucking god! <laughs> Better put our backs into it, or else. Can you leave? 
Why are you here? Can you leave? Please, I beg you. I, I don't I don't know what you want from me, but I don't want I, guys. I, can you leave? I, <laughs> Why is he just chilling? He wants hugs. Oh my god, I gotta run for it. I've never seen a non-hostile fish, though, so it confuses me. They're all hostile. That would be the first one we've come across. Wait, are you really legit? Like, no, he has to be hostile. He's blue. I've never come across an enemy that was, like, blue that wasn't hostile, too. Where am I going? Such is the Offseer's duty. To ascend. That was terrifying, and I never want to experience that again until I'm actually, like, at the appropriate level and can take them. But as of right now, I would just die. Wait, my quest is over there? I thought this is where I needed to go. Where am I going? If I grab that- oh, god. <sighs> oh my god. Fuck off! Now I have to grab the shiny thing. Oh great! What fucking happened? Run! That's gonna be a It's do or die. We're dead. Do or die? No, it's just die. I'm running for my fucking life. My quest is over there. I don't know how to get there! This place is scary! Now these coral reefs, which ones are enemies? Uh oh. I, think I don't know. I don't know how to out. tell. Oh fucking that one is. Oh god. Ah! More enemies. Ah! Fuck! Go! Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. Everybody calm down. I have to go over there. I think I have to go on the sands. It's like higher. Uh, I'm not dealing with that bullshit. Oh my God. Uh, that's a, that's a problem for them. Holy crap. That's a, big guy. Oh god. Don't. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe going on the left is a little bit better. There's no way he's not gonna see me. He's staring right at me. Just don't turn around, I swear to God, you fucking monkey. Just stay right there. I got past the monkey. I did it. I got past the monkey. Okay. There's a container over here. All right. 
It's open. Okay, okay, okay. We are alive. We are making our way. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, maybe we do go through these cracks here. Wait, this is a dead end? Oh my god, this is a dead, this is a dead end. You've got to be kidding me. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the fucking quest. Ugh. God, this place. I am, I am the utmost level of confusion. <sighs> Fuck. Monkey smells fear. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of scared. I'm just trying to find a way to get to the marker. But like, Oh god. Okay. Um <clears throat> No panicking in this house. No, 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 no. Just King Kong versus Godzilla over there. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, okay. Let's look, let's look. So it It's like slightly higher. Oh, wait, I wonder if I should have just dropped down from up here and I would have made it. That's not a bad strat, right? Ahem. <clears throat> Woo! I probably was there and I just totally fucked it up. Dude. Big bug, big everything, big, big. Oh my god, oh my god, I hate this. I hate this, 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 I hate this. Oh my god, do I really gotta go around this fucking dino? Oh my god, that tail could kill me. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, and that's a sleeping one or is he dead or is he sleeping oh fucking hell oh the ether baits you i bet if i touch that ether he'd come and eat me he's guarding a cave it looks like okay we're getting there uh, this whole place okay if i go up and then i drop down it's night time already. Do you think he's a lot? I mean, he, oh, he's level 76. Oh, he's just sleeping. Okay, let's not interrupt him then. Okay, we gotta get back into this cave somehow. Oh my god. 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 Okay, we just gotta get to the cave again. I don't know how, but we gotta get. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. We just gotta right in the middle. Oh my god. What if they turn around? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like this island. Now to ascend. It's not dead. You can't bait me like this. I see what you're trying to do. Okay, I'm really dumb. I could have done this before, but yeah, we just kind of dropped down from up here. Oh my god, that bird shadow. 
Yeah, and then we're kind of there. Yeah, easy. I'm so stupid. I literally was here. Is it supposed to be here? If she had information to pass us, it must have come from Monica. That ought to make it trustworthy. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. We still haven't found a thing yet. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything here either. Doesn't look like it's gonna turn up. How about we just give up and head back already? Hmm. Oi, Gray, you listening? I said. Wait. An ambush, eh? Hmm? Huh? What other crazy ass people it, are like coming on this island? Are. What is wrong with you? Looks like the info was good. We'll have a bit of your time if you don't mind. I don't understand. Of all the islands. All right, you guys can be without a healer for a bit, right? Like Monica's class. We'll forge our own way. How, pathetic. How pathetic. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? What just happened here? They look vaguely like lost numbers. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to be our allies. I suspect they're just an irritant sent here to slow me down. But who'd want to slow you down? Are they part of that opposing faction you were banging on What about? is Gray's story? Hmm. I don't understand! So then, these soldiers would have to be... They're part of Monica's faction, no question. But even that's got its share of radicals like these guys. The ones that like to stir things up. Stir up what, though? Nothing good, I guess. Their ultimate objective is the eradication of Mobius. But they'll stop at nothing. To achieve it. That's where the trouble starts. They see the key pieces aligned on the board. Even Ouroboros are now in play. Now all it would take is to wrench the command from Monica and the entire city could be mobilized. Could they really do that? There are ways. Steal enough Levnesses from us, whittle away at Monica's support, and soon she'd be wide open. Hard to tell exactly how they'll make their move. But it seems they've decided the time is ripe. Okay, and what's that got to do with slowing you down? Unlike most city folk, I'm a lone wolf. Might be they didn't account for me in their calculations and just simplified the maths. Since Gray's not usually in the city, they would have to get him where they want him, then restrict his movements. Oh, right. Now I'm with you. You see? They're uh, cute! On. One more thing. Your Honor! They're Does really cute, and weird. I love them! It was Rosanna that told us to come here, right? That's right. And we were ambushed. That would suggest an information leak. What do you want to do now? Whoever goes up against me, they're getting crushed. That's all. And what about Rosanna? We're going back to the city. Come on, keep up. We're going back to the city? Bitch, do you know how hard I fought to be here? Oh my god. I hope you weren't followed. <sighs> We've got enough decoys to keep them off our case, so I doubt they'd find us so easily. 
Still, if we keep twiddling our thumbs, it's only a matter of time before they rumble us. We've already sent men. Well, that was unavoidable. He's Vandam's man through and through. Five years we've been biding our time. Now that we have a chance, we can't let it pass us by. Yes, agreed. So why do you jeopardize everything by stealing that thing? If it hadn't been me that noticed first, our whole plan could have gone up in smoke. Well, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been taking your sweet time with this thing. Calm down, both of you. They'll never find this place. And even if they do realize something's amiss, I've got ways to keep Monica off the scent. If you say so. Getting her out of here will leave one fewer obstacle in the city. The only problem is Gray. Some problem, though. He fought with Guernica on the front lines. And his nose is as sharp as ever. Still, you can handle him, yeah? Oh, don't you worry about that. Well, that should earn us some time. I don't see any outstanding issues. What? Rosanna's close to the core of the R&D team, and most importantly, she has Monica's ear. She'll use her non-combatant position if it's her neck on the line. Even if she has to betray her own husband. What? We'll be under more scrutiny than ever. So don't you dare do anything stupid. Bruh! Trust me, I won't. I wouldn't throw my back out for nothing. If the others try to hinder our plans, we might have to actually use this thing. Best we put our plans in motion ASAP. No! Seriously, how could our whereabouts have been leaked? Ah! The investigation comes later. First, back to the city. No! I don't like this! Why, game? Might as well claim this. I feel like it truly is so illegal to have anybody in this game be fucking happy with well with a life. But no! Can't do that! Wait, there's actually an underpass, I think. Wait, did I see that right? Can't tell if this is just a dead end or it actually like goes somewhere. Oh nope, okay, it doesn't. Weapons out, ah! guys! It's do or die. Oh wait, you? You're not I okay, you're a different bird. Oh shit. I'm basically running into a dead end. Oh, never mind, we're fine. We should harvest this ether. I do not need that much ether. Holy shit. Huh. Good thing we found this. Huh. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Bird coming. Bird incoming. Ah. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, God. Everything is so big. Oh god, my Joy-Con drift. Oh, there's a bird right there, too. Oh god, both birds. Can you, like, go perfectly in the middle of them? Nobody notice me. Nobody notice. Oh my god, big bird everywhere. Oh, big bird right there, right there! Oh god! make me feel better. <laughs> Didn't think we were gonna get old oh, burden coming. Oh, nope, he turned. Okay. Oh, boy. My heart was not quite ready for this island. That is very scary. We have to somehow get on the like middle thing. A rare thing? Oh, 
you get to it by jumping off the point that the bird is guarding. Oh my god. I bet we could cheat the system. Yeah, oh! Where? Where? Sound. I'm out of here. Wait, I have a better idea. Really quick. Uh, quick, quick, quick tangent. I want to finish off this guy. You remember this cute, horrible being over here that Rico and Manana warned us not to get involved with? I think it's time to beat this motherfucker up. Let's go. Any of you die. A good test for my blade. Yeah, let's take the little guy down. It's time. Epic boss music for this. Why does this thing actually get epic boss music, though? Wait, I just realized something. Wait, wait, no, reset the battle. Wait, I, wait. I just remembered something. If it's an elite, I should have a Triton class. Somebody needs to be on the class. Ah, uh, music is, music is intense. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we gotta switch around the classes a little bit. Somebody's gotta be on it. Uh, sure, you. I'm fine with attacking. Literally anyone. Okay. I don't want to waste an elite boss fight and then, like, fuck up the, like, the time that I would, you know. I don't want to have to do it twice. If I can get an ability off of it, then that'd be dope. Oh, it, uh -oh. Oh, it doesn't have the symbol. The side eye. Oh, that's whatever. Nice the move, the get you, Leo. Good oh, well. It was a good thought that I had. He's so cute! You want to know what the worst part about this thing is? Is that it, it's my favorite color. It's my favorite shade of purple. Gray's gonna die! Music. This music is so unnecessary for this little cute thing. Look at him! He's just jumping side to side. This thing don't got a worry in the world. He's just whooping our butts. Oh my god. For a second, it looked like the thing had a, uh, like a lightsaber. Did it have a lightsaber? It kind of looked like it for a hot second. Look at First-person gameplay. Eh. First person is kind of hard. Look at this immersion, though. Go get him, Mio. Dang. No, no, you can't. Oh my God! Everyone's dying. What's going on? We can't hide for much longer. Get everybody up, get everybody up. Don't push yourself. We have everybody up but Gray. Oh my god. Leave it to uni. It's okay, Gray is here in spirit. 
it's a mistake having Lance and Senna both on healers. So whenever they go into Ouroboros, it's just uh, bad because <laughs> nobody heals. Okay, well, um, what do we do here? Allow me. Sheesh. I wonder if I can answer. Yeah, Riku warned us about it. I know, Riku and Banana both warned us. I disrespected. I did it anyway. If someone tells you to not push the big red button, you know they're gonna push the big red button. I, like, I don't know what Riku was thinking. He's supposed to be more wise than this. We should go all in, I think, here. Oh, might not need to. Uh, use everybody. I think we could. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, wait, no, maybe I can get away with it. Oh, uh, let's try it. Yes, it worked. I know, yeah. After that encounter on my uh, on the latest video, I ran away. I was too low level. Here we are, though. I came back. I turned around. Please don't go over. All right, yeah, we need the heals. <laughs> ah, nervous laughter. You're done. Nice, Uni. Get it, girl. You it was over. Look at Lan's dance and address. Oh, look at the level of fabulous. was so close. Now follow your lead. All right, we might kill. I think we got the kill. I think we got this. I think it's going to happen. Yeah! Okay, that did way more than I thought it was going to do. We did it. We killed the bunny. I bet, you know what? Riku better be so proud of me. I hope that Riku is gonna be proud of us after this. I worked my butt off. Come on, Riku. Okay, yeah, I believe you about the rampaging now. Yeah, it was definitely dangerous. They were indeed correct when they said their, that curiosity killed the Ferex. We're sorry for not listening to you, Riku, Manana. You did warn us. No, friends get hold of wrong end of sausage. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> correct, danger is in cuteness. Sorry. How could friends call such creature cute when friends have adorable no pawn companions right here? <laughs> I have to screenshot Riku's face right now. Look at Riku's face in particular. That's beautiful. Wait, wait, I have a... Uh, what's the button? There we go, that one. 
Banana not angry. Banana disappointed that friends wake up that monster and distracted by cuteness. What the? Riku not able to believe how friends cast aside endearing Nopon friends to fall wings over heels for that monster. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's disheartening and extreme. Wait, wait. So you're saying you're really jealous of how cute that monster was? Riku not know jealousness. <laughs> yes, this hard battle for reason of being of all no pun kind. Exactly right. No pun not able to be outcuted. Uh, right. Well, you know you're you know you're our friends, so. Uh, right. We weren't trying to slight you. If friends speaking honesty, then Riku asks that friends please be more careful next time. Next time, Banana get truly angry. If friends do again, then friends not expect to eat tasty sausage anytime soon. But we're really sorry. I don't think this is something we need to apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this quest. Riku and Banana were so afraid of turn. Uh, wait, the the, uh, the 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 monster that they were so afraid of turned out to be an adorable monster. No more. Welp, it's dead now. Oh boy. What am I doing with my life? I'm fine with attacking. Riku not no jealousness. Of course not. What is jealousy? Riku doesn't even know. I love Riku. Legit my favorite character in this game. I never thought my favorite character in the whole game would be a no pawn. What? Gray, you're the guy who works with Monica. There's something I wanted to pick your brains about. Let's hear it. I've heard your Rosanna has been trying to get outside. I see. She was stopped by the soldiers and turned back just like that, they say. Just for my own conscience, I went to check it with the R&D team, but they said she'd not come in that day. Whoa, is she okay? What if she was forced into something by that lot who attacked us? You were attacked? It's nothing. Keep going. Right, well, that's about it. It just seemed a bit fishy, is all, which is why I wanted it noted. What did Monica have to say? Um, about that. She actually took an away team and went out. Rut row. Something about a request from Rosanna. Oh my god! Seemed urgent. I mean, Ta I suppose Tyon's it must like have a really close second. Like that. I love Tyon. I wonder what that's all about. No clue, but I'll look into it. Appreciate it, really, I do. Somehow, I don't feel like sticking my neck out myself here. Great. Do you know where Rosanna could be? I haven't the faintest idea. You seem real relaxed for someone whose partner's missing, pal. She made Monica leave the city and tried to go outside herself, too. That does feel rather odd. Furthermore, Rosanna should be aware of the dangers that await a non-combatant on the outside. Right? And if there was something she needed from beyond, couldn't she have just asked Monica? Well, you want to contribute or what? Whatever the case may be, Rosanna's tough. She'll be fine. Huh? I don't know where she went, but I can think of a few people who might. Well then, shall we try asking them? That might be the quickest way. Would you buy a Riku plushie? Them? I typically don't buy a doctor, merch. Mechanic and an old friend. I typically don't buy merch for games unless it's like a gift that's given to me. Actually, all of the merch that I have are are gifts. My Persona 5 shrine that I have now is literally just gifts that everyone sent to me. 
Which I love that I have, but I wouldn't take the time to actually, like, uh, buy the merch myself, but I would absolutely love anything Riku-related. I would, I would have a Riku shrine. I think he deserves it. Well, well, stock much exotic wares like friend, uh, the novels, paintings, things of battle, priceless things to make heart glad and rich. Very glad if friends draw closer and sample excellence of artistry. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad that the captain's got the freedom of the city now. Makes things easier. Well, I think it's down to your hard work, Tordo. You and the rest of Colony 15. I guess, actually, I even got a few props for teaching the kids swordplay lately, too. Yeah, that's awesome! It'll give the captain a chuckle, at least. Well, he'll probably tell me I'm a few lifetimes too, too green to be so a teacher. The state of affairs. Oh yeah, I buy the stuff from the Atlas store. That's if, like, it's actually functional. <laughs> like, I bought mostly... The things I mostly buy are clothing, because then it's actually, like, useful. I don't buy stuff like figurines and stuff. Like, those are all gifts for me. I don't buy that stuff. Any of, like, anything that's, like, decor and just sits there. I like buying things in merch that are actually, like, useful. It's just, I don't like spending money on that kind of thing, but I love, like, the receiving of the gifts, though. I never mind getting them, but I don't like spending my money on it. Rosanna apparently been busy lately. Drum Drum not seen her for three days. Shame. Would have liked to spend more time tinkering with automaton. An automaton? That right head to regulate settings on some automaton. Gray, did you know about this? I didn't. I haven't, haven't even heard. So, this automaton you regulated, where is it now? Drum Drum know it in hidey place and not know any more than that. You were working on an automaton, but you don't know where it was. Drum Drum told it question or of trade secret. Had to walk with to place with eyes covered. Drum Drum think was city, still in city, but maybe on very tippy edge. Got it. That'll be all. So that's the state of affairs. There's a Natsuno and BJ figurine. That'd be so cute. The Nahabino is staring into your soul. That was a gift, though. I love that Nahabino so much. Truly, I do. I've decided to make it a meme for my dancing videos. Hollis, the doctor. Got a question for you. Nice to see you too, Gray. Rosanna's missing. You know anything? Rosanna? Well, she hasn't been here. Seen, been, she hasn't been here, I can tell you that much. Look, I know you had dealings with her. Tell me what you know. You trying to make a point or something? I just owed the girl a debt, that's all. What kind of debt? Oh, for the love of the founders. Fine, I'll tell you. Got a feeling you won't leave me alone until I, until I do. I got in some trouble with the hardliners some five years ago, all right? Their leader, Brew, gave me a real good thumping. But Rosanna stepped in and made the bastards leave me be. Anyway, since then, I've been greasing wheels for her a little here and there. I see. <laughs> Once I even rustled up some medicine she said she needed. The hardliners again. Come to think of it, why was Rosanna even around at the time? It's always kind of bothered me, to be honest. I don't know exactly what they've been planning, but they sure were about to wreak ha marry havoc on the place. I'm definitely grateful to Rosanna, but that for that, if nothing else, but yeah, that's the size of it. Do you know where the hardliners are? I could say I don't, but I doubt you'd listen. Go on, then I'll tell you. One place is on the edge of Rebelli Plaza. I don't know the exact location, but they like using that area a lot. Another's in the Great Sword Passage, although I have to say I'm not sure if that one's like a room or what. Other than that, I suppose there's Media Lookout, maybe? You could see across the whole city from there. As long as they can't make any big moves, I expect they'd be in hiding. Understood. That's enough. I can't imagine what you're going through, you know. She's a stubborn one, that girl. You couldn't rein her in if it, even if you tried. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Poor so Gray. I'm hoping this story turns around because, like, it's kind of sad. For Gray. 
Wait, there's an information. Wait, who has information? Give. The youngins from Colony 15 were kind enough to carry my luggage for me, save my poor aching back from breaking in two. A nice considerate bunch of kids they are, though they could afford to work to work on their manners a little, it must be said. Manners? No one needs manners. Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. I have a question for you. Well, that's unexpected. Tell me, what do you know? What do you and I have to talk about? Do you know where Rosanna is? That's so hard talking like Grey. I hate this attempt so much. No, I don't believe I do. She's not like the rest of us, that girl. We don't have much, very much in common. What do you mean exactly? Oh, you know, her way of thinking, it's, it's not really compatible with ours. She's the kind of child who'll do anything to get her way. This little Rosanna. Enough chit chat. If you don't know anything, then we're done here. Now, is that any way to treat your elders? So callous, Gray. Come off it. I'm old enough to be your brother. I wish you wouldn't waste my time. <laughs> Saucy as ever. All right, so listen here. I don't know where she is, but I can tell you a fascinating little tidbit. Rosanna happens to have some connections with my people. You mean the con conservatives? The Ann Doctor ought, ought to make one impartial, but that rule isn't as reliable these days. So we've had to accept medicine from the girl at times. And at times, we've been known to feed her a few scraps of information. I get the picture. That's enough. I'll say again, Rosanna is a good girl, but she's also a girl who puts her ends far above considering her means. You have to keep a tight rein on those types, or you never know what they might get up to. Poor Gray. Thank you, Clara. Out. Time we pulled our info. That'd be awesome. Aww. Yeah, I had a side quest with Clara. Uh, and a uh, uni uh, was uh, she. Uh, Clara showed uni her uh, sewing or knitting hobby. Knitting. Julietta turned out to be a real trooper. But there's actually another soldier who's in conflict with the high pedigree. That's Olive, an Ouroboros candidate. She's from a branch family of one of the six houses. Conservative at that. So she's a conservative, huh? But also an Ouroboros candidate? She's a rare case. Certainly, conservatives usually oppose fighting Mobius, but they block it at every chance they get. Olive took it upon herself to kick that particular wall down. Really, it was quite an achievement. That's cute. You have another thing to say, but I am too invested in Grey's story right now, so... Gonna go discuss. Bye! Rosanna better turn around and they're gonna be happily ever after uh, Rosanna and Grey. I don't want to witness, like, you know, a whole marriage go down in the freaking dumps right now. What is Riku doing? Oh, tinkering. Oh, I know what Wait, can you wait, 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 can you close up on Noah and Neil? <laughs> I know they can do push-ups all day, but like I need the uh, can can you close up on Noah and I just wanted to confirm. Let's sum up what we've learned. Oh. Skin crafting system is fine. First, we know Rosanna tried to send Monica and Grey out of the city. And what we heard, she tried to leave it herself as well. But it seemed unexpected for Rosanna to try and go outside. It could have been a message of some kind. A message. A message to convey the fact that she didn't leave the city, for instance. So what? You think she was trying to tell Grey something? We can't discount the possibility. She may have already become involved in some difficulties at that juncture. Hey, those uh, hardliner guys are, that attacked us, you think they're connected? Their goal is to eradicate Mobius. I wouldn't put it past them to get city people involved. <laughs> to my eyes, that's something to consider. And back up a sec. 
Rosanna has no way to fight, right? So why is she going so why is she going against the hardliners? That's a good point. Additionally, she was also said to have connections to the conservatives. Right, yeah, there's there is that. Of course, she might just have personal friends who happen to fall on both sides. That wouldn't be so strange. But that fact does strike me as somewhat calculated, even mercenary. Great, do you have anything you can tell us? I don't know how she got involved in all this, but Rosanna, she'll do whatever it takes. When she's set on something, there's no stopping that woman. If her connections to another faction can serve as the means to her end, there's no doubt in my mind she'll make use of them. I guess. She did send us on that wild Medusa chase. So, we think she's in league with those hardliners and that's why she tried to get us snuffed out. It's possible. Wouldn't put it past her. Well, that, then what the spark are we nattering on for here? Right, perhaps we should start checking the places where the hardliners are rumored to hang out. Nice idea, but going by that doctor, I doubt that they all be are all going to be neatly cooped up in one place. Should we just go over to them one by one? That doesn't strike me as realistic. There's no telling when they might make their move. Speaking of which, I'm worried about the mention of a about a mentioning of an automaton. Yeah, if those things get deployed inside the city, then we deal with those first. But we don't really know where they are. Let's see. The doctor gave us three suspected locations. True. Annoyingly, there are multiple possibilities for the location of their hideout. Let's start with whatever, whichever is the most likely then, I guess. No need. The places the good doctor gave us were meant to pinpoint the hardliner's stronghold. And the Nopon Drum Drum provided a hint to the Automaton's location. Ah, gotcha. If we put those clues together... Exactly. We can discount the place overlooking the city as well as the Rapili Plaza. Just an educated guess. But if I was going to hide an Automaton anywhere, he would be the third place. <laughs> Lena, you're so cute. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get our asses over there. <laughs> it's a game mechanic of all time. I mean, I don't really particularly care about the gems. I'm going to be honest. I use auto build most of the time for this game because it feels like everything makes little difference. It's something that I would do maybe for end game. How are we looking out there? Monica's still gone, but Gray's back with Ouroboros, looks like. That guy really doesn't know when to quit. Still, if we can just disrupt the command chain, everything else should fall into place, right? Finally. Our toy will have its day. Of course. It's high time we got to use this thing, and I couldn't think of a better opportunity. Oh, yes. She turned out exactly as I'd hoped. That's, uh, okay. You're a sly one, aren't you? Getting people to accept you, then using them as you like. I'm sorry. What? Skilled technologists from R&D always have to be... managed, to a degree. We've watched you closely. And you've never leaked info about our actions to anyone. You've helped us come this far. Regardless of the results, you've made your bed as our accomplice. You're still not making any sense. You think the plan's going to fail? I don't intend to let this opportunity pass me by. Whatever happens, I'll leave my mark on this city. I promise you that. This is our chance to gain the upper hand in one fell swoop. No need to get gloomy. Yes, that's exactly it. What's going on? We'll have Ouroboros in our hands, and we won't have to fight them. No more hiding. No more biding our time. No more taking anyone's crap. That stuff's for the birds. Guernica, Monica, they're too soft by half. We'll cause a disturbance in the city. Then use the confusion to steal away all the Levnesses. Brilliant! With Monica gone, now's our window. We'll suppress the military and have them hand over the leadership. Once we bend Ouroboros to our command, all we have to do is squish Mobius under our thumb. You think they'll ally themselves with us? Even after we cause all this ruckus? Ha! They're just a bunch of kids. They'll be putty in our hands. I don't see right. how this actually works out. Yeah. But okay. Putty in our hey, hands welcome, Ender. Indeed.
<laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get the videos out as I've been playing this game. I've been trying to be so fast with the editing. I've been slaving my life the past two weeks editing. I'm trying to get the videos out quick. The Great Sword Passage. Here we go. But yeah, we're still playing it. I We might finish the game this week. It kind of depends. These hero quests, though, I want to finish all of them. And yeah, they are taking a long time. But kind of not mad about it, though, because it's something I genuinely want to do. These hero quests are, like, really interesting. <laughs> also, yeah, auto build. Is it really here? Is it here? I don't the think it's here. For a hidden door. Anything that strikes you as odd. The, the, the accessories in this game, there is way too many. Is it meant to be here somewhere? Looks like a whole load of nothing. Well, this is where the doc said. Wait. Here. How did the door just lift up like that? How did you know? Too much effort to explain. Let's just go. How do you know? Are all old people this cranky? Beats me. Come on, let's just follow him. Yeah, I think that's the toughest part of this game. Is just getting all of the classes unlocked for everybody. Just making sure that you always have somebody on the class. I mean, I think most, yeah, all of my characters have it unlocked, except we still are missing Kamarabi for Noah at this point, but it takes a long time to get to that point. At least, at least you can spend no pun coins to like level the job itself if you wish, but yeah. There's some things that could be done a lot better. Accessories are just such a pain in the ass. Like, I I do auto-build for the accessories. I'll pay attention to them at, like, end game stuff, like I said. But while I'm playing the game, I just find it's just too much to look at. Like, to change these. Like, look at this gigantic fucking list I have. I don't want to go through all that shit. And I've even spent some time in the game, like, specifically selling most of my accessories that I would just never use. There is way too many accessories. I wish there was more uniqueness, yeah. Oh, you sniffed us out all the way out here. You're like and the other thing is that, like, uh, all of the trader <laughs> pawns, right, all like, the all of the traders in the game in These general just feel so useless because there's no accessory from there's a vendor I found that I actually gray. liked. Go wag your tail somewhere else. Whoa, they're really laying into you. Go on, Gray, give them a real tongue lashing. No need. What? Sure there is. You're not going to let these clods make fun of you and have the last word. Ouroboros are still just kids, and it shows. If they're your latest traveling companions, then oh, how the mighty have fallen. If you're here, this order. I, I agree, yeah. They could have done more, like, Looks included like in we'll the have UI to... Get to or have the accessories better like sorted. They're just really annoying. Yeah, I'm not that flexible. <laughs> First, I'll kill you. Gray. You, I'll keep alive for now. Might still kill you later if you don't tell me anything worthwhile. Holy shit! Whoa, I knew we were gonna see action today. But this is more than I signed up for. Gray ain't taking yeah, any shit. Doesn't spark around, does he? Uroboros are your only allies now. Rosanna is on our side. You still want to fight? Of course. It is, after all, my job. Loyal to a fault. That's a hound for you. But you can't protect the city with that wimpy attitude. Today, Wimpy! This out. 
the city will be transformed. Wimpy. And the cause of peace demands a sacrifice. Okay, bitch. I'll draw them. Perfect time. Give it up. Nah, you, you trust me, you aren't like it's not dumb to not know about something in the game that you can do. I find that a lot of people don't realize that you can spend no pun coins on like Collectopedia and job ranks. Like there is stuff that you can do with them. It's something that you just have to like look at the UI for specifically and you read at the bottom, you're like, wait, it tells me I can use no pun coins, what? But it's nothing to feel bad about. It, there's a lot of shit in this game. I, I know I get irritated as a streamer because I'm I'm always expected to know everything in a, every, everything in this game, and people get mad when you're like, "Oh my god, how did she not notice this?" <laughs> there is so much in this game. There is a lot of shit in this game. It is perfectly fine. You're you're not a dumbass for not noticing an aspect of it, of the game. Too much in the game. We can hit hard with the chain attack. Oh, time to attack. More with that tape. All right, well, um, I'm just gonna chain attack. Let's go. I've got an idea. Observe my All right. There's just so much in these games, man. It's impossible to like latch on to every little detail of shit. Cause I'ma be real, the one thing that I constantly keep forgetting about is uh wait, I wanna anybody else? Um What I keep personally forgetting about is uh fucking how Agnians work with the auto attacks into arts. Like how you should be Canceling your auto attack with an art fucking hell, like I forget that constantly. There's just so many little details. You can dash in combat with R3, yeah. I feel like that's only relevant for healers. I mean, I've only used it for healers. Haven't really found the need otherwise. Oh, that sucks. This is in the end. Um, canceling an attack. Uh, if you're canceling an art, it's like at the end of the animation. Depending on the art that you're doing, all like you have to pay attention to the animations, and you cancel with another art at the end of the animation. It's the same with an auto attack as well. So like with the Agnians fight. Uh, yeah, I did not do this that well. I want to topple. There we go. So whenever you notice your character doing an auto attack, at the end of that attack, you would go into an art. So you're just paying attention to the animations as well. the healers dash whenever lands dashes he looks like he's a uh, limping I think this thing is dead Woo! 
Maybe I should be using it more for attackers. The dashing. I'm gonna be real. I don't like using it just because it's so awkward to use it to push in the R3. on that, but it's not like it matters. The enemy's dead anyway. of like trying to use R3 to dash so that's why I don't do it much except whenever I flee healer which I've only done off stream anyway. Hi Gray. What? But I like Joy-Cons. What What's happened? You bitch. What did you do, Rosanna? Oh, didn't I tell you? There's a power threshold. Like a maximum? It's an interesting system. Little Drum Drum and I incorporated it. So now you decide to turn on us. You'll wish you hadn't done this. No. I haven't betrayed anyone at any point. It seems to me it's completely slipped your mind. When you were all acting so fishy five years ago. It was me who broached the subject to you when you roughed up the doctor back then. You don't remember. And the conservative leader, Garrett, who put you in touch with him? Me again. We'd round up all the unsavories and toss the trash all at once. And now, your time's up. My dear husband doesn't like me staying out too long. Oh my god. So now my part in this is over. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, now! Rosanna, Greg, That's a hot wife you, you got there, Gray! Holy shit! <laughs> Gray's like looking at her like, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> Damn! Alright. We don't need a healer. We're fine. Get it off. Oops, my bad. I killed Uni because I was. Yep. Uh, okay, back to being fine. This is a damn power couple. I love it. I was so worried about Gray. I'm like, oh no, the waifu. Oh no, oh no. Imagine having an evil waifu. But nah, just turned out to be like insanely hot. If I'm a hound, I follow no master. Man, Ooh, great. I could have sworn Rosanna was one of the bad guys. Me too. Even you thought so, right? Why would I? Oh, 
Uh, those shady dealings were a start. They didn't set off any alarm bells for you. Hmm. Honey, do you realize people can't read your mind? I told you not to throw your back out. Oh. Not what I was talking about, but I'll bite. You really can't stop being reckless, can you? We're all still alive. I don't think that counts as reckless. True. Now, <laughs> Guernica, he's the one who was reckless. But then again, even his actions may well have borne fruit. We're back to talking in riddles again. The original idea was for me to stop the hardliners myself, without involving all of you in this. So I'm sorry. I'm sure it was quite a burden. I don't get the thinking here. Surely you could have just asked Gray for help in the first place. Our opposition would have noticed something was up. They'd never have lowered their guard like that. They thought they had me pegged as weak. That's what made it easy for them to bring me aboard. That's basically it. How much did Monica know? Oh, she knows me. When I needed her out of the city, she obliged without a single peep. Some things you have to say out loud, and others go without saying. You know how it is. Um, nah, I really don't. <laughs> well, then one day, you will. Huh. One of those things, is it? Yep. Better get used to it. Hmm. What? <laughs> the point of us old timers is to keep you youngsters on the right path. If you trust us, you don't have to hurry so much to try and understand things. Oh, oh my. Someone's a chatterbox today. Damn, Gray. Damn, Gray. Oh, okay. for spark's sake, could you not? All this beating around the bush is driving me up the wall. <laughs> Why don't I translate for you? He's saying he wants to keep working with you for a long time to come. See, that I can understand. Right back at you, Gray. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that it? No! This game is stupid. Why does it have so to be over? I don't want it to be over. That's dumb. Don't get greedy, Travis. Look at Rosanna, damn. Married, oh, they're so cute. I didn't realize he was like actually close friends with Garnica. That's why he talks so fondly of him. I mean, it makes sense, but it's cute to see that. <laughs> Rosanna. Claire is like, be wary of Rosanna. It's really, you know that the game is so much more well done than the past two games when I'm actually remembering like a lot of names of just random side quest characters. So many good ones. Oh, right, Garrett. Also, wait, the bitch queen. It's no longer the bitch queen. I didn't realize that. What? It changed. <gasps> no more bitch queen. Great. Yeah, he's 60. Still hot as fuck. All right, to the next hero. Ah. <sighs> Commander Izzard. We're just Your going service. right down the line. So we did those four. Just keep on rolling them down. Commander Izzard. To, to Colony Lambda we go. Uh, This one. Lambda. There you are. Look at that quest. Just waiting for us. Let's go. Oh, I don't remember even the main characters of the past two games. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Not that not that it was bad. I keep saying that. It's 
super spry for a 60. I love it. I love it. I love it. Age don't matter when you're an adult, man. People really be like, she's not going to be horny for Grey when she finds out how old he is. Bro, you must be 18 right in that comment. And you don't understand. I feel like you really don't get it whenever you until you like get older, though. When and then you just stop seeing age. Definitely. The atmosphere feels different to how things were, even a little while ago. Perhaps the change isn't a vast one, but something is indeed different. If we hadn't met you, perhaps this change wouldn't have taken place. We'd have retreated into our shells. All we did was give things a little push. I'm sure you'd have managed this by yourself, is it? Hmm. You're most kind. Either way, that doesn't change the heap of problems I'm facing. They need fixing, but I can only manage a few at a time. It's not good if you push yourself too hard, Commander. Getting some rest is important, too. Rest? Hmm. <laughs> rest? What not the sure fuck? Go What'd you just say to me? Rest. The way things are here, I always end up busy, almost without intending to. I suppose as long as you're at your home colony, things just turn out that way, huh? And you know, we ain't exactly experts in the art of taking a load off. That reminds me. Do you have an idea, Tyon? Well, this could turn out to be nothing. But earlier, I had a Nopon merchant talking about something called a natural spa. Ooh, let's a go. Spa? <laughs> spa? Supposedly, it's in a remote place, not easily reachable by people. What's remoteness got to do with getting poor is it here to relax? The Nopon also said it contained lots of nutrients, stimulated metabolism, promoted blood circulation. Damn. So Let's you're go. saying if we get our hands on this spa, then even Izzard could get some rest. He'll be able to recover, basically. Like I said before, the information is questionable. It's only something I heard in passing. Tyon. Commander, I'm sorry. I know it's hardly a credible source. I think I like the sound of this. <laughs> huh? Now, I say we go out. And we find this spa thing. <laughs> the spa I'm not thing. really one to talk, but I didn't think you'd be so into this. Well, I have a passing interest in things of that ilk. But, ah, uh, I don't want to keep you from your journey. No, we're going nah, to the spa, don't bitch. Don't worry about that. More importantly, how do we go about finding this thing? Why don't we ask somebody in the city? Right, better than just us racking our brains about it. My thanks, all of you. Just leave it to us, Commander. We'll give this our undivided attention. Yes, we will. Next hero quest activated. Episode Spa Time. It's time for the spa day. Oh, Lena, you asked how many hero quests do I have left? A lot. We've only done... I think that was our fourth one today. So, uh... Yeah, we got a lot. This is gonna take a while. Happy! When working here, lots of biggie ponds cut such as Captain stop by. Common features will, with Captain are wrinkly skin like old Armu elbow. <laughs> Talk constantly of self. Never listen to other. <laughs> so many similarities, Captain sure to have easy time blending in with local culture. Abby just called everybody in the city. <laughs> like they <laughs> they all have high egos. <laughs> Triton, Triton, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> I'm searching for more booty, are you? Perhaps we ought to go at it again, Ouroboros versus the Triton family. How about it, you mangy crew old lamb lubbers? You bet we won't lose this time either, you bunch of bilge slurping sea swaggle. Senna might be interested, but I think she'd be the only one. <laughs> only Senna would be interested. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to ask you a question. It was that. We're looking for something called a natural spa. Natural spa, eh? Hmm. Never seen such bounty of bounties of nature with my own eyes, I'm sorry to say. Bounties of nature. What, don't you even know that? I guess you younglings only know what you know. 
But if you ask around among folk my age, you should be able to find someone who can tell you all about him. In fact, someone I knew once once upon once used someone I knew once used to go searching for spas, but they're in elusive spots, never to be found. Spots like well, you'd hear about them being in the forest or under a cliff or deep in some cave, but nobody could ever find them. I see. Hang on, maybe that old man's been to one. No, maybe he's dead. Don't see I'm don't see him around these days. Might be dead. O okay then. Sorry to bother you. Sorry I couldn't be more of help. No, you've helped a lot. Let's go. He might be dead. A spy. Hard to imagine what that might even look like. I guess we won't know until we get there. Boomer? His name is Boomer, yeah. Too bad there's nobody in the city called Zoomer, though. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Oh, Polis. Wait. Wait, no. Wait, is, uh... Is Waifu in here? Waifu? She was in here a lot before. <sighs> Could we have a moment of your time? What's wrong? There's an emergency? We want something called a natural spa. We were hoping you might know where we can get one. Ah, so you want a spa, do you? Do you know something? Sorry, sorry. It's just haven't told, haven't heard anyone talk about, about one in a good while. That's a quaint pastime and no mistake. But you know, a spa isn't something you just have. It's a pastime? You mean like a hobby? Long ago, people used to go to great lengths looking for natural spas. Soldiers tired from war would heal their wounds with their help, then come out ready to fight again. I guess you'd say a spa is something you immerse in. It warms your core and soon enough you're better. So our records say. The more we hear about this, the stranger it sounds. You soak your body and it heals? Right? Though I'm sorry to say over however many decades they've all but disappeared. They can disappear. Yep, you can go looking for one, but I wouldn't hold out too much hope if I were you. This has been a great help. Thank you kindly. They're all gone. How was that a great help? Doctor. Didn't expect you to get so fired up. Discovering the unknown serves as a good motivator. Huh. Huh. You're right, Commander Izzard. Hey, Timna. I'd like to ask you something. Oh dear, yeah? Do you know of something called a natural spa? Never thought I'd hear someone ask about those ever again. Do you know something? Why, yes, of course. People used to talk about spas all the, until the Armus came home. It's a place where you can heal your wounds, warm your spirit, and strengthen bonds with your fellow man. Whoa, they did all of that? But I've never been to one, you see. In fact, they say that they all dried up decades ago. Don't they exist anymore? They're not something you'd find just anywhere, and not many here in the city know about them. But there's someone who might? There is, I think, if there's anyone who can tell you it's him. He's called... <sighs> Give me a minute. We're counting on you, love. If we don't find it, isn't he? It's gonna shrivel and die from stress. Come now, it's really not that severe. It's the man people call the Trivia King. He's gotta know what you need. Brilliant, thank you. The Trivia King, oh god. I did a side quest with that. The more I hear about these natural spas, the more curious I become. That's so cute. Uh, Ryder! Hi, friend! I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Alright, time to discuss. Everyone, get some rest. So are Noah and Mio, like, uh, chit-chatting, or...? No? She's just... I find it so awkward when they just, like, sit there sometimes. Like, Riku and Manana just sitting there. Is are just standing there. <laughs> They're just really, like, in it. Natural spas. I just wanted to confirm. True, we're not T-posing. What do we know about natural spas? To summarize, hardly much of anything except that they can heal and restore you. 
We didn't get the most concrete info, huh? Nobody's ever been to one. Look at this poor Claude. Is it so haggard? I think we're gonna lose him. Just how do I look to you? <laughs> one thing's for sure. We're not gonna find one with what we've got so far. We've no clue where one actually could be. Like in a forest under a cliff. Realistically, we can't just blindly search everywhere. But it does sound kind of cool, right? Just soaking your body and somehow healing? Yeah, but soaking in what? Sounds like a lot, sounds a lot like a bath, and it can't just be a bath, right? From the way that they talked, I thought they were the same, but I've never been in a bath that healed my wounds. Maybe it's a question of using the right soap. Uh, sir, I hate to think we've wasted your time, but if we can't come up with any more results. I'm grateful for your concern, but honestly, I've been enjoying myself. We might not find anything after all of our searching, but there's just something in it, in all this talk. Just hearing that gave my heart a much-needed jolt, though that might not be the best way to put it. No, I think you have it right. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't care what happens. Let's keep searching for a little bit longer. Then let's go ask that bloke that people said would know about this whole spa business. That trivia king guy? Or the supposedly dead guy? <laughs> the supposedly dead one. The report of his death could still turn out to have been a might exaggerated. We don't know whether Trivia King and this dead or not guy are the same person, but it's worth finding out. I know I said it before, but I've certainly saddled you with a tough task. Enough of that! We're just giving a, you your spirits a lift and all that. Once we find this natural spa, we'll chuck you right in it. <laughs> then I guess th then you had better really find it. Oh god. I would love to find a spa right now. Uh, I mean, I've had a couple... We've experienced bugs on stream, especially. We've had bugs on stream pop up of uh, the some of the camping scenes. Oh. Taeon was doing the same thing before next to Izzard, but now he's like like right, right next to Izzard. Oh, the Noah lands is so cute. Oh. Ah! I just love watching the babies just interact with each other. I don't know. I just, I just love them. I love them. We're almost at a hundred hours. It's to keep a Holy of shit! Let's bounce. Let's biggity bounce. Ninety-seven hours and thirty minutes. She. Granddad's starting writing a new piece of music. It's gonna be the power of song and a power of song of power and bravery. But he's thinking about you guys when he's writing it. Us, huh? It's not just Granddad either. Everyone in the city wants Ouroboros to win. So yeah, you've got a ton of friends all around you, and don't you forget it. So that's the state of affairs. Woo. I my Joy-Con. I. <laughs> I hate my Joy-Con. <laughs> It's endgame? Um, well, we're in chapter 7. That tells me nothing. That tells you nothing, too. I don't know. It doesn't feel like there's much left of the game, though, but I just wanted to spend a stream focusing on hero quests. It's game. 100 hours? I don't know. This could be a whole other 100 hours of game we got left. I mean, definitely with the amount of content, though. Wait a second, you're over there and I'm over here. Oh, I think we have to drop down. Wait, okay. Let's hope my Joy-Con doesn't act up, because otherwise it's going to get really annoying. No, uh, I don't think we'll hit 100 hours this stream. We'll see. I have a lot of editing to do. So if I drop down here... Um, I don't think this is what was intended. <laughs> oh! He was right there! God damn it. Anyway, let's go up this ladder. Maybe it'll connect. 
I don't think so. No, it doesn't connect. Oh, wait. No, it might. It might. I could have cheated the system, man. Oh, my God. This is how you're supposed to go. Holy crap. I am an idiot. I made that so complicated for no reason. That's like literally the story of my life, too. Excuse me, kind sir. Kind sir. What? What? A bunch of hoodlums trying to gang up on an old man, eh? No, sir. We are searching for a natural spa. What did you say? Oh, we're searching... If it's spas you're asking about, I'm who you need to be talking to. Okay. We are talking to you, mate. <laughs> well, then. So you're the kids going around making noise about spas. You think talking to me is the way to get at all my secrets? You might be whippersnappers, but I can respect that kind of grit. Um, you think he actually knows anything? <laughs> I'm wondering... We heard that there was someone who knew much about spas, but that he had passed away. What did that old codger tell you? I ain't dying anytime soon. Mind telling us about the spas, then? When I was young, I used to go around them all, and a lot. <laughs> there were about uh, four of them. The one I liked the most was the Nordal Natural Spa. At the time, my back was killing me, but one dip, oh, and it was healed. Amazing! The odd thing was, it was just a foot bath. I'm so confused. I my feet <clears throat> and it healed my back. Because the way this guy <laughs> dresses, oh, it's like a name. teenager. But he's old as fuck dressing like a teenager. Spa, I also heard rumors of another secret one. <laughs> I better to do marvels for one's back. Mate, we didn't come here to chat about your flipping back. It's so weird. Hey. We want to know where we can find a spa. If there's four of them, then we can... Na, na, na. Oh, is. thank you for the tier one. I appreciate what? it. Thank you for the sub. Gone? What? You say? I Thanks hope you enjoyed the emotes. Thanks like you with your wars and whatever. They've been blown up. Filled in. Huh? Natural spas need water that gushes out of the ground. No gush, no spring. Uh, you might find something if you start digging, though. Dig? That's your advice? Though in times like these... Start digging holes and people will think you're crazy. Well, yeah, no shit. You certainly turned out to be a font of knowledge. I don't regret this at all. Oh, Tyon. Don't take it to heart, Tyon. We tried our best. We'll just have to accept the result. We may not have found a natural spa, but the time we spent was still worthwhile. I suppose, Commander. You suppose nothing. You should let someone finish when they're talking. Oh my god, this whole man. There is still the secret spa that I couldn't find. Oh, secret oh, spa! To be more precise, uh, there might be... Uh, what? Really? I, I heard this when I was still young, so it might not be too credible. Uh, but the rumor goes that there was one in the uh, Brasser Geothermal Belt. What? The what? But I couldn't make it. Please was crawling with monsters inside and out so there is hope after all long time ago lots of people took refuge there but not one of them came back that's how dangerous the place is Ooh. so we can take it the spa might be there it might not that's why i couldn't recommend the place to you there we go then Hey, is it? Indeed. It might be there, it might not. The more uncertain it sounds, the more it gets me excited. <laughs> Weirdo. What if it turns out to be a massive waste of time? <laughs> I never thought I'd get so excited at searching for something unknown. <laughs> Soak yourself in the spa the way you're getting now, and you're liable to broil yourself to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care. Thank you kindly. Oh, nearly forgot to tell you. Hmm? 
how to properly use the spa. <laughs> oh, Pin God. And listen. Yep, I'm glad they just bleeped that out. Thank you, game. Wait. Oh, yeah, I never went back there. Because, yeah, it was covered with monsters. I remember we died over here. I should be able to get through now, now that I'm 61. If I recall, these enemies were like 58-ish. So, like, we could get through, but there's still the poison. It's like a poison swamp over here. Oh, boy. Now, you don't have to fear Ryder. They already had, like, at the very beginning of this game, they had a spa scene, and it actually was really nice. That sound. It was a very welcome scene huh. because it put into perspective, huh. like, uh, what a wartime would feel like in this game. So this is and plus, here. there's no real concept of gender to these people in the game the either, so it's... It was kind of nice. <laughs> All right, so we got frogs. Um, oh boy, we got to hop lily pad to lily pad over here. Oh my God. Wait, why am I taking damage? Oh, I'm not, they are. Okay. Wait, no, I am. Wait, why am I taking it? Wait, what? Hmm, left or right? Might have more luck that way, but we're definitely going to have problems. Hmm. Hey, start combat. Okay, let's go, Noah. Are you ready, Uni? No. Okay. This is you know All right, let's go. Oh, there's a shiny thing over there. Wait, more enemies. I brought me down into the dust. Where Test I tube soldiers. To... Yeah, it's a good way of describing no it. Way. Oh, fuck! <sighs> the cave, it's right there. Oh my god, my Joy-Con, that's not a good time to just not work. Please do not do this. Okay. How about it? Shall we take it on? All right. Let's go. There's a blue one. There is, but it's okay. We got to the cave. Okay, we did it. I love that hack so much. That's such a good hack. Hmm? What's that? Good thing we found this. Woo! I actually have no idea how you're supposed to do it. I think you're supposed to fight your way through, or like, uh, like you would fight okay. the frogs. Great. Wonder what it's like inside. Uh, wait. I didn't go to the right place. This is somewhere different. Oops. We might be able to retrieve them. Oh! <gasps> There's an unusual smell coming from over on the right. Hey, don't you think there's something off about this place? Our Ouroboros powers, they're being suppressed. I wait, our Ouroboros is being suppressed? <laughs> what? Oh it's God. Spotted. Oh, it's only level 62. More enemies. I'll keep them occupied. I want to get the container. All right, it's open. 
We died a few times. I like traveling in the Ouroboros. It's kind of funny. You just take infinite damage, you're not gonna die. Okay, maybe we are going the right way. <gasps> Spider, spider's coming down from the ceiling, and my Joy-Con is drifting. Could it be that our natural spa is up ahead? Wow, we found it. <gasps> nice. I wonder what's around here. <gasps> we found it. So this is the spa. So it is just a great big stonking bath. Looks can be deceiving. They told us it has special properties, remember? The humidity is insane. Do you think the water's hot? Huh? Hold it. Something's here. Really? Seems we're not the first visitors today. Weapons ready! That's our spa. Yes, first blood. They may have arrived before us. But if they want to fight, we shall give them one. I can't hold them off. They're not using the spa. Don't worry, they can just die. Yeah, we can't go much further because my two healers are currently in Ouroboros, so sorry about that. Blood, blood for the spa god, oh god. It's a, the, the spa is still going to be refreshing. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, ow. This makes me want to go to a spa, though. It's been a while. It's been like three years. I guess you couldn't really go to spas for a while because of COVID. Never been to a spa. Oh, 10 10 recommend. If you ever have some extra cash, treat yourself. Treat yourself with like either a massage or like a combo of going to a place that can do a spa and massage place. Usually they go together. But like, y'all need to experience like the, the relaxation. It really does help you relax. I just got duded. He's blaring his horn like how an angry like driver is on the fucking road. It's like a car horn. Yeah, I don't even know the last time I felt relaxed. Actually, no, I do remember the last time I felt relaxed was at the spa I went to, but that spa I went to was in 2019, January. It was like January. We went to an, uh, that's a really nice thing is you, if you go to like an outdoor spa during the winter so that it, it's just like the <sighs> combo guys, is so nice. They healed up something crazy. Was that 
an effect of the spa's waters? Does it matter anymore? Now you can just dive right on in. Huh? But, uh... Right. Ready, is it? As promised, time for us to chuck you in. <laughs> uh, hold up! I don't remember making Push him any... in! Yeah! Psh! What? What is the meaning of this? Commander, are you okay? Push Tyon in. Other than my heart, I believe I'm quite all right. <laughs> Thank you. Just like the old man said, if there's nobody there, it's good manners to jump right in. Even so, that's not... Push him in. Push him However, in. However, the water is good. What does it feel like? Damn it. The temperature is very pleasant. So like I've been saying, it's just a bath. Look. My wounds are closing as we speak. Wow. So what that man was saying, it wasn't entirely wrong, it looks like. Yes. Now that I'm in here, I don't think I ever want to leave. Right, my turn then. Oh, massage and warm pink bath salt. Everybody That's so get nice. In. My word, I'm healing in places I didn't even know I had. <laughs> Aren't you coming in? The water's what fine. What does that mean? But, but I, uh... Ah, oh, I'm coming back to life. Treat uh, yourself. Not that I was dead or anything. Um, would I have to strip down? Oh, right. The old man, he did say there's a proper way for getting in the water. But I, I mean, oh, right here. Hey guys, where's your sense of culture? Get in already. <laughs> you don't want it getting cold. It's perfect for healing your wounds after a grueling battle. Oh, um, but, but, Commander, you can be hopeless. Uni, boot him in already, will you? Yeah, Roger that. Now wait here a minute, Uni. I never said I was going in. <laughs> yeah! Spark, why did it have to end like this? <laughs> <laughs> Tyon, it's a good experience for you. It wasn't so bad, was it? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, now that you ask. Yeah, taking a dip wasn't bad at all. Right. All my tiredness is just completely gone. Did you enjoy your break? I did. Thanks to you, I feel as if a weight's been lifted from my heart. I believed I was working for the colony, but really I was running myself into the ground. <laughs> so it was worth Oh my in. god. I am it in this picture, man. In art to appreciate the finer things. This has given me a lot to think about. At some point I'll have to bring everyone in the colony here. If you could make everyone fit. In a space like this, people have to take turns. The lines will get long. Huh. Then perhaps we need to dig some more holes. We might even discover some new springs. You're really serious? Once the fighting ends and people have more free time, then I might give it some serious thought. Digging a few holes shouldn't pose us too much of a challenge. We are miners after all. But wait, if we can discover many more of these spas, we could bring in people from other colonies. Uh -oh. Looks like you've caught the spa bug, is it? Times like this are when the commander shines the brightest. <laughs> Bet you're glad we helped him, Tyon. Yes. I think he's going to be an even greater help to us now. Shall we be off? Our next objective awaits. Aww. Uh, I never thought I'd care about, like, a, a, like a side quest about potatoes and about spas like these are just like th these shouldn't be that good with the topics like oh yeah just grow to grow some potatoes and team bonding your heart just go to a spa team bonding your heart but i like they're so Might wholesome well i love them so freaking wholesome Yeah, I gotta open a spa center. Now we can Good come back here anytime. 
Oh god, I'm gonna cap out on Aether. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy fucking shit. Oh wait, what? It didn't cap. Oh, it did. Okay. Alright, um... I want the shiny. I'm gonna die, though, if I jump here. Is there, like, a... Oh, well. Alright, on to the next hero quest! We have done five today. Juniper! You're up! That? No, uh, here. Juniper. Yeah, you should have a quest. Okay. Juniper time! We have all heroes except for the last one. Missing only one. Ugh. Mm hmm. Zeon became a farmer and Izzard starts a spa industry. Yep. And I love it. Alright, now we get Juniper Hero Ascension Quest. Oh, brilliant! I was just looking for you guys. Really? Really? You, you're just in time to give me a hand. Uh, great? Why were you looking for them in particular? I, sorry, just got a bit excited there. You know that you can find ether in the Colony Lambda Tunnels, right? I was wet. It's very rich in resources up as the colony. And when I saw the probe in action, it just dawned on me. What if Colony Tau has some natural resources we could tap into? So I thought I'd just borrow the probe and have a look-see. You're really raring to go, huh? I'm not sure just charging around aimlessly is going to get you the results you want. I wouldn't go that far, Nutka. We've at least got to look, and that's where you come in. I don't think there's any harm in trying. Exactly my thoughts. Don't listen to Nutka being all pessimistic. It's a good thing you came. Your problem is you haven't got two thoughts in your head. Uh, sorry, it's not that Selen and Nutka don't get along. As long as we can definitively verify the presence of resources, that should be the end of the argument. Something like that. Just think, if we do find something, we could be raking it in, just like Lambda. Let's get this ball rolling, then. Come with me to the Tree Hollow opening. Alright. Wait, this is a side quest. So that's the state of That's not what I was expecting! Hold on. Um... Let me see if I actually do need to do this as a requirement. I actually didn't look at Juniper's. Where are you at? Where are you at, Juniper? Oh, okay. We have to do this side quest to unlock it. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. This is the fastest way. Don't answer my question. Let me figure it out, please. <sighs> my questions are rhetorical. <sighs> At least I figure it out. <laughs> this is why I'm thankful sometimes for Twitch lag. Because <laughs> it gives me a time to figure out something for like... Eh, like 10 seconds before somebody decides to answer it for me. I could have gone to the top of the watchtower. Yeah, I found the options menu off stream. Uh, randomly. I was just looking through the options menu and it came up. Oh, look at the cute little cute. Huh. Hold tight. Yeah, 
Um, we started with Valdis today. Valdi, <sighs> then we did Xeon, then we did... I know we did Grey and Izzard. Wait, we did... Oh, I thought that was our fifth one. Huh? I lost count. Oh, looks like out. we can go on from here. <laughs> <laughs> Uni. Are there resources here? There you are. I don't know. Can't really say just yet. But I reckon we'll have a good idea once we use this device to look around. Teach. Yeah, that's the one we did. Thank you. Yeah, we did five so far. So this is our sixth hero quest. Okay, let's do this. Ugh, that's loud. I could do without the noise. Is it reacting? Looks like it. It's kind of... Hold on, we got visitors. Oh, they're so cute. They must have been attracted by the sound. Looks like there's still room for improvement. Don't just stand that stare at them. Do something. An NPC in cow. Oh, oh. Yeah. Game can be a little bit funky with getting them to spawn, I think, sometimes. Yes, we've done five. So this is our sixth one. Everybody in Ouroboros, let's go. That should be enough searching. Do we have any results? But there's nothing here. The reaction was pretty faint. Uh, I'd say we had better luck in the lower levels. At least you got a reaction. Better than nothing, right? Right you are. I'll head on down and... No, Selen. You're on standby. For wait for us at the colony. What? I didn't come all this way to stand around twiddling my thumbs. The lower levels are dangerous. And until we know whether there are resources, I'm not going to put you at risk. They're probably crawling with strong monsters too. We'll handle it better alone. Okay, fine. I don't want you to weigh you all down. Sorry, guys, but it looks like that I'll be living it up here on my own some. We'll come and get you as soon as something turns up. This <laughs> definitely not Izzard. No, we are dead. This is definitely not Izzard. All right, we have to go all the way down here in scary land. Ugh, I went down here once and I did not want to come back down here. It is actually very scary down here. Scary. <laughs> 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 I got a cross. the dragons. I will say it is cool that we know where the dragons come from. Well, kind of not. I don't know. It's still confusing. So I'm like, okay, they just kind of chill down here. Still weird. It's still like, I think about that dragon boss fight that we had. And I, every time I think about it, I, I just, it, it's always awkward. Just why did we just randomly have a dragon boss fight? And it made no sense. Dragon just chilling there and blocking our path. Hmm. 
I was hoping that the dragon was going to eventually be story relevant, and then I found the dragons down here, and I'm like, hmm. Maybe they really have nothing to do with the story, and it was actually just a really random boss fight. There really are resources to be had around here. You being a naysayer again. I am. I didn't think it would be easy to find anything. Fully for us, but if that spark and sound attracts more monsters, then... Oh, God. And there's the monsters. What did I tell you? Better get him out of here before we want to, uh, if we want to get a check our findings, huh? Let's do it. Everyone draws out their weapons. Riku and Banana stand there every time. It will never not be funny. You didn't get to interlink before you died. I'll keep up the attack. It's not a bad move. We can do better yet. By the way, a huge creature showed up on the path or something. Yeah, the dragon was just completely unrelated and weird. I don't approve, because like everything in this game had made sense up until that point, and then it's like, why did this appear though? Uh Uni, where are you? Oh, Wins is helping. Look at all the Ouroboros. Oh my god, I'm sleeping! Me and Lan! We just slept that battle away. This is exactly why I didn't bring in Selim with us. The lower levels are no joke. Yeah, good thing we managed to whack those monsters as well. Hey, now it's reacting differently. I think that means that this is the place. So Colony Tower has its own resources too. Wow. That's right, and Selim was right about, it, uh, right about it, probably benefiting the colony. Then let's not keep him waiting for the report. I think he'll faint with shock. He might. Let's give him the good news and put him out of his misery. I hope everyone's getting along. <laughs> no one's getting along. Everyone hates each other. I was really hoping and waiting for the dragon to make sense, man. I do think about that. I'm like, mm. They didn't need to have it, too, because where they placed the dragon was right after you defeated, like, you, uh, liberated Colony, uh, 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 oh, oh my god. <laughs> Lambda. <laughs> so, like, we had just liberated Colony Lambda, and then you go up the ramp and, like, you have another boss fight whenever you just had, like, a big boss sequence. Like, that's hey, literally where you thought you were in. Then it was so <laughs> weird. You're back, so did you find anything? We did. According to your device, these are the, there are resources in the lower levels. Yeah, but the monsters are rock hard down there. Not a problem. As long as there are resources to find, we can work together with Lambda. You've already hammered out a deal with them. They said that they'd lend us Levnesses to help with the excavation. That would certainly preclude the lower level monsters from posing a problem. Lambda's troops are highly trained professionals. I can't see any problems arising as long as those are on the case. That's great if they're going to help. Really, nice work. I'll get myself off to Lambda then and I'll tell them the good news. Oh, uh, but first, I need to rub it in Nuka's face that I was right. Thanks all! <laughs> yeah, not for seeing a lot of harmony in that future. <laughs> They'll be fine. They're really close friends underneath all the antagonism. They respect each other a lot. Well, you know them better than me. They both care a lot about Colony Tao. And I don't doubt that we'll work their work be to better it. <laughs> we did it! Now that we did that, we can do junipers. Oh, look, it appeared right here, right now. Perfect, let's go. Whoa! That's a lot of, what the fuck? Ah, what the spark's all this? There's a lot of dead shit! What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? Why, little Junipack? What? Too late. There's another console still? Console. You know I can't abide. Oh, target. we never. 
Wait, the console it's technically too much fun and games. Is oh, it? we never like defeated the console Life of this place. Of roses, I forgot. You must be aware of that, surely. They were just like not caring. What are you after? My my, why so sour, my little Oro berries? Oro berries. I haven't the slightest inclination to involve myself in a fracas with you. Oh yeah, then what are you doing here? Dear, I am positively quaking, quaking in my boots. I am here to see my little June bug, nothing more. June bug? And you expect us to believe that? Mm. You may set your hearts aflutter with whatever feelings you desire, for all I care. No. If I must confide in you a detail, I would like you to know that it was I who dealt those monsters a swift demise. You? I can confirm that. If it weren't for the console, we might not even be standing here. <sighs> Spark. If only I hadn't screwed up. You're injured. Yeah. My fault. I got cocky. Monster's got a free swipe in. You may find it hard to believe, but I'm quite the assiduous type. I've been keeping a close watch on my fruitlings. But Have now you? that little June bug has returned, there is yet more work to be done. You're not angry about the flame flop? Angry? You were the ones who broke it. You aren't going to apologize, are you? What? Besides, I've been aware of the circumstances for a while now. It has to be said, it's a delicate topic delicate yes delicate do your ears need rinsing pop it pop it i don't know if you're oh my aware, god i haven't heard that terminology in a long time. chose to break the clock poppy it's hardly my place to complain i happen to be quite the individualist <laughs> don't you know you're not making a lick of sense now junebug be a sweet pea and go on ahead, will you? Don't worry. I'll be fine. Uh, Noah, we're just letting Juniper go? Juniper said not to worry, so let's not worry. That's the spirit. Perhaps you and I will be able to see eye to eye after all. Oh, one thing. I have a job for you, Oro Berries, if you would be so kind. A job? For us? For you, I'd like you to procure some twine turf. For me. Yeah? And what are you using it for? Someone's got to remove those nuisances for new life to settle in. What? But preparations will need to be in place if we are to dispose of them. Which is where the twine turf comes in. Twine turf. I think I saw some of that in Yellow Grove. Well, look at that. <laughs> How fortuitous. That's a mere stone's throw from here. Well, it's not far. That's true. See, it wouldn't kill you to fetch some. I know what you're thinking. But these things really are going to be a problem for us otherwise, so... We'd really appreciate the help. No, I understand. Let's go then. Okay. I didn't expect the console to just show up, but I kind of forgot they existed, which was my bad entirely. <laughs> Hi, Carson. What's up? That water down at the Spring of Ronar really does make you feel like a new person. You have got to try it. Um, uh, maybe later, buddy. Maybe later. Map? Very deceiving. It makes you feel like it's very close, but you actually gotta go pretty far. Well, it's not that far. Just relatively far. Creepy music. C 
creepy ambient Quite music. A rare sight. Wait. Why don't I have a hero? Wait, what the heck? She's gone right now. Well, they're, they're gone. Ah, my bad. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. All right, you got to climb this. Oh, so many great shinies. You think this will do? Don't see why not. I wonder how the console is going to use this stuff to get rid of the monsters. I haven't a clue. Everyone. Yeah? Juniper, hey. are you hey. alright? Welcome back! Yes. And the colony is unharmed, thank goodness. Hey, Juniper. Has your console always been like that? The console? Mmm... I don't really recall. You said she pretty much left you to it, right? That's correct. The console rarely ever visits us. We've met a couple of times, but I barely have any recollection of us talking. So why on Ionios would she start involving herself now? I say we get this job done and then we give her a piece of our mind. I mean, I don't really sense any hostility from it. Maybe it's fine. But you have to admit, she's got a way of getting on your nerves, right? Still, she is a consul. If we underestimate her, we'll no doubt be in for a world of pain. Noted. But even if we do have to fight, it'd have to be outside of the colony. Yeah. We don't know what she might be planning to do with the people of Colony Tau. We should try to head back soon. Okay. I'll head back. Fine, mom. Although I do want to take a quick bathroom break. Be good, or else. I'll report into the console. Console's just like right there. All right, I'll be right back. Give me one minute. I'll play a one minute ad. Wait, what? Oh, ads just ran. Oh, I can't. I'll be right back. Not liking the look of that sky. Every day's a training day. Alright, you bitches, we're back. Let me just we're gonna come this. back and we're gonna beat up console you. The real bitch queen of the game right here. I cannot wait to continue Gondor. Is that enough for you? Wonderful, my dear Ouroberries. Quite the speedy little workers, aren't you? So? How are you gonna use the stuff? We're going to make it into a pulp and throw it into a bonfire. I hear it has the most fragrant aroma. No doubt the creatures will be drawn straight to it. A little assistance wouldn't go amiss. You. Huh? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Pfft. What a f 
farce. They're drawn to the scent, are they? What is it, Tyon? You picked up on something? Um, not exactly. Oh, what is this? Oh, I do so hate the forest. What with all the bugs? Um, right. Well, well they do say that bugs hate smoke. You know the type of insect I hate the most? The creepy, crawly kind. Oh, ghastly things. Don't all insects? How about you? Me? Uh, I, I don't know. I've seen them all Aren't before. all insects like creepy Can't crawly? Can't say they bother me. Oh. Such a tedious little corner of Ionios. Nothing much ever happens around here, does it? No, not really. I'm kind of used to it by now, though. Well, of course you would be. State the obvious. Why don't you? Oh, right. Sorry, ma'am. Now throw in the plants I gave you, and we should be all set for the preparatory phase. a little of that Ouroberry magic for myself. The smoke rising from the bonfire acts like a signal flare to indicate the start of battle. Oh my god. Yeah? What's that got to do with... Crap! They're back! Again! What? Looks like you've got your work cut out for you. Oh, yes. You had better live your lives to their very fullest. What a bitch. What? These monsters! Don't ask me! They just showed up out of the blue and started heading this way! These monsters aren't from the forest. Why would they have come in so far? I have my hunches. No point guessing right now! Let's send these guys packing! Hmm. But yeah, Juniper with the non-binary. I, be, I have been trying to pay attention to the dialogue. I generally try to. I could have missed a couple times, but they literally only said the pronoun of they once ever that I have found. They always call Juniper by name, but they've only they said they for the first time today, actually earlier in stream. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like I'm never gonna assume gender, or I try not to assume gender, but I do wish I would have found that out on my own. That is something that would have been really cool to discover on my own, but chat told me as soon as we freaking met Juniper. Yeah, there's no end to him. The appropriate tactic in this situation is fight But first, the rep is definitely later, really cool, mate. and I love Juniper's design yeah, I too. I know, man. Makes me feel better though. I know, man. <sighs> my dear, sweet little Junebug. I'll tell you what I'm trying to accomplish here. I want to see Colony Tau performing to the very best of their ability. What? I want them to wallow in regret, to agonize, tremble, suffer, rise, convulse, and then die. Sheesh, that's a little bit, yikes. The look on their faces at that moment is the most delectable thing in the world. I'm glad we me. get to kill this console. Consul, I don't understand. All that you are, distilled at the cusp of death to a perfect fraction of unbearable humiliation. However, teetering there on the edge of oblivion is also the moment in which you shine the brightest. The terror of death flickering in your minds, fighting madly in the hope that you still might live. A newborn babe could never hope to match that expression of horror. Okay. Only the march of time 
can crystallize those grimaces of wrath and agony. Okay, that's a little bit aged sick. to perfection, like a fine wine. Okay. <sighs> They're coming our way too. Huh. Never a dull moment around here. Come now, Junebug. Chin up. I want to see you at the peak of your brilliance. Mm. I can't savor your emotions if you don't ripen to your fullest now, can I? Wow. Or a Boris and counseling. That's funny. You know, you could actually counseling console. There's a there's a relation there. Maybe they think they are counseling. Sparks! They got Roland. Somebody go and help the poor soul. How in the? Are we snuffed then? Is this it for us? <laughs> They're named Stay after calm. what they need. Yeah, the apparently. There aren't as many monsters as before. It's doable. Keep pushing them back. We'll try. Oro berries are a force to be reckoned with, aren't they? I hadn't factored them in, but I did get a taste of fear and despair, and for that I'm truly grateful. You must have felt such sweet relief when they broke the flame clock. How does it feel to have all that taken away from you? You'd better pick up the pace, or my little monsters will flock to you like a free meal. It's the smoke. Put out the fire. Stop the yeah, smoke. Yeah, I'm going to be overleveled for most. But honestly, who does these and is actually the appropriate level? I'm oh. thinking like maybe five, <laughs> less than 5% of people are actually the appropriate level for these I quests. Doubts, but I never thought you were so brazen as to do this openly. When you crush and burn those plants, level you make 80. The most irresistible aroma for monsters. So you lied about getting rid of them. I said that nuisances had to be removed. Who said anything about monsters? I was hoping to remove everyone save little Junebug here and make way for new growth in the forest. Oh, yay, we can kill the monster. spout a load of shite, you know that. Oh, I love you. I was hoping to see them savaged by hungry beasts, but, oh, well. Your efforts have managed to ruin a perfectly good tragedy. Again. Again? Did I not mention? Not a few days ago, I recall that you intervened. What did I do? I was hoping to cull some fruit things before their homecoming. Ah, the monsters from before. Yes, that's it. That's the way. Uh... It's the monsters that you encountered on that fateful day. The mm -hmm. very same. Yes, I led them there myself. If they had feasted on your husks, I could have thrown them into the colony and given you such a fright. Why? Why would you think of doing such an awful thing? I took you to be smarter than this, Junebug. Be a dear and fire up those synapses for me. Colony Tower was ready to accept their fate. I settled on the monsters as the best way to deal with that. I am so I done with this console's monologue. Torn apart I was ready to fight eyes. you like five minutes ago. Are you done? The stimulus you need. You're beyond help. When the flame clock was destroyed and you were given the chance. Okay, to this is honestly going on too long. You came to fear death and gained the ability to suffer as you are doing right now. You've done well, my little Uro Berry. Yes, indeed. The look on your faces. Ah, how long the path 
perfect moment. Once matured, then savored. I'll not let you die easily. I you consoles are all the same, aren't you? Except for Triton! How can you toy with people's lives like this? You think this is fun? Don't put Triton in there. I just love teasing my favorite playthings. Well, it's been lovely talking to you. If you despise me so much, slay my little pet. I don't care what you're saying anymore. That speech went on for way too long. You didn't disappoint! A master thesis, honestly. Didn't it? It just kept going for him. My, you really defeated them, all of them. If you stay away from our colony without interfering, just as you always have, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. Without interfering. Juniper, too you good for really this world. Are a model child, aren't you? I told you, I. Why do you think that so few make it to homecoming in this pit that none know about or care about? Why do you think there are few threats to your colony, yet your flame clock teeters on the brink of collapse? I... well... Let me explain it to you in simple terms. Uh. I made it that way. What? You really are the... I had the soldiers die when approaching their final term. I can... And when your numbers were culled just enough to maintain the colony, I sent you new. When you lacked a source of life with which to fill the clock, I placed monsters of... And it has all been for this... I cannot begin to understand you. Countless hours of painstaking effort went into this. Even your rage brings me delight. The fact that you want to kill me where I stand, I shall contort your face in... The people of Colony Town have been fighting just to survive day to day. We won't allow you to have your way anymore. This... Yes. Come then. If you don't... You will have to watch as I slaughter your precious Colony Finally. Town. Simply because of her? Yeah, she just talks way too much. Like, I got her point at the very beginning. She didn't need to keep talking. I, I get I get what you were trying to say. What, hello? I'm trying to be tired. Okay. Oh my god, my Joy-Con drift. Hey Juniper! If you put your art follow-up bubble over here, it's way more useful. Somebody topple. Anybody? I need you, Mia. Topple? 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 So much energy. Okay. Just watch. Come on now. Actually, there's not many old ladies on the consoles. Most of them are old men. I made the joke at the beginning of uh, the playthrough whenever we found out that one of the first consoles we defeated was an old guy. I was like, hmm. This is just like real life, where governments are all run by old men. Not a lot of females. Oh, 
It do be true. We don't push any longer. It's funny how much this directly translates. Actually, and maybe it's not funny, it's just really sad. <laughs> if my Joy-Con could stop drifting, that'd be nice. Now I get a topple. Oh, days. Somebody else got it. Alright, we fucking up the Mobius or uh, chain attack to the end? Yeah, let's do it. Of course! Yippee! Of course your plan's gonna work. Increases damage ratio by 50%. I forgot what Juniper was, was because we haven't had Juniper in the party in a really long time. It gets me every time, dude. It's so dumb. It's like she forgets where the enemy is. Yeah, she looks so... Sorry, uh, they look so confused. Oh, God. The level of confusion just, like, standing around in a circle. <laughs> Kills me. Oh... Uni, take them down. This isn't the end. Juniper, state of confusion, constantly. I have a plan. I used my thinking right, coming right up. It's almost like kind of sad, actually, now that I think about it. we are gonna do enough damage to kill it but uh yeah that ain't happen are you guys ready boom this takes a little bit but you know juniper they'll get there Going over. No! One more for the road. I'm going full set. Try this on. It's a knockout. You want it? Yeah! Nice damage. I love lands in the dress. Being dead ass serious, I love lands in the dress. He looks so cute. Let me give you a tech. Time to unite. No question. Absolutely. Come on now. 
we don't get a dying speech as well cross your fingers let's hope well then it looks like it's my oh it, i can't even skip it i can't make you this go by faster either power my Ouroboros. console you oh yes now that right there is the face i wanted to see I'm afraid I won't be dying here alone. I'm going to kill off all your dear sweet friends one by one. You will remember exactly how they died. And you will regret it every waking moment. Cursing your own ineptitude, wishing you'd done more. Avenged though they were. Aimless anger will consume you. How very exquisite the look on your face will be then. She's lost the plot. How many Big times time. have you said the this same thing victory. over and over again? Colony Tao. What about them? We made a promise that we'd survive. And so, the console's twisted games are something I cannot entertain. <gasps> yeah, get it, Juniper! Uh, Junebug. So you really can make a face like that, too. Bye, bitch! And now I must wonder, did I do the right thing in the end? Oh, you did, sweetie. Don't that... worry. Oh, you That's definitely what life is all did. About. Searching to find that answer. Yes. How true. <laughs> Juniper MVP for getting that short for real. Woo! Thanks. Couldn't handle anymore. Yet again. Feels like you're always saving our bacon. All of these hero quests None have been so good, and I was actually really now, excited remember? that console you was yeah, like gonna show up, right. and then it ended We're up just being together. so bad. Juniper, what's wrong? Life is cruel, isn't it? Just when I stopped waiting for death and began to live for myself, why must it be so hard? It's just as the console said, expecting death would have been so much easier. You're not wrong. It's not easy. And it never will be. Sure, but it's still a sight better than doing sparkle and giving up. That's also true. You're right. Life is a struggle, but I think I'd like to go on fighting for a little while longer at least. Nah, you've got to dream bigger. Aww. Fight until the bitter end. <laughs> Perhaps I should. Even without a console, our goal remains the same. That's right. And we've got to start by harvesting the crops. Right, yes. We have our hands full as it is trying to look after ourselves right now. Sure. Well, if you ever find yourself having a hard time, we'll be there to help. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, and see you soon. Done. All right, sixth one down. Let's go. All right, next hero down the line, since we're just going to go in order, except for Riku and Manana. Save the best for last. Uh, Ashira! I go wherever you go. Ashira's up. Oh boy. Oh boy. That one should be here? Question mark. That one's a new one. Wait, what the... Okay, that's actually... That was not there. Don't know what that is. 
but this I think should be it. Shira time. Let's go. Maybe I might do a long stream today. I don't know. I would just have to worry about dinner at some point, but I might just do a long stream of just like Hero Quest stream. Because why not? Anyway. Ho oh, there! What fortune! We were just looking for you. Oh uh, yeah? Glad you found us. Well, we don't want to keep you. Hey now, no need to give us the evil eye. Could you just hear us out? <laughs> Wait, aren't you from Zorin's unit? <laughs> yeah, so we meet again. We got some good news from some kind-hearted folks as yourselves, willing as, uh, willing as you willing as you are to accept my request. We need your help right away. Doesn't that make you beam with satisfaction? Well, not entirely sure how to respond to this. Well, let's just hear what you want. The thing is, we have well, Clad's unit has an issue with deserters. Deserters? They've fled the colony. Now that we have no flame cloth, people are free to stay or leave as they please. It might have something to do with Nox training being enough to make me puke. That would make anyone want to leave, right? In short, Nock is facing the consequences of his actions. Be that as it may, we need to bring those cowards back and teach them to remember their place in the world. And did anyone manage to figure out where these deserters went? We're almost certain they went into Macthe Wildwood. Macthe? Eh? If they've gone there, if they've gone to ground there, then finding them will be tricky. That's right. We need man. We need some manpower on the field. That's where you all come in. Hunting in a forest is a whole different beast, though, you know. You'll accept, won't you? Please say yes, say yes now. Mate, what makes you think we'll do anything you ask when you talk to us like that? Knew there was no point in listening. Good luck to you folks. Be seeing you. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. If things stay like this, then I'll... No! What was that? You see, Captain Clyde may have given our friend here an awful scolding. If he doesn't bring them back, then, well, I'm sure you can imagine... He's not even popular enough to muster a search party. Perhaps that's why those people left in the first place? In other words, there's no one that else that you can ask. Lame. <laughs> Uni, I love you. I guess I feel kind of sorry for him. A little. All right. I suppose just this once we can lend a hand as a favor. Uh, right. Guess we can't just ignore ever someone in need. You have my gratitude. Thank you! Could you just try actually looking grateful? Shall we set off? Time to begin our fun little task. <laughs> Pleasure to work with you all again. But this ain't my side quest that I'm looking for. So that's the state of affairs. Maybe it's this one. I actually, yeah, I have not gone past this gate. Tenacious clad. Actually, he's a shy and sensitive type. What? <laughs> what? What'd you say? Can I not go past this? Okay. From the other side, it seems. Oh, I don't want to go there yet. No, no, no. Alright. I think there was, like, a an elite boss that was blocking my way before. I'm just gonna try beating it up. I think it was like level 60 or something. I love how those things look. They look so cute. Oh, I love those. So I don't even know what are you called. What are you called? Hey, what are you called? An echidno? An echidno. They're so cute. I love them. You think you're all that oh! Clear? You, like, automatically aggro. I guess I shouldn't fight you at the same time that I try to fight this guy. That's probably not the best of ideas. Uh, we'll see. A 64. Ah, uh, we, we might struggle? Uh, are we gonna struggle? <laughs> we might. Uh, we should change classes a little bit. Uh, uni. Can you go back on oh, your you healer? Right Senna. 
I don't know what to do with you either. You line him up, I'll knock him down. Back to gray. Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, let's hope we don't die. This is gonna be okay. Wait! If it's an elite, maybe it has a... Oh, wait. Do I need a Triton class? She... I forgot. I'll take the offensive then. Soul hack. Maybe it doesn't. There's like an icon. Oh, it does. Ah, shit. Okay, okay. All right, time to not die. Oh god. I better win. If I don't win, I'm gonna be mad slash sad. Oh my god, we're dying. Oh god. Uh, uh, This isn't looking great. Oh my. Oh god. This thing is kicking my ass. Oh god, Lance is dead, and uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I just tried to save my own skin. Okay, Tan and Uni, you went into Ouroboros, but like, I need people alive. Um, I'm gonna have aggro. Wait, oh, Ashira's still alive. Oh god. Um, this is fine. We're halfway to chain attack. Yeah, we'll be okay. We're gonna be just fine. Oh god. We're fine. We aren't fine. Okay, I gotta run. Okay, we running. I'm running. I'm running for my fucking life. That sucked. That that sucked. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure I fulfilled your requirements. Complete the three ravens at war and progress the main story. Oh. Oh. Wait, I have to do some story? Oh. Never mind. Um. Who else? Wait, I forgot who was next on my list. Never mind, we come back to Ashira later. False alarm, false alarm. Wee wee wee. Uh Alexandria and Monica. Alexandria, can we do you? Inescapable past. I'm pretty sure I already did that. I'm pretty sure I did that side quest. So yeah, let's put her in the party. Let's go. <laughs> you just leave things to me. Okay. I will just leave things to you. There is a question mark that popped up with her, so like, maybe this be it. And then we get to Mamika. You calling her Mamika? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, it's miserable outside.
Oof, the weather outside is like absolutely miserable. That's why we stay inside and play video games. <clears throat> We're doing Alexandria right now. Just ask yourself, can we really afford not to do it? Please convey this to Dame Alex. Look, I'm telling you, there's no way she'd agree. You seem to be having fun. Mind if I join in on the pleasantries? Huh? Dame Alex? Um, we can explain everything. Don't trouble yourself, Chickadee. I'll hear it from him directly. <laughs> I want to hold a tech summit with Colony 30. Ooh! Tech summit sounds like fun, honestly. Continue. She had to pull out the fucking reluctant. Rubik's Cube. Tech now Summit. Oh, yes, let me prove that I am very intelligent. Has crumbled. With my now Rubik's the Cube. Time to institute a tech exchange. If it's successful, what? it could even lead to stronger, more lasting peace. You had problems with Colony 30. Oh, Tyon in Triton's outfit, though. I didn't look at the outfit. Hey, oh. We fought against them before, just once. But they absolutely wiped the floor with us. Never before or since has Dame Alex misread an enemy to that degree. Because everything is like this is literally Colony years, Iota is literally a uh, Colony Nerge. They're all fucking nerds Who's better here. At whom now? Everything is so calculated. It doesn't sound half bad. Let's have a technology summit. Really? Dame Not gonna lie, Technology Summit sounds kind of cool. Colony 30 stands at the forefront of technology. This is not a problem in the slightest. Truly, not even a speck of one. Now we've done it. I don't like Alexandria that much. She's so weird. Chickity, contact Colony 30. Tell them I'm coming. Yes, understood. Gambert, we will rendezvous there. I'll bring results home. You'll see. Of course, Mom. I'll depart on the double. Of course, Mom. They've definitely got skills there, but this is Valdi we're talking about. I don't think you need to get so worked up. Suppose I told you that Colony 30... was currently struggling with an urgent water shortage. What would you imagine? What? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Burst water mains or something? Or their spring dried up? Incorrect. The right answer was big cleaning project at the colony. Oh, you have got to be joking. Regrettably, I am not. It really happened. What? That does kind of sound like Valdi, though, huh? What? There are also many Nopon living there. They tend to follow their own unique rules. Precisely. They are unique, and therefore worth studying in greater depth. Knowing your opponent and preparing accordingly... That is the foundation of any battle. Do you still consider Colony 30 your enemy then, Alexandria? This isn't about enemies or allies. All I'm saying is that the side that gets careless loses. So your strategy is outright distrust then? What are you trying to say? Uh... Hurt others first to avoid being hurt yourself. Do you think that's logical? It's a matter of opinion. <laughs> And you're We're saying your opinions, ass. Say what you will, but they've got a good colony over there. <laughs> uh, right. Alexandria, you suck. If you don't mind, could we attend this technology summit of yours? We could help introduce you and Valdi, too. Yes. I dare say with you by my side, they may be less guarded than otherwise. I suppose I may require your assistance. I may just require your assistance. <laughs> We've made some new friends. She always says everything so matter-of-factly. Like, yes, I am an asshole. I love my opinions, but I don't care. I mean, in a way, I kind of, like, respect that, but, like, hot damn, girl. She is, like, very far up her own ass. Oh, so that's how they're doing. I don't like people that don't listen to other people. She doesn't really care. Whoa. Whoa! This... This is all just... So over the top! Oh my god. Yes, though mainly your reaction. No. Ah! Valdi! Whoa, 
Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting. Hey, pal. How you doing? Not too shabby, I suppose. Riku, chief. Manana. Friend Baldi! Manana missed friend! Oh. <laughs> yeah. No need to be shy, chief. I envy you your energy levels, bud. It has been a while. I'm glad to see you in high spirits. Thank you. And yes, I'm pretty good. Um, who's this? <laughs> She's the commander from Colony Iota. You got the message, right? Oh, you're anti Alexandria. Thanks for reaching out. It's Alexandria, actually. <laughs> it would <laughs> honor me greatly <laughs> if you'd remember. <laughs> Alexandria, a pleasure to meet you. I'm the commander of Colony 30, Valdi. This will be my first technology summit. I'm really excited about this. I myself, not so much. Oh. Hey now. Really? You don't like Levinus's? I don't. Especially yours. Uh oh. I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> then I hope that by the end of the day, you'll have learned to love them just as much as I do. You're a credit to your colony, Commander. But don't you think you should be on your guard even a little? Why would I? We have no reason to fight. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> Obviously not. If I was, the others wouldn't have brought you. You trust them, don't you? Just as you do, right, Alexandria? Yes, of course. Tyon cannot handle this, I bet. In his head, so much shit's going in right now. So you'll have to watch your step. I have nothing to hide from friends. But feel free to look around. Oh my god. This combo of Alexandria and Valdi is just impossible. Because of the work on Doric. That's such a Valdi thing to happen. Oh god, what is happening? I love it. Everywhere I turn, there's hardworking Nopon. Oh, they're not working. They're just doing their own thing. They snooze when they're sleepy and meet when they're hungry. Sometimes they just wander off. Still, they look quite busy. What might they be making? So, just listen to this. I've been thinking about it a while. We're looking into constructing a smaller, stronger Levinus, focusing on three pillars. Durability, serviceability, and ease of use. <laughs> Actually, the whole premise of our work, like fixing things, might need rethinking. If you put too many features on one Levinus, then you need more time and parts, and it ends up costly and hard. Not to mention the handling. So to get all these getting so into this. All right, calm down now. Huh? But I was calm. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs> uh, but I was calm. <laughs> This new model's design is really very interesting. Thank you. Is stream still good? Wait, wait, wait. What just happened? That was so weird. It just stopped for like one second. I think we're good now, right? Okay, it, it was just one second. That was really strange. Uh, my OBS just like died for a second. I don't know what happened. It's just a bug in the program. OBS just died. Sorry, I'm here. What do you mean, friends? Friend. I'll introduce you. She's in the hangar over there. Oh no. There's been a change in colony relations. How many Levnesses does he have here? These are his friends. Uh, don't worry too much about it. This is Valdi we're talking about. They're low on ether because of the work on Doric. That's such a Valdi thing to happen. Doesn't it make you That's a bit such jealous? a Valdi thing to he happen? He so much of himself into doing what he loves. <laughs> ah, there she is. What the? Wait, wait, wait. Robo buddy is a friendly. Robo buddy. Robo buddy. Robo buddy. <laughs> it's this little one's name. 
Where'd you pick it up? Oh, she was strolling about outside. It must have been on patrol, dude. Did you have to go and drag it in? It doesn't treat Kavesi as hostiles. Or does it not even distinguish between Kevis and Agnes? But why would that be? Some error in the control circuits? There's no errors here, and she's not broken. You're conversant with Agnian technology? No way. Well, I guess I dabble, but there's tons of stuff I don't understand there. That's why I started tinkering with those that I do. First, the question of how Agnian Autolabs operate autonomously. I think it's mostly to do with ether signaling, but... I figured if we could break it down, we might be able to transmit stuff back to them from our side as well. Anyway, I spent ages racking my brain about it. But if you look at stuff like friend or foe identification, it gets mixed up. Baldi is too wait, innocent wait, for this up. world, and Alexandria is like it? a wall. Well, it's not a that literal precise, wall. Really. But at least we're friends now. We're friends right? with Robo, buddy. Is this for real? If they actually succeed at implementing this at scale. Yeah. It would turn the rules of engagement right on their sparking head. There goes Baldi, Robo Buddy. What are you having Robo Buddy do? Just moving and disposing of materials. It's still in the test phase, so we're keeping things simple. And which section is in charge? That would be the bingo guys. Why? Why don't I ask you straight? Are you planning to use it as a weapon? No flipping way. I would no never. flipping way. She's Baldi doesn't fighting. freaking I made friends swear. With her to stay okay. friends with her. Well, if that's the case, then it would seem you've missed your mark. Your friend seems to have other plans. <gasps> Robo Buddy! Robo Buddy, why? <gasps> Please. Ready arms. <gasps> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to destroy Robo Buddy. I'll throw them. You didn't disappoint. Sidewinder. Leave the enemies to me. Can't let you show me up, Noah. Way home. Eliminate the enemies. He wouldn't use a vulgar word like spark. Oh, Valdi would never. Oh, I just beat up Robo Buddy. Robo Buddy. Well, that makes things clear. Somebody within Colony 30 has been secretly misappropriating materials. Misappropriating? What are you talking about? Look at the Collectopedia card. You said the three pillars for your new Levness were durability, serviceability, and ease of use. However, you'll notice that the materials RoboBuddy was collecting were waning lapis and vanolium. A brittle rock and a highly scarce metal. What ought we to think oh, about no. that? Oh, no. Oh, you're right. This isn't what I asked for. But uh, hang on, Alexandria. How did you know to check our Collectopedia cards? I asked her to. I figured it might help. And it looks like I was right. Do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Not at all. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. No, RoboBuddy clearly turned hostile and attacked us. Which is to say... It must have been under the control of someone other than Valdi. But what were they after? Might it have been to make a poison? Poison? Yes. Both of those materials contained certain toxic compounds. Of particular Who would do note this? is the lack of identifiable scent or flavor. Who would dare do this? Food, they're nearly unnoticeable. Well, someone's well read. Our consul had some shady hobbies. And he liked to talk. So, what would happen if you swallowed it? Depending on the concentration? Dizziness, numbness, diarrhea, emesis. And in more severe cases... Ugh, enough, enough. 
Okay, that's enough. Oh, fantastic. I managed to retrieve the logs. If we analyze them, we should be able to figure out where it came from. Is that okay? A okay by me. We gotta stop the baddies. All right then. Pepto will Sorry help. Oh my god. <laughs> Just have some Pepto Bismol. Like I'll get rid of it. In my head. But thanks for thinking of it that way anyway. Honestly, such carelessness. <laughs> hey! Alexandria? You've been looking sad all this time. Hmm? Is something the matter? Anything we could help with? I'm... I'm used to all this, and I hate it. Alex? Did you hear me? It's nothing. You don't have to worry. All right. Analysis is complete. You can unpack the data whenever. Good job, Gambert. Why don't you wait here? Commander? I trust I can leave my man with you? Huh? I thought I'd be going with you. But there may be other machines like RoboBuddy. You're the only one who can tell them apart. Let's tackle both threads simultaneously. Yeah, okay. I'll stay in the colony this time then. Give RoboBuddy's boss my regards. Oh. <laughs> oh, Baldi is too good for this world. I can't. <laughs> He's such a shot sunshine child, and I love him so much. I gotta make Valdi proud. We're gonna figure this out, and then we're gonna make. Tion, what's your opinion on this? Oh. It's mostly aligned with yours. There's something else going on here. Um. Fuck. That got me distracted from what I was gonna say. Thanks, Alexandria. Oh, I want to make a whole colony of just uh, Levnesses for Valdi. We gotta get him a big pile of machine friends that he can count on because he deserves the best man tried to reverse engineer your friend into killing you what do you mean by my regards i know that's why he's so innocent he would even wish well uh even his enemies even the people who try to kill him and do him wrong what a sunshine this child, decent, man. Right? What a freaking sunshine child. <gasps> is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, this thing is hello, you're in my way. That was funny. Level 18, man. I remember the day when we were like, we were exploring this vertical map. Oh my, how the times have changed. Oh yeah, I never got that husk there. It's not that far. Some monsters even fight among hey, themselves. Get a of this. Uh, I don't want to take on Turkins. We should be able to climb up with that. All right, we're going up. Right next to the husk, maybe? Oh, wait, the husk is like... Wait, can I? I would have to jump. I can make it. Oh my god, assuming my Joy-Con's not a piece of shit. Are you kidding me? This is impossible. When you have a broken-ass Joy-Con. Oh my god, we did it. <gasps> Time to do the right thing. <laughs> eh? And you just hear you just hear the smacking down there from the skirmish. <laughs> it's kinda of funny to hear it in the background. Playing my flute. Big old fight happening in the background. Sirens blaring. Ooh. 
Okay, just a heads up. If my stream cuts off, it's because there's a bad storm that just rolled through. It's looking pretty bad out there. That's why it's been looking nasty outside. Hmm. So yeah. I don't know if I'll lose power or not. Hopefully we don't lose power. <laughs> that would be ideal. What is this big bird shadow? What the heck? Man, we are going far. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. Zeus, yeah, Zeus be raining down on me today. Oops. This way. Okay. Just change the weather in this system settings. <laughs> could you imagine if we could do that? I have often thought about, not often, but I've had, I've had the thought a couple times, like, what would it be like if we could control the weather? Because I feel like to a certain extent we could control the weather, and we do unknowingly, but... Or no, knowingly for some people, but... I feel like it'd be really bad for nature if we were able to control the weather. Sounds cool in theory, Alex, not good okay? in practice. You're not looking too well. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about the past. <laughs> Ten K to make it rain. Oh, yeah. No pun controlling the weather, man. Oh boy. Wow, we really did walk really far for this quest. Ooh, getting hit by constant thunderstorms. That's not very fun. Ugh, this is not, where the logs run out. Doesn't look good out there. Let's search the surroundings. That's true, fate. That's very true. No, hold on. Past there is. Dead end. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't for a minute dream you'd fall for the oldest trick in the book. Dear Ouroboros, how do we ever fear you? I know that screech. It's the consul from Valdez. So he's alive? If I died so easily, I'd be a human. <laughs> but as fortune has it, I... Alex ain't having any of this. Hey, I'm still talking here. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less. <laughs> How primitive can you what get? What a queen. If you only she really could have been there for, for console use speech. Oh, no. God. If only. I knew you for a craven, Alex. You were plainly going to secure the retreat. Oh God, oh, he's talking so you again. Do have two brain cells. So you do have two brain cells. Everything's going numb. <laughs> a very special litmus that was. Oh, it isn't fast acting, so relax. I formulated it for the water supply, you see. Oh. You're after... Colony 30. It doesn't matter so much where. The important thing is the water. It will soon become the object of the most vicious raids! You worm! However, seeing as you're here... I might arrange a whole different playtime. <gasps> we can create a tableau of your little act of betrayal. And see how you like it when you're the one being poisoned. Act of betrayal? <laughs> My 
Carter! Stop spewing your idiot lies! Oh dear. You haven't told your friends, then. Well, then. I guess they're no friends of yours! I get- <laughs> Dude, dude. This console's head looks like a trash can. <laughs> Too slow! Master now it's a trash can with a halo. Ready. This little mix has suffered her ambition drilled by the killer old commander. She brewed up a poison to make him weak, then staged it like he died in battle. Really cool. Even thing. better, she made her accomplices, team leaders, to shut them up. And they're still chumming it up today. Alex. He's telling the truth. I regret nothing. He wasted men and resources. Clung to outdated tactics. If his tyranny continued, Iota would surely have collapsed. Oh, how grisly! How ghastly! Never knowing when one might die in one sleep. Unable to trust your friend. <laughs> I'd go so far as to say they lost their trust in you. That's right. And so, I'm not asking you to trust me. Woo! some husks in their closet and as for me i'm choosing to trust you okay oh, cut me right to the quick in this game to the cruel go the spoils In quick order. Can we beat him up yet? Oh, great. That was perfect timing. Don't mind if I do. You truly are despicable. Where are you two of us? What's going on? Even so, that's not for you to decide. Oh, he sit. He days. Wait, this thing is level 59. Oh my god. We're actually pretty on par with this fight. We're not. Wow. Imagine doing a side quest whenever you're like at the appropriate level. Couldn't be me. I only have one tank. I didn't think that we'd be needing it. Yeah, he needs you, Mio. You won't get away. Mr. Krabs, I don't watch SpongeBob. But that's cool. Dang, going after Alexandria hard. Uh oh, he's floaty boy. Now he is sit boy. Eat 
you don't hear it. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard- I haven't watched Spongebob that much, so I don't really remember it. Mr. Krabs, which sounds like. Look at that tail whip, though. Let me give you a I might do a long stream. I am getting hungry, though, so, like, my limit is gonna be, uh, whenever I'm, like, too hungry to go on. <laughs> then I'll stop the stream. Oh! Alex is, Alex is dead. Oh god, Lance. I have never heard that argument in my life. A voice talker, not a voice. A voice actor. You can still hear people's voices. That ain't an argument. I still want to finish it up with a chain attack though, so I'm just gonna hold off until like maybe in a little bit we'll end it. Stay on guard for now. More with that chain drop. We're near our limit. I'll draw them. Cheers for that. Alright, this should be good. Alright, let's go! What are you again? Uh, increases crit rate by 25 percentage points. <gasps> Look at the amount of buffs we got. Oh, uh, twenty-five percent when first in line to attack and makes all attacks critical. Okay. Right there. to take Tyon off this class. <laughs> Oops. Your fate was sealed when you rose against us. How about something like this? How about something like this? I don't want to end it early. Maybe idea. we do you. Alright, Alexandria. Show us what you got, girl. immediately just got to work. Oh, that would have been a good chance to actually topple. I didn't take the opportunity and I should. Oof. Damn. Spicy numbers. Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. I 
more water, especially if I'm gonna keep going. I didn't even notice that there were multiple targets on the field. This should be all part of attack. All right. The good thing is we can definitely win this battle. Uh-oh. Okay. Phew. Aw, thank you, Irina, for hanging out. I appreciate it, as always. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Da burst. I'm gonna go get my water bottle filled up. attack over a million like that that's a fuck ton that was a million damage i didn't even know there are still oh one more enemy. Okay. I didn't even notice that these guys came onto the field. I thought I was just fighting Mobius Q for the whole time. I need you, Mia. How about this? You won't get away. Eat this. Boom. Easy. Console Q dead. Alex! Oh. Bye, Alex. Why were you near the edge? I see a blind spot! <laughs> Let me go! You have to, or you'll... Alex. You said it yourself. You were counting on us. This here's my friend. So back off! We're not done here! Wait, we should be done here though, like. Uh, what is this? Whoa! Noah! The quick draw. That was so anime. That was too close for comfort. You can say that again. Oi! What the spark were you playing at? Oi! <laughs> I seriously thought you'd snuff it. Hey, I trust you. I knew you'd make it in time. Probably. <laughs> what? Noah? What <laughs> Noah, are you okay? Well, Sweetie? I didn't exactly have time to ponder it. You smug little clod. Please don't frighten me like that. But why? How can you do those things? You could have died. Yes, but that's just Noah's way. How have you survived this long if you're always so careless? I'm telling you, we count on one another. That's how we've learned to do it. Oh. Perhaps I'm not explaining it right. But in any case, I like that. I think Tyon is the one saying this because he's like the oh, so everything is very calculated kind of guy. But I swear, you Ouroboros must he be knows the, the most value peculiar in people I've met. Teammates and friendship. To trust. If you were, I'd have been long gone. Thank you for trusting me. Right back at you. Let's get back to Valdi. He's probably getting worried. Yeah, it's friggin' nighttime now. Whew. 
Huh. All right, well, I'll go back in a sec. Did I ever get everything up here? I think I did. There's nothing on the map. It's just Check barren. Oh, there's a container, but that's like way on top of the cliff up there. Ew. Yeah, I'm not up there. So we like actually went all the way over here. Holy shit. All right, back to Colony 30 and cute little Valdi. Nerd and nerd conversation, except Tyon has evolved like Giga Chad nerd thing, person thing. <laughs> He's better in every way. Just saying. Hey, welcome back, you guys. That was shocking news you sent. Didn't think I'd hear about Q again. I'm sorry about putting you through that. Don't worry about it. We've gotten a lot out of the bargain as well, I assure you. And I'm sure Gambert has been absorbing it all like a sponge. <laughs> Dame Alex, about that. Respectfully, there's something I'd like to discuss, if you please. You want to stay here, don't you? How did you know? The Nuphon are staring. <laughs> The nope is staring. Well, <laughs> They're all just then, sitting Valdi, back there. What would you Please say don't go. if I propose a temporary staff exchange? Gambert, for one of your mechanics? Bay Malix. Really? I think it would be intellectually stimulating for both our sides. All right. Sounds cool. Let me quickly talk to my buds. <laughs> Sounds cool. Bay Malix. What's... <laughs> okay. a, what's brought this on? Pardon? Brought what on? Ah, uh, never mind. We got the okay. They say they'll move ASAP. Very good. This should help foster better relations <laughs> Yo, between our colonies. Yo, welcome to the stream, Drogs. What welcome, do you mean welcome. Better? We're already fast friends. You're right. <laughs> I misspoke. Gambit, come on. Got to introduce you to everyone. Huh? Wh what now? Hey, hang on! Well, that's one thing taken care of. Right. About that. We won't tell anyone about what Q said. I mean, it's not like you could get court martialed for it at this point. No. <laughs> for the record, though, I can't say I approve of your methodology. Indeed. If you try something like that again, well, we'll just have to stop you. And then we'll put our heads together to come up with a less bloody way. So no more agonizing alone, got it? That's... reassuring? If that's how you really feel, then let us help you. That is, since we're friends now and all. I... Hmm? Uh, thank you. Sure. And thank you too. Wow. That was for saving me earlier? I hadn't had a chance to say it sooner, you really didn't have to. <laughs> it would have eaten at me if I didn't. I have to say, I thought you were more chill than that, Alexandria. Ah, mm. she's actually kind of a sweetheart, ain't she? Well, we knew that. What? Are, are you making fun of me? It's just a bit of friendly banter. You'll get used to it in no time. <laughs> so she's learned how to open up a little. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. All right, to the next hero quest. I hope everyone's getting along. Dang. Hey, the colony relations changed. Because of the work on Doric. That's such a valdy thing to happen. Huh, doesn't it make you a bit jealous? He pours so much. Look at all the no pawn here. Else. So many no pawn. Hi, hi, Valdi. How's Pooly Pooly then? Well. He sure comes out with some interesting sleep talk during his afternoon nap. Stuff like Paradise's Island in Mighty Ocean of Curry, Curry of Skeeter, Syrup, Curry of Tall Spice. He must have some pretty wacky dreams. I guess he's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Totally fine. What is up with my Collectopedia, though? Hope they appreciate our fine work. I will get five stars hey, with all the colonies, all. eventually. Man, the last, like, four That's to five stars. 
That's a lot of points you need, man. That's a lot. That's the last one. All right. Yay, Colony Iota, Colony Mew. Yay, they're cooperating. I did a big thing. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, the next hero quest. Monica. Do what you have to do, and let's make a difference. Ooh, I love Monica. Let me make sure I can actually do it before I attempt. I don't actually know. Go to the city and complete Promise to the Future. I think I did that quest. promise to the future. If not, it's not a big deal. We just move on to the next one until I do these off line. I'll just go. I'll just go to the city. Hey, the colony relations changed. Yeah, colony relations! To the city! Oh. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's probably it. Let's go! It's a lot of work to get those five stars. I noticed like four stars, getting to four stars, pretty easy. And then the last stretch from four to five stars is like <laughs> so much work. I haven't hit one yet, but I think I'm actually really close in colony. F is it four? No. Um, no, yeah, hey, colony four. Colony relations changed. Colony four has like a hundred more points and I can get the five stars. Really close. That's my closest one. All right, Monica, this better be your quest. Crossing my fingers. Ooh. Let me get this yes! straight. Voices! You want me to talk the defense squad into issuing you a transporter? You're dreaming, young lady. Out of the question. Please, sir. It would only be for a short time. I don't suppose this is one of the Elder's requests? No, no, it's nothing to do with her. Jensen. Dude. Now there's something you don't see every Boom. day. Oops. Ah, Elder. You came at the right time. Can you make these knuckleheads see sense? I mean... It's good that they're so enthusiastic. I don't know enthusiastic. if I'm interested in playing Can you get it XCX, through to them that we've got problems really enough know. in the city already? It doesn't really intrigue me that much, actually. Everyone's all fighting to the best of their ability. Just because I, I haven't heard much here good about it. Well, not that it's a don't bad game, but problem. lots of complaints about it. We don't have a damned clue when the next Mobius raid hits us, and you don't see the problem. Come on now, Garrett. What we should be looking at right now is tightening our defenses and protecting the city. We can leave Mobius to Ouroboros. Sounds like you're trying to overturn the Senate's orders. I'm just offering a bit of advice here. Just saying there's no point throwing good resources after bad. Hey, with all due respect... Don't you get it? You folks just haven't got what it takes to go against Mobius. What? You've got to accept reality. Otherwise, you're throwing your lives away for nothing. For nothing? Everyone's fighting to keep people like you alive, and you call that nothing. Hmm. <laughs> you think you can trade in your life and change the world? You think it's that simple? Who said I'm trading but life? If we do nothing, then nothing will change. Also that. You fill the youngsters up with fine ideas, then send them out to the slaughter. Yeah, some talent, that is. We don't force our way of life on anyone. They're the ones who decide. Let me ask you, then. Did you choose for yourself? You chose his life personally, did you? Uh, Your husband must be rolling in his grave. My brother is dead. He won't regret anything anymore. You trying to mock me? <laughs> if it came across like that, I'm sorry. 
But bringing up the dead to prove a point, is that really something a Doyle would do? Hmm. Bleh. Bleh. Bah, humbug. All right. You gonna tell me what that was all about? Oh, it's no big deal, really. Thanks, but I'll be the judge of how big a deal it is or isn't, Jensen. <laughs> Are you telling me that as Elder? Jensen. If you aren't pulling rank, then please believe me. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> Olive, plan B. Okay. Hey, Monica. You want to grab a bite to eat? I haven't eaten a thing since this morning. It'd be great to have some company. Someone say eat! Time for tasties! Wind it in, Manana. <laughs> sure thing. Let's go to Michiba Canteen, then. Yeah. So, yeah, just the way the people talk about accents, like doesn't make me exactly want to give it a try. I hope everyone's getting along. Uh, hey kids. We just have that cutscene and then <laughs> Senna's like, yeah, I hope everyone's gonna get along. Hey kids. Like, okay, sweetie. Yeah. I just figured, like, whenever I hear Xenoblade, I hear really long game. So do I want to invest Can my time into, a, like, a big Manana. game that mm. I'm only gonna, like, kind of enjoy? Yeah. Manana not even had first My time yet. is limited and I have a long games list, so like something like that isn't like. appealing to me. My if it's just like mediocre. Keep bringing it out, will ya? Gotcha! <laughs> ah. Where do I start? I knew there were a few people whose hearts weren't really in the fight against Mobius, but I'm not sure I understand why they're so openly bitter about it. Please don't judge him too harshly. Garrett just wants to protect his family. His family? Right. He has kids, just like I do. That's why he can't forgive me. I did something no parent should ever do. But why? What did you do? Sending your children into battle. What mother would do that? But this is the life I chose. The day my husband died, I chose to take the mantle of Elder and lead the city. Remind me, a husband is... Someone you promised to live with for the rest of your life. He must have been very important to Monica. So, after you lost Noah your husband... Noah answered that right away. Did you... If he remembered any of his lessons, it be? was husband. Good man. I did. <laughs> I wanted to put an end to the war with Mobius and to build a way of life that everyone in this world truly deserves. That's what the six houses are working towards, and that's what I want as well. Oh, sorry to keep you. Uh, here it is. The house special. Aqua Pazza a la city. Oh, oh it's making me hungry, dude. <laughs> Fuck, I'm hungry. Oh. Looks banging! Actually, there's something I've been curious about. Like, being an elder or being a mother, do you have to choose one or the other? Guess it's like becoming the commander of a colony or something? Yeah, that's a good comparison. If you take on that role, you're responsible for every single person that lives there. So being elder means Gondor can't get special treatment, even though she's my daughter. Sounds like a tough break. Oof. Boss, go 
got something you might like to hear. We confirmed an unauthorized transport leaving the city. It's piloted by Jansen and his crew. What's its heading? I'd like to know that myself. The location Ooh, track is out. Spaghetti actually it's sounds pretty to good. Stay there, planning quite the stunt. Right. Olive's there now. Should we send the armory? The search area is too wide. Maybe Garrett could help us? Right. He was talking about the transport in the plaza. Some pasta. You hear that? I don't have a good feeling about this, boss. I'll speak to Garrett. You can do a little groundwork for me, Travis. Word gets around. Imagine the commotion once the conservatives hear about this. Work your charms on them, Travis. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, boss. Let's settle this squabble. Looks like we'll be skipping lunch then. Never mind. Let's just try to find out what Jansen's up to and... Huh? Speed eating. You get used to it in my line of work. Monica? We should get to the residential district. Garrett will be at home. She... Uh, did you, like, inhale your food? Monica had to inhale it. Like, there's no other way. So, uh, Garrett must be from one of them six houses too, right? Yeah, he's a smart cookie. He and my dad had their fair share of run-ins. <laughs> Oops, I went way past it. <laughs> Side quests? I'm doing hero quests. Side quests I do off stream. So the yellow hero quests I'm doing on stream. And we still got a ways to go. This way. Thanks, Monica. Yes, he was trying to scrounge a transport off me. I told him no. Didn't ask what he'd do with it. I see. But whatever it was, I guess they went and did it anyway. Or you wouldn't be here asking about it. Every ruddy last candidate got together and went against their orders. Insane. It's like Shania all over again. Oh, God. <sighs> or rather, maybe Shania was the trigger for all this. Maybe Jansen and the others are doing this because of what she did. Huh? They realized that no matter how good the defenses were, the downfall could still come from within. And if they don't act, there's no future. If you see it like that, it's not hard to understand. But what are they trying to do right now? We still don't have a clue. They aren't selling the city out, though. You get that, don't you? If they're trying to help, it's a pretty dumb stunt to pull. How childish can you get? Garrett. I haven't done tracks yet, no. I don't want to watch them fail. <laughs> All I have to see if it updated cuz yeah Trains is like pain. coming up as question marks it for me no right now. If they throw it all away. Why is that so hard to understand? We need to teach them about the past and help them make the right choices before disaster happens. That's our responsibility as adults. Right, Monica? I understand how you feel. But Jansen's crew aren't fighting for victory or glory here. Right now, they just want to do something that won't leave them Thanks. with regret. <laughs> Absolute army cack. Yeah, maybe so. But would you rather they were mindless, obedient automatons? How's that different to being controlled by Mobius? What? Mm. We need to get through to them so that we can teach them how to get Sheesh. back on their feet after they fail. We've seen a little more of this life than them. And, as you say, it's our job to help them understand that. Well, well. What a surprise to hear the Elder talking like a parent for a change. Picked it up from my dad. It's how he raised me, now I think about it. Aww. Mm. Yes, I can see that. Anyway, thanks for your time, Garrett. 
Don't mention it. Sorry I couldn't be more use. Okay, back to square one. Miss Vandam, I was just on duty. I didn't mean to eavesdrop for anything. I couldn't even do like half no of the problem. shit that Monica Continue. does, honestly. Like, holy crap. I've got some information about the location of that transport. Carter was talking about Corn Island. Corn Island, you say? tier list for heroes sure that sounds like fun maybe there's something to it yeah my husband was there 14 years ago he went out on a mission to collect ether that's where he lost his life what that's if they're heading to the deepest level then they're in trouble even if they're sure of themselves We've got to get to Corn Island. I hope everyone's getting along. Now I'm curious, though, to see if anything updated. Let me see. So we still have Ethel with the undergo maturation pro process and Kamaravi because they're tied together. Shira progressed the main story, but we did the quest. Fiona progressed the main story and then to phase forward. We did Grey. Gondor, I have the quest. I have the quest to start Gondor anytime. And then, yeah, Triton, question marks. And then I still have to do like the cast, right? Discuss the C and complete side story tie on. And then side story land, side story Senna. Oh, Gondor's grumblings is Senna's side quest, not Gondor. Oh, okay. So the one I'm sitting on right now is actually Senna's. And then we still have to do Riku and Minato. We still got a lot, dude. But these stories are all so good. I really don't mind, you know, avoiding, <laughs> avoiding doing, uh, Oh, we have to go back here? God, I hated this island. Um, I really don't mind doing or focusing on... I cannot talk. The hero quests. I don't need to do chapter 7 for a while anyway. <laughs> Who needs to do plot anyway? Well, I guess I need to do plot for Noah's class ascension as well. But whatever. That's Noah. Who cares? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I enjoy seeing all of the colonies interact with each other. Like, we've seen that so much today, and it's been just so nice and welcome. I really want that container, but I'm going to avoid it for right now. It's been nice to see all the colonies, like, interact with each other. Alexandria and Valdi, like we just had. Like, uh, it's so nice. Just to have that. Well, lucky devils. <laughs> I hope the day has been going well. It has been. Thank you, Detective Wong. I appreciate it. Thank you for the eight months. I hope you keep enjoying Please the emotes safe. as well. I love the side content a lot. Reminds me of Yakuza. You don't need like a super long main story. Right Although here. the main story is really long with all you the cutscenes especially. Hmm. Did but, you hear that? Like Yakuza is like 10% story and like 90% side content. <gasps> I love it. Mimi, over there. Not good. Oh no. We've got to help. Hurry, there's still time. Roger. Okay, then we have to make it down there. I can't just jump. Galliop!
Wait, can I participate in this skirmish really quick? <laughs> Hold on a minute! Leave it to me. I'll have them crying by the end. Hold up a minute, hold up. You want to stop in and say hi? Well, thank you. I appreciate you stopping in to say hi. You came at a good time where you're not going to get too many spoilers here at this current time. Right, let's push on. It has honestly been really satisfying on my part to uh, well, to be doing all the side quests off stream, because then it like I'm able to do these hero quests today because I've been spending so much time we doing the side content. Ha. We've just been Hurry. I've been doing it so much off stream and it's been very very nice. I kind of want to get the container. Um, I'm going to go get that while we're here. Sorry. So yeah, just get off stream. Like I do the hero quests and I do the story on stream and then I go off, do some side quests and then it unlocks more hero stuff, which is great. Like the balance is good. The only thing that isn't so good is I have to edit these at the same time. <laughs> so okay, it's a lot buddy. of my time I'm meeting up right now. Like my life has been like pretty much a hundred percent, maybe like 99%. I'm like 1% doing other things, like 99% Xenoblade the past two weeks. Just play, play off stream to get caught up and then edit and then rinse and repeat every single day. <laughs> so much. I am living and breathing this game. I should write this all down. I don't want to die. Jensen, everyone. No it does chance. make the world feel really right. It's really awesome, like how much I everyone care about side right? characters. What? Monica? It's really good, like world building, even between the colonies and the NPCs that they have. Boliaris, like every there's so many characters we that just you. stand out. No time to play with you, I'm afraid. Out of the way. Spider. Sixty one. Oh. Oh, wow. oh God, this is actually my level. I launched and worked. <laughs> You're just breathing this game as well, Rizzi he bought it. That's great. There's just so much content, right? Okay, are we all on the same page here? Sheesh, that defense mode. Cocoon. still binging it. I imagine there's a ton of post game to do. Like if you want to take the time to go through all of uh Heck Triton's class and get all of the skills and Oh god, there's so much. There's so 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 much. And all the unique monsters. There's a lot of uh high level caves that I've been too scared to go through as well. You might want to hang back. Keep me going. You might want to be 
Okay, these spiders are kicking our ass. Ah, uh, Monica's here. Monica died, and it's my fault. Can't, play, can't stop until it's all done. Yeah. But the difference for me is, like, I do recall whenever I played Xenoblade 1, I was doing everything because, like, I'm a completionist at heart, and it's really hard for me to, like, just not do everything in a game, especially a massive game like this. But I don't recall ever really enjoying doing the side content. Oh god, that's a lot of dead people. We are far away from chain attack usage. Oh god, and I have aggro. Get me in a defense bubble. Stop moving away from me. Why do- Monica and Noah- Oh, it's because they're following. I forgot I literally had follow the leader on there. Holy shit, that's why. Oh my fucking god, I'm an idiot. That's literally what's been happening. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I think I'll save the chain attack for the other guy. That's a lot. I can't- I don't think I could ever do New Game Plus with these games. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. All the cocoon. You've gotta be kidding me. Alright, one spider? Damn. I love the sound effect for every time you get like a random buff. Kinda satisfying. You would never do it again for any other game. Yeah, no. Nope, nope. Games are too long. It's so hard. Ooh. I was gonna do a chain attack just for the extra experience bonus, but yeah, I don't need it. It's fine. We're so sorry. Disobeying orders, stealing a transport. Ooh, mom's In the mad. End, you're all safe, so I suppose there's that to be thankful for. Mom's mad. <sighs> but what in the hell were you thinking? I'm really hungry, but I want to try to do one more hero quest after this. We thought we could seize the loot, maybe use it to beef up our defense. Even if we can't be Uroboros, we can still fight. Monica, our duty is to protect the city from our enemies. And, I mean, we got the feeling that we didn't really matter to you, like we weren't real candidates. Aww. The way you all just fought, it easily surpassed even our top veterans. But not even the great Guernica Vandom could stand up to the horrors we're facing. They'll chew you up and spit you out. <sighs> and if you were to lose your lives needlessly, you'd leave behind more sadness. I don't want any of you to forget that. Olive, I'm gonna need a report. So when can I get it? Uh, uh, tomorrow? I want it today. Get these supplies stowed away. Also, 
I expect a written apology from all of you. Oh my god. Written 50 apology? Pages. 50 pages. 50? Not enough? In the very near future, we're gonna need about everything you can give us. Oh my god, girl. Until then, you need That's to That's like prepare. the shit of my nightmares god. in school. You're out there on the front line. Putting yourself in harm's way. At least let us handle the rear. Aww. Please, just trust us. You little. When my brother died, on the day that you were made elder, I decided, I pledged never to leave you alone. I would not let you end up like him. And so, that's exactly what I'm doing here. Somehow. Unbelievable. That's why you nearly threw your life away. It's because I love you. <gasps> what the, the If you're going to tell us to survive, well then, you should be following your own advice. Woo! Jensen. I'll bet you probably only thought of me as a little brother or a friend. But I, I think I know you better than anyone. Damn. Oh. Holy shit! Hold on, did he just... Did he... Just what? It, what now? They don't get just it! Just quiet! <laughs> That's <Jensen>. priceless! <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> um... I'm sorry. You see, right now, I... You don't have to say anything now. It's just, I needed to get that across. Damn! I Instead, gotta give the man props. When the fighting's done, that takes some serious maybe balls. Maybe we can talk this over with each other some more. Holy shit! Mad I'm respect, your officer. Mad respect. Yeah, but when Mobius are gone, ranks won't mean a thing. Please. Sheesh! Just think it over. Damn, buddy, let's go. <laughs> Nice one. Were you scared? <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Damn. That was so anyway, bold. Go? It's going to be tough getting that stuff out of the cave. Ah, snuff it. I'll help you out. Me too. The chad straight up, right? Time right? For big treasure hunt. <gasps> Riku line. Wow, I've never seen you fill a face like that before. What kind of face exactly? <laughs> Yuri's just like laughing. Like a turkey and eating a black liver bean. Yeah, I can imagine. I have certain duties to uphold as Elder. I've got to head the army, win the future. So, I just thought I could put off everything else until the world to come. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity. Just talk to him. Tell him what kind of a future you want in this world to come. Mother, elder, can't say I understand what those really mean. Mm -hmm. If you look to the future, you can become whoever you want to be. In the wise words of a certain someone. <laughs> <laughs> Touché. You should be who you want to be, too. A life after war, eh? Maybe there is. Those precious. Oh no. I hope everyone's getting.
getting a <sighs> Why is it always over? So fast. I hope everyone's getting Wait, along. there's a shiny thing. Go, go, go. Go for the shiny. Hopefully a spider's not gonna, just gonna drop out of fucking nowhere. Can't leave running uh, uh, wait, I can take it. I can take it. Go, go, go! Wait, no, I don't have the Triton class on. Do I? No, we do! Oh, perfect! Yeah! I think I have tie on on it right now. Heck yeah! Gaming, 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 gaming. Maybe I can take it. Oh my god, we all went into Ouroboros at the same time. Holy shit, Monica's gonna die. Man, I got baited. I knew a spider was gonna drop down. I knew it. Oh, Uni's dead. Lands, go get her up. Oh, Mio's dead. Oh no. That's uh... game. Okay, run, 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 run. Where's the wall? Where's the wall? Where's the wall? Oh. The wall was over there. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever, game. Whatever. Next hero quest. Fuck off. So, I don't know if we can do Fiona yet. Uh, um, oh god, actually, can we do it? Well, I guess I could do Senna's. Since we have it. I'll try. I just don't know if Fiona's is ready yet. I guess it would show up right now. No. I didn't do, I think I didn't do the prerequisite side quest for it. And Gondor. Gondor's is... You're in safe hands. I forget what her is said to do after the quest. Take Gondor to Agnes Castle. Okay. Let's see if it's there. Yep. I'm assuming that's it. Let's go. I got the shiny thing, yeah, but I kind of wanted to beat up the spider, though. I probably could have taken him, just saying. Probably. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I haven't been here in a hot minute. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Hear the waves? Those were some rare moments of comfort. The sea! <gasps> I need the sea! Wait, I need that one! That's- I need that for Tyon's quest! Yes! Thank you! <laughs> ah! Sorry, I got really excited because I want to hear more Tyon's story. <laughs> Do you really think it's wise to be speaking like that in their territory? Oh, so excited. <laughs> Have you heard about those crazy strong guys? The ones that were locked up in prison for yonks? Yeah, I did. The guys over in internal security will be run ragged if they ever manage to get out. Just the kind of time I'd like I'd like those guys to be here, but alas. Toma, Zara, Jodor are locked up deep inside the prison after all. They won't be seeing daylight anytime soon. Just break them out. Did you hear? And Agnian arranged us a boat to the city. I heard. Some guy called Seeker, right? Why did he go and do something for us that would, wouldn't benefit him anyway? Oh yeah, the Seeker guy, I remember. Oops, now I have like 5,000 more things to do. Oopsie poopsie. 
Uh oh, there's another one still. Oh my god, you're killing me, game. Those Agni and Mutters looked down on us from up from here while we toiled for them like slaves. I get how you feel, but right now, us and them are just gonna have to pay play nice. All right, I don't know if this is Gondor's thing. We'll see. Yeah, it is. Ah, Gondor. Just who I wanted to see. Something wrong? Sort of. But just the other day, one of our squads got chased by a ginormous monster. Yeah? How big are we talking here? Big. Really big. Big. Got them good too. That's a good description. It's uh, just really big, the guys. Monsters, really. Of course, some of them are going to grow ginormous. Sure, we've seen some stonking big ones too. So, what's the story then? They got attacked by monsters and ran home, tails between legs. Dags, a lot of them. No, you're not getting it. It was just one monster, and it chased off the whole team. There was a scavenger team from engineering on a mission in the Fornis region. You don't say. I'm starting to respect this monster more than I respect you lot. If they got wrecked by a single enemy, they must have got careless. Even if it is oh, a honey. Big... I wouldn't be too harsh. If a monster senses weakness, it can strike without warning. Uh, it, no, it, it's more like... Well, they say it let them go. Uh, sorry, do my ears need rinsing? Because I could have sworn you just said a monster let them go. <laughs> yes. Andor. That's what I heard. They say it didn't keep up the attack, that it just wandered off at some point. Well, it's a fun story and all, but it sounds like a massive crock to me. Massive crock. Yeah, I'm not 100% convinced either, but knowing these guys, they wouldn't just make it up for a lark. I don't think we should doubt that they really did come under attack. The part about being allowed to escape, however, is mystifying. I wasn't aware of any monsters with that behavior pattern. But anyway, I thought you might want to know about it, boss. Stroke of luck that I managed to catch you. You did good, soldier. I'll take a look. After all, where would we all be if I didn't step in to clean up all your messes, eh? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's Gondor for you. And there's I'm still one rusty. more. We can go a few rounds if you want. Is it Aggie that's correct or Augie? If I were you, I'd go and ask Gondor to be sure. Aggie and Augie, oh god. Not a quest with them. Wait, where? Oh, this is like way back in the beginning. Are you kidding me? Sheesh! Gondor, she's a feisty one, man. I do love her. I love her energy. Yes. Yeah, bit much sometimes but like i get where she's coming from though so i can't, i can't like completely hold it against her also i should probably get uh tie on off this class for now oh shit wait i thought i hit the menu in time it should be somewhere around here right well rumors have a tendency to become overblown a similar principle may be at work here well duh Nobody'd want to admit they got their asses handed to them by one monster. I don't really have time for this. Why don't you, shit heels, get to the bottom of this, huh? You seemed interested enough earlier. Don't get me wrong. I am a mite curious. I want to know about the thing that beat my men black and blue. If it turns out to be a tall tale, then that'll be the end of it. But either way, I guess we can just beat it up. That way, no more threat. Jobs are good. I like the cut of your jib, guy. That's right. No need to overthink it. <laughs> we see something ginormous, we beat it up. We see anything else, we still beat it up. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> That's one way to look at things. Anyway, we've already come out here. We can sweat the details or we can do things the easy way, right? Gondor does have a point. It might be better for us to shelve the speculation and just start looking. Hey, over there. Those guys sure don't look okay. Nope, they ain't. Hey, you there! You still alive? 
What? Who are you lot? What happened to you? We were attacked by a fiend. Huh? A fiend? We were in combat with an Agnian colony. As Tyon's when it voice. Sided, all of us. We did our best to escape, but it was pretty catastrophic for both sides. Where was it you were fighting? We've been looking for that mudder. It was Singbreeze Tunnel. You should take care, though. That thing wasn't an everyday kind of monster. We can take him. Let's take a look. Could be we've hit Hayder. Let me casting. I mean, that's pretty common. It's not about a casting thing. It's just an NPC that has like three lines and you're never going to talk to them ever again. So yeah, they're not going to come in. They're not going to bring in people for that. They just do the same voices like, hey, can you just do like three extra lines for this NPC? That's what you do. I want to put tie on <laughs> i guess we could use another tank uh for now i guess or hmm. actually let's go back offensive. let's finish up noah <laughs> five voices for every npc oh boy that's like my streams man i don't want to voice every every npc so i just do my voice <laughs> My generic male NPC, female NPC voice. We went here a long, long time ago. Oh god, monkey. There they are! Is that who we've been looking for? They look to be surrounded. And are those the infamous? We can talk about it later. Those people need our help. Infamous monkey. Yeah. I'll draw them. Wow, thanks. That's nice. a lot of monkey. Oh god, I'm getting my ass whooped because I'm tanking. Oh god, everyone's gonna die. Our healer's dead now. Oh boy. Yeah, we are like the same level as these monkeys, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. Okay, we got one dead. That should help. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. We're almost down to one. I need you, Mia. We can do this for Got all the healing you need right here. Appreciate it. We are barely making it through this. You need this can't be happening. I'll keep on pelting them. You ready for you know what? Alright, let's go. I'm gathering momentum. I know. Feeling good. We'll pull it away. I'm good at this whole healing business. Yeah. There we go. Alright, monkeys. Monkeys are easy. Phew. We owe you. Wait. Who are you? Just passing by. Ah. But we met some of your mates earlier, I think. Oh, I see. So they made it out alive. You lot are pathetic. Getting done in by this small That's fry? lands, too. <laughs> no, you got it wrong. 
Before we got ambushed by those things you just took down, we were fighting a ginormous turkin. Oh my god, not oh, a ginormous wow. turkin. I'll take it all back then. Clearly, Fuck you're turkins, all man. soldiers who got messed up by a turkin. Admittedly, these monsters were pretty large. They were pretty strong, but was it really such a big deal? Spark it all. It was a huge one that did us in. Anyway, we'll go rendezvous with our friends. Sorry for dragging you out here. Well, that was a bloody waste of my time and talents. Ginormous Turkin, my shapely ass. <laughs> it's difficult to believe that Turkins would even nest in this My area. God. And it's not like we could just go and rustle them up if they did. Okay, so what's the plan? What I don't like about Do Turkins is that, like, generally one-on-one on one, they're not hard, but Turkins usually come in, like, huge packs. And, and that's whenever they it's rip your ass apart. Shit that really roils my guts. Gondor? Uh. Whoa! That looks like a ginormous turkey. Well, now we're talking. <laughs> That's what I want to sink my teeth into. Oh, Mio ah. Meyer. Oh. What? Oh, Lordy Get running. Off the lily liver dance. Lily. Okay. <laughs> Mark, how are you getting away? Gondor, no running off. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta follow the tracks. I almost left the tracks behind. I was just gonna follow him. Oops! All right, Jumbo Turkin. I don't know if we're gonna survive. I if it's one Turkin, maybe. But if it's like an army of Turkin, I think we're gonna. I don't. I don't. I'm not feeling like we're gonna make it. It would be a surprise if we did. That's for sure. Turkin, Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, you can look at it like that. Gondor and Triton. Oh my, that would be quite the combo of heroes to interact. I, I, to take it further, I would really like Triton to be interacting with pretty much anyone. Triton's just one of those guys, and Gondor is also just one of those kids <laughs> that I just would love to see interact with pretty much anyone and see how they do. They're just too entertaining. Um, are we gonna be all right? Triton with his chill attitude. Yardy har har mateys of the sea. Yar har. Italy be. Oh, and then there's Gondor like fuck shit up. Just beat everything up. That's the solution in life. It's so funny. Triton and Fiona. Like I said, I'll take Triton and literally anybody. I'll take it. Give, give it to me. Oh, maybe we're going to the green dots that are back there. Oops, I left my tracks behind. Stupid monkey, you're in the way. Yeah, there's like green dots. Hey, let's not go to the green dots. You see how like there's this really small unfilled part of the map right there? Okay, I just had to fix that. I have a problem. I have a serious problem. All right. <laughs> Crossing my fingers that I can do this. Why were you running? Because you were chasing. <laughs> Anybody run away when scary. But you're a ginormous turkey. When she puts it like that. What? It's definitely more ginormous than a normal turkin. What? What is big idea? Huh? What? Barging into roost with muddy boots. It shows poor breeding. <laughs> Don't act innocent, <laughs> beak freak. Oh. You're the one who messed up my guys. Huh? huh? And what's the problem with that? You want to know the problem? How about I explain it to you with my fists? You shit crusted feather brain! I don't know where humans came from, but they attacked me, so I chased them away. That's the end of story. Okay. A lot of ruckus in neighbor brood recent. Turkin just want peace and quiet. Quiet! Is that too much to ask? Well, we did hear it at the soldiers get away. Hmm. <laughs> you humans think we special. 
keep coming to capture them and attack us. When Tonkins get attacked, we return crawl for crawl. But we never attack humans if <laughs> humans not attack us. That's it. That's what? Boring. So you weigh up this whether or not you want to This voice is just so hilarious. Fun. Humans not any different. Ah. Violence only breed more violence. Therefore, when hit Tonkins, expect it back. Did you just threaten me? Did well, you just you got me? guts, Buckhead. I think I'll grill him for supper. Hold on, let's not get heated, Gondor. It does make a lot of sense what he's saying. Oh my god. So tell us, why are you here? Can't yeah, the no bird just have a little mystery. bit of peace and quiet? Over territory. So now Turkins, I, I guess, yeah. It's just weird. We Am beat up a lot of Turkins in this game, you know? Turkins is not island, just like Herman. Not an island? What, you gonna build some kind of bird confederacy and then attack Bird us? confederacy? No confederates. <laughs> I'm not an acting block like you. When fighting, I alone. So, what do you mean, you're not an island? <laughs> These are my turklets. I search for easy living place for them. Ah. Huh? Uh, oh. That why when strangers attack, I has to fight back. Humans only flock with birds of same feather. I try talk sometimes, but they only run away. I can't really speak for you personally, bud, but it sounds like you've had it rough. Oh, Very yeah. rough. Like trouble with neighbors wasn't bad enough. They're also little food to eat. Oh, no. Time for move again. New place with no humans. They're grazing. What? You don't get enough grub here? That right. I took in gourmet. I don't think you get to be picky in your case, mate. Was little Turk in joke. Plan to move it for provide better food opportunity for turklets. Just before I go out to forage for turklet dinner. Oh no. So when you bumped into us earlier. That right. Then I chased again. Is some kind of instinct for humans chasing turkins? Day complete. Ruin. I'm starting to feel bad. So if you had that food, you could move. If we had enough food for my great, we could leave within an hour. But this neighbor brood, so many humans and monsters. Migration have to wait a long time. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, all right. We'll do your shopping. Let's see now. This neck of the woods. Juicy broccoli and zap caps should do it. Gondor, are you sure? We'll be back with the food. So you and your brats get ready to leave, all right? Huh? Kind human really exists. Have to adjust expectations for future. Oh my god. Uh, human can also bring ten spring roots. Hey, don't push your luck. It still ain't too late for me to barbecue you. Gondor! But anyway, you brought this on yourself. So we're really doing this? I'm guessing Gondor's got some kind of a thought here. Might as well tag along. Showing good judgment there, Meathead. Maybe you're not hopeless after all. What's that? You hungry for a knuckle sandwich? Don't mention food right now. I'm starving. Oh, sorry for bothering. But I gotta finish this quest. This very big help. Oh my god. I never Always thought. Nice to have more friends. Okay, the very last thing. That I would fucking expect from Gondor side day. quest. Turkins ain't good enough at maths to tell the difference. Is taking care of Turkins. I, that. I never would have thought it would go here, of all places. Like what? I hope everyone's getting along. 
I see a lot of sparklies over there. I've known him for 10 minutes and I would protect him with your whole life. <laughs> well. <gasps> there's a, there's a thing. There's a send off over there. Flute to do. Um, are we going to be all right? We're gonna be just fine. Father trying to be his best, oh my god. I mean, I get that, it's just, it doesn't defeat the fact that it is still very weird. Although I do also have to give props to the voice actor, cause like... Yeah, somebody mentioned... Like, they did a great job embodying like, okay, okay, let me well, send this off, you piece found. of fucking shit. The voice actor did a good job of being like, okay, well, if you could speak bird, this is what you would sound like. And yep, it's pretty, pretty accurate. Protect the turklets, oh my god. Oh, good thing we found this. All right, uh, get me some zap caps. We got the zap caps, buddies. Let's go. Oh, that's a rare one. Easy. All right, we're gonna finish. Don't worry, don't worry, Mr. Turkin. We're gonna solve this for you. I think. Except maybe not that way. Oh, there's five over there. Wait. We just gotta go around the big gorilla. Uh, yep, I didn't expect it. Especially out of Gondor quests. Of all the quests to have something like this, it's Gondor. It's weird, man. It's weird. Great voice acting, you know, great story. You know, I want to protect the kids with my life. And Just then careful, Gondor, right? I guess, rolls with it. This is... Gondor, Gondor gets this quest. It's so weird. I guess it's trying to bring out her soft side. Maybe that's what they were going for. So, um, Juicy Broccoli and Zap Caps, was it? We managed to find a good number. Do you think this will be enough? I wouldn't worry about it. It's not like they'll be able to tell the difference. Should be enough for the kids, anyhow. The lurching monstrosity will make do. Wait, Gondor. You're actually worried about the little ones? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> you do realize there's a chance that the large one has been lying to us, right? If it turns out he has, we just punch his lights out. Simple. Okay, Gondor. Well, be that as it may. If we get them to move away ASAP, it saves us a world of trouble. It's true. If they relocate somewhere further away from us, everyone's lives will be more peaceful. All right. Let's get this back to them then. And we can wrap this. What was that? Uh oh. Stupid twits. What now? Let's check it out. Oh, we couldn't just teleport Let's there. Just hurry back. Ha. Ha. I'll leave him alone for a second, and now these damn it. Ha. Uh oh, that don't look good. What wrong with you, human? This man. <gasps> no. Shut up. If we don't take you out, we'll never be able to look our commander in the face. Take him down. Don't let the monster confuse you. You dipshit! What are you playing at? Lands <laughs> running in an address. Oh, you come back! Are 
you all right? What's going on? He's protecting his kids. Wait, chill out, you guys. This isn't what you think. The battle music's already playing, so we have to fight now. Just leave it alone if you know what's good for you. I need to clean my clothes. Lance's dress is so dirty. Give me a break. If you're itching to get in our way, we'll just have to give you a beating. Seems like we're out of options. All right. Oh, I don't think we're going to win this one. Wait, we have Turkin fighting with us. <gasps> Wait, maybe we got a chance. They're they're fighting with us. Yeah, Dad protect. Daddy Turkin protect. Don't worry, guys. We'll save the family, even though Gondor is about to fucking die right now. Fuck, I just wasted my art on a soldier that died. Uh, okay, I guess we're going over here, even though that's gonna die soon. Dude, I think the Turkin's really helping a lot, though. Legit though, I think I would have died in this in this battle if the Turkin wasn't helping. Turkin, Turkin doing some work. Like look at him. Look at him stabby stab stab. Go get him. That Turkin's a gamer. Hey. Mad respect. Hi! You still with us? Ah. Uh. Thank much for help. What the hell? You could have taken them all out easy. Things was tricky. Turk and truth. No parent can bear to put own turklets in danger. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Wait. Are all the Turkins all right? Turklets, I say, but I not so. <gasps> Please, no. Don't tell me. Oh. My gizzard, it leaking out. Pull yourself together. I'm not letting you leave your bloody kids alone. Gondor. That is correct. I also not think it come to this tragic day indeed. Raising little turklets can be no! such. Really hard, hard. They work. can't do this. But this, what happened here, this is own fault. <gasps> no, it's exactly not. Exactly like you say. Brought this all on top of self. Every time get attacked, I was such big flock fool to keep fight back. Never should fight whom in him first place. Quiet better. <gasps> Should have run away to save a roost. Think about your children, damn you! If you die now, maybe they can survive on own. My turklets, it no like their feather brains. <gasps> so you there, smallest human, please hear my lastest request. Can what you send think? off a bird? Let's hear it. If there is... If there is place that's safe and have no fighting, I want you to take my turklets there so safe and tight. If they just need live, then turklets oh. can handle it by self. But they... They not do good for 
fighting. They're not strong. Like I was when in primes of use. If... If Turkin can ask you. He's gone. Yeah. I don't care if it's a turkin. Seeing someone die before your eyes and not being able to do anything about it, it's... It's shit. Oh my god. I think we did all we could. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Hey, you lot. Got a job for ya. A job? You heard the bird. We gotta take him with. I, uh, did kinda bring this on us all. I don't really think it's your responsibility. Huh. Did I ask you? What's it gonna be? Your kids coming? Or would you rather stay here with Daddy? Go say your farewells. But it's not safe here anymore. So don't take any longer than you have to. Why is Gondor's quest like this? Gondor, are you sure about this? Life put them in front of me. So I wanted to do what I could to make their lot bearable. And there's just the little ones left. If they say they want to live, I can at least give them that much. You're right. I think that's the best way. Yeah. Life can be a bitch sometimes. But what's the alternative? None of us planned it. But we're family now. And family has to stick together. Right? <gasps> Makes sense. Oh. What the fuck? I'll tell you right now. The work will be hard. You'll have to scratch for your own grain. You sure you still want it? Your dad was a tough customer. Don't you ever forget that. Ah, shit always comes at you sideways. Are you okay, Condor? Mind your damn business. You're not the ones who's gonna have to teach stuff to non-verbal bird things. In other words, True. yes. Uh, no, she's not okay. Let's get going. There's plenty to do and daylight's wasting. So, Gondor is now a bird mom? Ah, uh, yeah. What the fuck kind of a quest was that? I didn't... I was not supposed to end the day like this because that was gonna that's my life i'm too hungry to continue at this point like i gotta go get dinner and not die but like what was that this is bullshit no th that was not supposed to end like that why did it okay anyway i'm gonna head off Thank you guys for the stream today. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow we will hit up just a few more hero quests, but I will actually do some of chapter seven tomorrow. I don't, we're definitely not gonna beat the game, but like I'll do some of chapter seven.